off and you go cry and you lose your song a little bit. Oh, I hate how my music is off. <laughs> I hate this so much. Um, I'm just a little, I'm surprised I even woke up this early, to be honest. I hope I don't sound like a gremlin either. Uh, does that look good? Is this loading? That's loading. Cool. All right. Uh, everything looks good. Sweet. It is a big day today. My phone keeps going off because of all the Discord chats. So I'm excited to play. Um, first things first, this house is so cute. I opened up the game and I was just going to be in the main menu. The evening snuggled up in silky dreamlike pajamas and chipped slippers. Chipped slippers? Oh, that's cute. After that, pop some popcorn, power up your starlight projector, and hang out under twinkling stars. Unlock an exclusive look for Belle in this bundle and complete with a house dream style. A house dream style? Hi, Laura! Happy update day! <laughs> uh, oh, you see my face. Oops, I, don't, I forgot my double face. So, a house dream style. So, that's definitely for her house. I like that idea, but I... Was that always sparkling? Wait a minute. Did they... Did they advertise a rift in time even more by having it sparkle? Okay. Okay, game loft. Sure. <laughs> oh, there it is! I'm not a big fan of this loading screen, as some of you know. Just because I don't like how Sully's tail, and I don't like how Mike Wazowski looks like he is a prepubescent. <laughs> um... I don't know how long I'm going to be uh, streaming for, so I'm just going to try to do as much as I can, and we're going to enjoy it. It's going to be so much fun, because they gave us a, um, I call it DLC, when they give us dream bundles, and that'll be fun to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford everything right off the bat. I only have 11, 11 or 12,000 moonstones, so we'll have to see how much I can actually um, do. I'm not going to unlock the star path immediately, though, just in case. We're definitely going to take a look at the star path and premium shop immediately. And then we're going to just take a look around, see if anything changed. Go to Scrooge's shop. That's another thing I want to see, because Scrooge's shop has changed, and that's going to be really freaking fun. Um, I wonder how they expanded it. That's, that's the big question for me, is how big they expanded it. Oh my gosh, I opened my freaking phone and immediately see a spoiler. Okay. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Did my, like, thing, like, double? Whatever, it's fine. I immediately <laughs> opened my phone to Discord. I should have reset Discord. And it apparently was just already on Disney Dreamlight Valley. And someone set a photo. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to it. I'm blind. I have, I have, uh, amnesia. I did not see a dang thing. I forgot that you can, um, that they also gave us the ability to change skin, eyes, and ears. What do I think was a cool concept to add? I also really like this outfit that she is wearing. So, I, um, I'm probably gonna put that on if I can. That's probably Star Path. I want, oh, the pet's the turtle. I was gonna say, I wonder what the pet is, but we already know the pet is the turtle. So I wonder if we got any new items that we haven't seen yet. My phone keeps like going off. It's gonna have to go on my lap. All right, no immediate cutscene. That is okay. So what do I wanna look first? Obviously there's nothing here. I'm just doing that. Ooh, we haven't seen this. That's cute. Wait, price for all, for all unknown items? What's that mean? The boo onesie is so cute! Oh my gosh, I actually love it! I didn't think they were gonna do the eyes! I like this though. This set is actually really cute, and that goes with the um our overall set. This is really cute too. Oh, it gives like paleo vibes. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, there's so much to look at. Pink wings. They're cute. I'm probably gonna get them just because. I buy everything. Alright, this is lovely monsters. Gosh, I hate that dream style. Ooh, I hate it. Moonstones. Nothing. Dapper. Why does everything have to light up? <gasps> and there it is. Okay. No price change on that, thankfully. Uh, did this price change? I 
can't remember. All right, let's take a look see. Uh, oh wow, we don't even see the bottom ones. I didn't realize that. And then voting. What do we? Mand man wait. Oh no. Wait. What? Submission closes and votes start in six days. Ooh, this is great. I love how they actually added an explanation. And they have more details. Cool. This is so helpful for people. That's very very nice actually. Villainous later layer to be completed. Is that saying, like, I need to do it? Rewarding. Ah, oh, they did make it more clear and concise. Reward period ends in six days. Oh, I like that. All right, let's take a look. All right, we already, that jacket, love it. What is this? Is that a, no, that's not furniture. That is definitely, don't we have a motif like this? No, we have a motif of just one. And then, cute. Fuchsia clawfoot tub. That's cute. What is, oh, what is this? Braided floral updo. That's what we saw in the um in the loading screen. Oh, oh, I like that. And there's the cup uh coffee machine. I called it. Small marble fountain. Nothing special, but looks cute. Oh, Tiana. Oh, these are separate. <laughs> I am telling you, these are going to be hidden everywhere. I love that. Monster eye makeup. Okay, this outfit I love. Canister palette. This would be such a cool chest idea because of the scene where Randall lifts up all these lids and puts um Mike in. I think that would be such a cool chest idea. <gasps> Cute cardigan. I love that. Oh, Hercules and Meg. I love that. I think. Ooh, that's a cool door. That's a really cool looking door. This is super cute. I'm so going to put this where my park is. That giant lake is actually going to become useful. Lady and Tramp, we knew it. A snack machine! <laughs> they got tired of seeing people make snack machines, I guess, through Touch of Magic. <laughs> and Green Spiky Monster. I think this skirt's alright. The snake hair. And then, ooh, Monstrous Piano. Okay. Ooh, this top is cute. So we didn't really miss much. The The loading screen did give basically the majority of the items, which is like their usual thing. But man, the premium shop. Ooh. I don't know what I'm going to buy first. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to have to make sure I have at least 4,000 for the rest of today. Because I have 14,000 on my, um... Oh, that's a new quest. Oh, I have 14,000 um, on my s switch. I also forgot to back up my save. Well, we're committing. <laughs> oh, shoot, I forgot to back up my save. Should I back up my save right now? I think I'm going to back up my save right now before I get into anything. Oh my gosh, I forgot to back up my save. Uh, how do I do it again? Shoot, alright, let me, let me figure this out. You go to PC, right? Oh no, I don't remember. Users, you go to users, I know that. Where's users? Isn't there a users network? Nope, okay, let me open Discord. I'm trying not to like... Oh, what's this? A trailer! Look at that. You guys can look at a trailer while I figure this out. A dorm room. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, that wallpaper. That wallpaper had so many freaking hints. Oh, that's a popcorn machine. Oh my gosh. That's so cool looking. I like that. And that, oh, 
that's from um Disneyland. Oh. Why did I? These must be premium shop items, huh? So that's the popcorn machine. Love that bean bag. This is what we saw in the eye changing trailer. We saw someone wearing that. We were like, ooh, what's that? So that's someone in the eye changing trailer. Can I? Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm like working my way there. And then that's super cool. I have no idea where I would put it though. But I really like that. Fan favorites return to the shop. Yeah, what do we what do we got here? Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Alright, uh what do I do? Find your save file for DLV. Wait, what? Most I'm not Mac. Oh, did I mess up? No, I'm not Mac. Did I, did I? I'm like using this stupid. Okay. Back that save up. Okay. I messed up again. Click pin. And then what's PC? PC back that save up. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, go to C, users, my name, my app data, local, Gamecroft, and then we just put that anywhere we want. Okay, so let's just, for the time being, we will copy in new folder no 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 just just okay new folder we're gonna call this Disney uh 228 and then we will paste all that in there or maybe I should just do the it'll be fine hopefully um just in case I'll just these files, opening these files might be harmful to your computer. I'm not trying to harm. <laughs> I'm not trying to harm my computer. All right, save, backed up. Let's get back into it and actually get started. First things first, I'm gonna run over to Scrooge's and then I'm probably gonna buy myself that outfit. Cause that outfit is so cute. I really like it <laughs> and I wanna buy it. So that'll be cute. Gamecraft? I, I I can't lie, their premium shop items are like their best items in my opinion. And they know it's their good items too, which kills me. But I'm excited where the story goes. I kind of hope we get these chairs. I really like these type of like weird stools where Mike just can perfectly sit in them. I also don't know where I'm going to put that university. Oh, I'm going to have to rearrange my plaza so early? <laughs> Because I think that's going to be something where I'm going to put... I thought it was... I was really hoping it was going to be the Uzma Kappa house. You know what? I can see them, though, doing a dream bundle about the Uzma Kappa. So, crossy fingies. But, yeah, I think it's going to end up going somewhere in my plaza. And I'm probably going to have to rearrange my plaza today. Or whenever. Okay. So, let's see. What did I get? Whoa. Oh, hey. Here we go. 1200 nice your inventory's full cool oh it tells you your inventory is full now how sweet dude this is so nice this is a good quality of life i actually like it oh that's the armor do we not really get a helmet <laughs> kind of hoping for a helmet and i'm still in christmas mode so maybe that'll give me some motivation to actually change things up hmm I have no idea. Well, what I'm probably going to do, I think I said it last stream, is I'm probably going to tear down, like, this side, push these buildings back, maybe, and maybe I'll have room. Oof, I don't know. Seems really, really busy. 
So I think I'll at least I'll at least be here. <laughs> so let's see, what do we got? They did push the top back. I called it. Oh, what's that painting though? Oh wait. Ooh, new wallpaper and flooring. Wait, I want that painting. Jack's ghostly wallpaper. Oh, I like that painting. And then we got wintry wood flooring. Okay. And I guess that's it. Read? Ergonomic benefits of L couches and their decorative. <laughs> Alright, poking fun. Got it. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. So this side will just be, I guess, wallpapers and floorings. And then this side will be wall decorating. This is new. They finally added this in. That's crazy. Alright, that's not too... Uh... Are you supposed to be in the store? I don't think it's supposed to be in the store. Uh, I'll take it though. Sure, I'll take... So you, know, you can't own questions. any more of this item. Do I lose money though? Huh, that's weird. Alright, no new clothing. And this is doing three. That's never done three before. Whoa! Blue pile of binders. Okay, I'm happy with the new furniture at least. Because I think last update they didn't do any new furniture. How much did they grow the clothing set? Okay, let's see what expanded. 53? Oh yeah, because of the update. It's 2929, 22, 66, 16, 18. Don't know. 6, 6, 3, 2, 34. 381 out of 389. Hmm. And then, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Still. 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 97 out of 101. That's always been like that. 37 out of 49. Okay, so that expanded a little bit. And then how's the furniture looking? Oh, my freaking leg is stuck. Okay, 52 out of 60. Okay. Because I have majority of the furniture. kind of want to see how big the Monsters Inc. collection grew. Here we go. 27 out of 73. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we got furniture to collect now. Oh my goodness. We got furniture to collect now. That's fun. Cool. I like the new look. It's definitely going to take a minute to get used to. And I guess this Why? will all be the hanging ceiling stuff. Oh, that bed floats. I didn't realize that. Alright, sweet. So, I am going to dress up. I am going to get in my outfit. So, let's get these. These are super freaking cute. Yeah, I like them. <gasps> the watering can I like too. And then let's get this onesie. So I wonder if they put this price for all unknown items because now that the premium shop is coming back, the, um, like, I wonder if that's going to change everything. Okay, so I have enough to afford the Starlight House, which we will do today. And I can afford the premium. There's nothing, is there anything, like, beneficial to the other side? To, um, where do I see it? To this one, activate and get a hundred for 25, 3,500. Because 800, right? So 800. And then what's 800? <laughs> what's 8 plus 13? No, I think it's actually the same amount. Oh, I don't remember. Someone did it. Someone did the math for it, and I keep forgetting. Um,. Because 2500 then when you buy this, it offers 800 Which, even though if you add it here, it would still be 3300 Right? Right? Yeah, 800 Where's the 1000 come in? I think it's always been the same like that. Okay, spend time with classic friends. Cool. So I wanted to at least get something going, because that's the plan for today too. And I have enough to get the Starlight Bundle. And everything else I will buy on my Switch, I guess. Ooh, okay, so let's... <laughs> I love it! I love it so much! Uh, eyes... Oh! Oh, that's...
That's so weird. I really like like the giant pupil eyes, and I love that you could do different like colors now. Ooh, that's such a game changer. Oh, you could change the white too. Okay, that looks cool. We're gonna leave it like that. I like it like that. Oh, this is adorable. Um, let's see. Gloves. Can we just put on like white gloves just to kind of match? Nothing special. Mm, maybe just maybe just bare hands. And let's take out our earrings. You know what I'm kind. Well, we do get a new, ha new hairstyle. My bad. I was gonna say I'm kind of hoping for some new hairstyles, like just some fresh hairstyles. If I do short hair, will it see? Will it be seen? No. Got it. Okay. This this tools. Monster monster watering can. I love it. The shovel. Rod. Monster pickaxe. Monster phone. And monster hourglass. I love this so much. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> I love Monsters Inc. I like I love Monsters University more. Oh my gosh. I was such a Monsters University obsessor. Oh hello. Um But this, this just makes me so happy. Monsters University is, is definitely a, one of one of the top movies compared to all the other ones that we have in this game so far. Definitely one of the top. I don't like how the characters look though. Call me a hater. Here we are. How much? Fifteen thousand. Oh, hello. Yeah, in the door lies another room of many doors, a place where power of laughter changed everything. <laughs> Let's do it. That's more than Escape claws. How we looking? How we looking in here? All right, that's where Roz was. Oh, it's closed. Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I love the music. <laughs> Does it feel bare to anyone? Ooh, this looks so undone. That's a weird cutscene. They're like missing shading. Ooh, that looked weird. Okay. Oh, different colored snack machines. That's cool, at least. Uh, coffee machine? Oh, we have to put something in it. Water, okay. And there on the other side, there's a chest back there. Notice uh, from Mift, door out of order. Got it. Alright, what's this? Oh, we got Monster Inc. memories? Wazowski! <laughs> Paperwork! I'm not asking again. Rise! Monster Inc. sticky notes. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So, what is going on here? Out of st Wait. Out of stock? Oh, is it just saying out of stock for all of that? Oh. Well, do I just need to put coffee beans in? Oh, I need to go out and get my coffee beans. Okay. Then paperwork. I can't just like jump through this. Hmm. Okay. These kind of look kind of these kind of look like game controllers on the wall. All right. So let's get coffee. Yeah. What would I use? I'm just gonna go get coffee and see what happens. I know they don't drink coffee, but what else am I gonna put in it? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Oh, that's the Eternity Isle. Right, 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 right. At least mods still work. <laughs> I'm happy that mods are still working. Oh, order limit. That's another thing I want to look at. Order limit changed. It got higher. How much higher? Uh, Scroogey, oh, order limit. Like to order furniture. They increased it! Oh, they increased it! Shelly, welcome in! You love the new shop? Shelly, did you see the order limit? Dude, Shelly, we are golden! You have to, like, they actually, like, that is. Oh my gosh, why am I. This. Hold on, Game Loft is changing my heart for them over over something so small. 
They changed the order limit to such a high thing. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so happy. Shelly, the order limit is a thousand a day. A thousand a day? A thousand a day is insane. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. So like, I mean, who's literally, who is literally going to be buying a thousand furniture a day? Like that is set. Like our decoration day, Shelly. Oh my gosh. I better get plans ready because that's going to be a day. Every week is going to be a day. <laughs> Everything looks so decent so far. Nothing to be like upset about. And I also love the the dream snap explanation stuff. That helps so many questions in the Discord server. I also bought stuff in the star in the um, premium shop. Did you buy anything in the premium shop yet? Okay, so coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. So let's just bring like a bunch of coffee, a bunch of milk. And just see what happens. Um, not yet. I mean, I, I already got the boo onesie on. I think it just looks so cute. <laughs> I also... Oof, I got a full inventory. I also think since they brought the boo onesie... They don't really do outfits that look exactly to the character. So, I'm wondering if that kind of proves out that Boo's not gonna be in here yet. I want to see the wings first. I would buy them for you right now to show them off, but I kind of want to save the last bit of Moonstones I got right on this account for the dream the Starlight House Bundle. Tomorrow, I'll be playing with the wings on. But someone should be have bought the wings by now. I know there's a lot of people who love those wings. Um, the wings look cute though. I'm definitely gonna get them. I'm just gonna clear out everything. I will organize later. I don't want to organize. There are monsters to deal with. And the trailer, the gameplay trailer looks great. The, the stuff that's coming into the premium shop looks so cute. I'm gonna have to rearrange my Mickey and Minnie area now too. Oh, I forgot to get the coffee and milks. I'm just gonna get, like, I me. Mean, I don't know. Ooh, the stuff in the bundle is great. It looks so good. I love it. Uh, getting new pajamas is so, 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 so good. Okay, so we're just gonna bring our milks. And that? No, that's peanuts. Where's coffee? Where's... Co Do I even have coffee in here? Oh, here we are. Coffee. What else can we use to make coffee? Um, mocha. Alright, so let's do cocoa beans? I don't know. There we go. I wish the house in the trailer, the pink one was there. Wait, there's a pink house in the trailer? Wait, whoa, 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 what? Pink house? Pink house, pink house, pink house. Oh, <gasps> I didn't see this. That looks so cute. That looks so cute. Oh, I know you're definitely getting that. <laughs> That's adorable looking. Holy cow, I totally missed this. Oh, look at the freaking heart bushes. The heart bushes look so good. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I need that? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> that looks so good. So whimsical. Oh, that's cool. That's super, super cool. Um, alright, alright, alright. Explore the door to the laugh floor? Oh. Was I supposed to examine it? Oh, snap. It didn't look examinable. Hopefully none of this stuff breaks my game. All right, let's ski daddle, and let's go. Man, we are almost done with the third floor of doors. So I wonder what the next realm will be. Oh no, the next realm should be Mulan, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, examine door. Ah, you 
Door scanned. A red light flashes. Access denied. Monster not identified. Employees only be on this point. Search for something to disguise yourself as a monster. I am wearing a disguise! Um, in here? Ah, I see. Alright, so I just went and got coffee stuff for no reason. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! Oh, these are our ears! Oh, we got the hard hat too? Wait a minute. That's cool! We got the... Alright. That's fun. Uh, okay, let me- hold on. Now I want to change everything I was wearing. Come on. You can't give me this opportunity and not want to do this. Alright, so we are going to do- Man, I wish some of those hairs could be under a hat. Mm, we'll do that hair. And we'll do some weird purpley blue hair. Yeah, that kind of fits. And then I could change my skin. To... Oh, that's cool. They added ones with texture, too. Oh, that makes it so much better. You can look like Sully. <laughs> um, we'll do this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all coming together. We'll do a darker hair. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll keep... We'll change the eyes up to uh some of those yep and then we're gonna wear our hmm mostly not monsters go naked but you know we are not that much of a monster let's where's those overalls you did the hard eyes of course you did as expected, Shelly, because they are they are really, really cute. Alright, 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 alright. There we go. Now we're looking like a true worker here. What kind of boots? Mm. Do we always have those rain boots? Holy cow, I don't remember. I never really delve into looking at shoes that much, I'm realizing now. That looks... That looks good. I'm a monster! Hello? You are scanned. What? What makes me not a monster? I'll take a selfie once you're happy with your new monstrous disguise. Got it, got it, got it. I don't read instructions, game. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Take a monster with my new monster's ink phone. Let's do a little scary face. So, no new filters or poses. Got it. Urgh, I'm such a monster. Look how monstrous I am. Yeah, monster. <laughs> Alright. Is that good? Unlock the door. Ah. Hold on, guys. I'm going to explore. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Is it it just feels a little freaking empty. A little too empty. I hope they don't do this type of stuff with Mulan's area. I really hope they, they pick that up. Found your last note on the last floor. Siberia won't save you. <laughs> Wazowski. Man, Roz is unhappy. Alright. Uh, what else we got going on around here? Just a bunch of trash. What's that? Ooh, I picked that up too early. Uh-oh. Hope that doesn't break my game. Uh, what's this? <gasps> Computer? That's fun. Okay, so we might be actually be able to get those chairs. Alright, hold on guys. One second. Accident free for 113 days. Stand by. Be funny. See, that's the only hint to the end of the movie. There's no balloons. There's no confetti. There's no banners that say be funny. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I want to... I'll just need key card piece. 
This calls a door to the human world and will let any jokester do their work. So at least it's not about scaring. I'm gonna go duplicate this item though because I want to keep it. But man, I'm gonna have to rearrange everything. I like their house though. I like how it's actually not, um, that it's not a, the factory. Because a lot of people, including myself, were worried that it was going to be the factory. Is all this full? Holy shoot, all this is full. So I'm, I'm glad it's at least not that. Okay. Let's continue. Ooh, I want to change my pet. We don't really have, like, a monster-like pet other than the snake. So I guess I'll put a snake down. I mean, we have these. This can actually work for today. Holy cow. I'm using a whimsical pet. Never seen before. Yeah, where are you putting it? I'm actually thinking about redesigning my uh, plaza into just like a, doing a line of buildings and doing like a asphalt um, pathway. I think that's going to be the best decision. Check out the turtle. I know the turtle looks so cute. Rosy cloud. Oh, that can match our cloud hair. Does the shell move? Ooh. If the shell moves, that's a cool idea. Oh, that's the wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. Such a hint to like so many different monsters, especially him. And there's um uh Randall. I don't know about this one. No Roz. We know about this guy, we know about her. Yeah, I'm really happy. And I love this so much. This is so cute. I love that. Okay. Hey, guys. How how we doing? How we how we how we doing? Let's get the show on the road. Hey there, you must be the intern we've been waiting huh? for. You picked a strange day to show up though because uh nobody else did. We have no idea where everybody is. Aww. And we're in a real tight jam. Monstropolis needs power, but this is not a two monster operation. How about a three monster operation? <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> well, it usually takes dozens of monsters to keep this place running. Did I mention that I'm glad you're here? Mm -hmm. Look at it this way. You're gonna get some hands-on experience on a lap floor for your very for, the, the, your, for your very first day. Hmm. You know, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, you're just a little human-shaped. I've never seen a monster like you before. Uh. Inappropriate. I'm calling monster resources. That's a uh, that's a relief. It's just that it's a company policy. No humans on the laugh floor. If human adults knew about us, it'd be sheesh. I don't even want to think about it. Well, welcome to the company. I'm James P. Sullivan, CEO. But please call me Sully. And over there, that's Mike Wazowski. I'm Vanessa. Uh, can I call him Mikey? I don't know him. Can't wait to start my internship. You gotta love that go-getter attitude. Oh, I forgot the friendship pass. Is that the movie voice actor? It sounds close to him. It sounds really close to him. Yeah. Why don't we get you started while Mike and I figure out how to run this place with just three monsters? We had our Laugh Power launch party a couple days ago, and this Laugh Floor needs a little work. <gasps> We already swept all the confetti. Ah, okay. Reading it now, I get it. We already swept all the confetti and took down the decorations. So it's supposed to look like this. Dang. Could you clean up the rest of the party trash and, and rinse away the slug slime on the floor? I'll get started right away. Great. I appreciate that positive attitude. I'm sure there's something around here that can help you rinse the slime away. Don't worry, I got my own tools. Nice. Well, come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, duty calls. Talk to you soon. It sounds really close. It does. It sounds really close to the voice actor. Party trash. Alright. Can't dupe it out. So, let's see. Is there any back here? I kind of- I mean, I get it. I'm glad they at least brought it up that there's no confetti or decorations. Um... For the laugh floor. But still, I don't know. <laughs> it would help make it look less bland. There we go. More here. More here. Oh, what's this? Is this Roz? Hope you like puzzles. <laughs> Roz. <laughs> That's cute. 
How many sticky notes are there? My goodness. Am I gonna have to like go through all this? Mmm. Oh. Yep, I am. Sully, can we throw my old paperwork through the door to Siberia? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. And then the next note was like, what? Siberia can't save you? <laughs> That's funny. Eh. Ooh, look at the rubber chicken here. That's a cute detail. And in the trailer, we saw that, what, Vanellope, like, shoves it all up with rubber chickens? You still need to turn in your old overdue paperwork, Wazowski. <laughs> Dude, how many? Ten. Okay. Mm, anywhere else? I don't see any more. Behind a door? No. Okay. Uh, sl party trash. Oh, here we go. Nice! Hey, Sully. James P. Sullivan, hey, Vanessa. The place looks great. Nice work. Uh, what's my uh, next intern duty? Uh, well, I did have something in mind. Next up, would you mind fixing a coffee for me and Mike? Uh, uh, Normally I grab it myself, but we're almost done with the plan to get this place up and running. Okay, now we're <laughs> talking real intern stuff. <laughs> You're telling me I delivered my share of coffee around this place back in the day. Anyway, it's not a good idea to approach Mike until he's had his morning brew. I think the extra caffeine boost will help finish up the plan. Uh, what are your coffee orders? I like my coffee extra strong. Takes about five times the amount of regular coffee to get it as bitter as I like it. Mike takes this with a little non-dairy screamer and as much sugar as you can add. He calls it the Wazowski Special. And hey, I think a delivery of supplies just arrived. Everything you need is over at the coffee station. Oh, okay. When you've made them, would you bring the coffees to Mike? He needs his more than I do. <laughs> okay. Run. Yeah, the voice sounds... Okay, so that's Screamer. Coffee orders. Celia. Coffee, uh, sugar, non-dairy Screamer. Ooze long tea. My coffee. Okay, so it tells you the recipe. Roz, coffee, sugar. Randall, just coffee. Same as Sully. Of course, it's same as Sully. Alright, so let's get six of these. Gonna get ten. We're gonna get ten. We're gonna get ten. Okay. So what happens if we give him, like, Celia's order? Or will that not be plausible? Uh, what's Celia's order? Coffee, two sugars, two screamers. Uh, coffee, two sugars, two screamers. Ah! Okay. Wazowski special. <laughs> and then coffee, 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 coffee. Sully's coffee. Nice! Do I have- I don't have extra for Wazowski! Hold on! Wait, I could just make another one. Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar. There we go. Alright. Wazowski! The team would never let me hear the end of it. Oh. Here you go. How do you sound? Guess who I wanted to see! That sounds really close, too. Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. Cuff! Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. I have the Wazowski special for you. Right. You are a lifesaver. Oh, yes. I can't do top-notch <laughs> jokes or work without my coffee. Or my vocal warm-ups. Oh. Which is what I was doing, by the way. Not just talking to myself. Ooh. Okay, yeah. warm-ups are done. I've had a delicious Wazowski special. And now the day can really begin. Prepare to observe the best jokester in the biz. <laughs> what does a jokester do exactly? Jokesters, my friends, are the backbone of Monsters, Inc. We make kids laugh, which creates laugh energy, which powers everything. See, there was a time when everything uh, was screen-powered and this place was ruled by scares. But no more. Now it's my time to shine. All the time. You know, this is basic energy knowledge. Don't you watch the news? Uh, I uh, must have missed that episode. Episode? It was only like the biggest story to rock Monstropolis. That's not why you're here. 
Are you ready to see the greatest jokester of all time go to work? Excited to see you work. Uh, hey, you called me Mr. I knew I liked you. Well, since it's the first day of the internship, you are in for a real treat. Mike Wazowski is about to perform. You know how Sully said we're coming up with the plan? Well, the plan is me working my green behind off to keep this place going. Time to make him laugh. Cutscene? Oh no! Good to see you. Well, at least we got a cutscene. Look at that. Fancy. Okay, stay calm. It's only a small emergency. The door powered down and Mike's stuck in the human world. Uh, okay. How do we... The way he was talking, it seemed like he could handle it. <laughs> what can I say? Mike's a genius jokester. He's not shy about it. But this has nothing to do with collecting laughs. We have to get him out of there. Since it's an emergency, we need the emergency manual. MIFT usually keeps a copy of it of the emergency manual. Somewhere on each laugh floor. You need to find it. What's uh, MIFT? Yeah. Oh, MIFT is the Monsters Incorporated Facilities Team. <laughs> they make sure everything here is in top condition. It breaks, they fix it. But they're not here, so we need their manual to help us. And why do you think Mike's in danger? The longer Mike's behind that door, the higher chance he'll be discovered. Which could mean humans finding out about the monster world, which could then lead to a catastrophe. He'll be the next Sasquatch, or Nessie, hey, that's me, or Abominable Snowman. Oh boy, I've gotta stop running worst case scenarios and focus on getting him out of here. I'll find that manual. Great, I'm gonna check out the electrical panel and see if there, I can get anything working. Remember, you're looking for the emergency manual. Got it, alright. I love the music, oh man. Oh, it, it went to zero, <laughs> accident free for zero days. I love that. Okay, so door still out of order. A notice from Mift. Got it. Find emergency manual. Is it gonna be laying out around here somewhere? Uh, back here maybe. I. Don't... Let's just look at the quest description. Uh... I also want to see... Actually, wait, hold on. Can I look at their path yet? No. That's their dream style. I hate his dream style so much. Am I going to put it on him? Yes. <laughs> uh... Where is... Oh, that's it. Cool. I want to read it. Uh, behold, the Mift Mem, <laughs> the Monsters Inc. Facilities Team Master Emergency Manual. This can help you in a pinch. Sweet. I got it. Here you go. Good to see you. The Emergency Manual. Excellent. Let's see here. It says that red lights mean a couple of fuses have blown and need to be replaced. And we have to do is replace the fuses and check the power lines. We'll save you, Mike! Mm -hmm. That's right. Help is on the way. I'll keep reading in case there's anything else we need to know. Could you search the laugh floor for some new fuses and place them in the electrical panel there? Ooh. When the power's on again, check the power lines to make sure it's all flowing properly. That should fix the door and get Mike mm -hmm. home. I'm really glad you're here. I definitely couldn't change these dainty parts with these huge paws. Oh, it is disconnected. Well, what the frick am I gonna do about it? Alright, fuses. Oh, the fuse is gonna be over here. Yup. Well, they've been like just lying around. Wait, I kind of like that one there. I'm gonna end up duping them. That's why. Is there one like that's just like on? Yep, there it is. Sweet. Oh, a note. What if all that paperwork accidentally fell through a door <laughs> shredder? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. I love that. Oh. What did I collect? Oh, maybe I just need to like go over there. I got it! I got it! I got it, don't worry! Don't worry, I got it! Alright, now... 
Oh, look at that! See, that's cool. Uh, the detail in this quest, being able to actually actively do something like this, is crazy. Are we sure we're playing Dreamlight Valley? This doesn't seem like the game that we all know and love. We would never be able to do something like this. We always use our, like, watering can. Look at that, being able to push things? No, no, that's not right. And, boop! And, oh. Oh, 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 is... One of them's unplugged over here. Boop! Cutscene! Heck yeah, Mike! Sorry if you hear that little thing, that's my <laughs> me taking screenshots. You, you got me out! You saved me! Are you okay? Oh, yes. Me? I'm great! But sheesh, am I happy to be back! Yes, 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 yes. When I could open the door to the monster's world, I knew Sully and you were hard at work trying to get me out. I said to myself, Mike, stay calm, and then I used the opportunity to try out some new stand-up material. <laughs> Normally I don't have time to do more than a tight five, but I'm telling you, that kid was laughing so hard their parents woke up. You got me out just in time. It's great to have you back, Mr. Wazowski. Hey, after all that you've done for me, call me Mike. You know what? I'm sweating up a monsoon over here. I need some time to center myself before I get back to work. Joker, go check in with Sully while I get back in the zone. Okay, Ready fair enough. Ooh, hey. Thanks for all your help rescuing Mike. I think we've got a little hairy in there. It sure took I it sure took it out of me. After everything required to get this factory switched over to laugh power, and now this I could use a vacation. You know, not all monsters could handle themselves under pressure like that. Uh <laughs> This is where we come out. Uh Sully, don't freak out, but I'm a human in disguise. Uh, uh... Sorry, what? I didn't want to trick you. It was the only way onto the laugh floor. Huh. You must be a pretty special human to trick our security gate. What? So, uh, why are you here? To invite you to visit Dreamlight Valley. Dreamlight Valley? Never heard of it. Wouldn't it be his nightmare because there are a lot of adults, like adult humans there? It's where I came from. Actually, it would be great. It would be a great vacation spot for you. There's no paperwork. Well, that does sound pretty great. <laughs> Hearing Dreamlight Valley does give me a familiar, warm feeling. Tell you what, Vanessa. I'm pretty sold on this idea. I really need a break, but I can't go without Mike. If you can convince him to join me, we'll come and visit the valley. Should be an easy pitch. So you did rescue him after all. Alright, I'll go talk to Mikey. Mikey! Man, that's a huge tale. I can't lie. I can see why with the angle it looks like that because that is just a solid block of a tail all right mikey Get this to you, kid. don't say a word i heard everything you said to Sully. you're a human i uh gotta admit i freaked out a little at first but now that i have some time to think about it you're a human with an opportunity for a vacation to some place called dreamlight valley and boy do i need a vacation there's just one problem i can't leave yet you know, I already set the all-time laugh record. Uh, uh, the no, you never mentioned that. All right, all right, I deserve the sarcasm. My point is, if I take a vacation, some other monster could break my record while I'm on the beach pretending to read a book but really asleep. <laughs> I can't let that happen. I gotta set a jokester record nobody could ever beat. Uh, you understand, right? Of course, of course I understand, Mikey. Uh, let's set a record. That's the spirit. As senior co-president of Monsters Incorporated and chief executive vice deputy administrative director of comedy resources management, I hereby officially promote you from intern to jokester assistant. Let's go. Promotion already. First order of business, we need doors, which means we need key cards. Uh, key cards? I can't believe I got promoted. <laughs> believe it. You're going to join me at the top. Key cards tell the system which doors to the human world uh, to bring us. Once you find a couple of those, we're in business. Currently, all the key cards are, are at reception, so start there. Just one problem. We don't have a receptionist today, and that door is jammed up, so you might have to find something to jimmy it open. 
Jimmy the Jam Door. Okay. Hey, nice rhythm. Oh, are they talking? You know, being a CEO is great, but it's kind of nice to be back on the floor. Aww. Well, we miss you down here, pal. Oh, so Soli's the full CEO? And seeing you, and what a great jokester you are? I couldn't be prouder of you, Mikey. Aww. Keep it together, you sentimental throw rug. That's cute! I can't feel my feelings right now. <laughs> There's jokes to tell. That's adorable. I love that. Okay, Jimmy the door. Oh, we got a note. A second myth sticky note below the first. This door is still out of order. Tools are missing. Maybe they're in the laugh floor tool chest, which is all the way back here. Uh, here? Tool chest? Tool chest. See, that's only glowing because... Oh, never mind. Oh. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Excuse me, sorry. I do like how you can make your character look like a monster. I think that's so cool. It definitely changes everything up. Uh. Oh, I'm still searching the reception for key cards? No. Wait, love the cutscene? The cutscenes are pretty solid. Uh, tools left behind monster team could be used for fixing all kinds of things. Can I use it? The key? The... Am I supposed to? How do I jimmy? How do I... Uh, j jimmy, jimmy, jimmy. There's no jimmy. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I don't... S I don't see a way to jimmy things open unless, like... Mm. I just don't... It Did it break? Did I break it? Did I bork? Is it messed up? What am I supposed to be doing? It said to use this to jimmy it open, no? Mm. Uh, look on the desks. Oh. Okay, I'll check the desks out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's keep looking. Nothing on this one. I found one on the one other one earlier. Ah, so many pieces. Okay. None on that one. And then any on this one? No. Okay, so that's all the desks searched. And then what about this door? Where where do I put the tools? That's that's kind of where I'm I'm stuck. I have the tools can be used for fixing all kinds of different things. So, there's something else to really fix out here. Because, am I supposed to like put the tools in the door? Mm. I hope I didn't bork it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous now. Nothing in there. And I can't even look at the note again. Break it open. Hmm, I thought I found a key, maybe not. Um, it you find the tools in the back corner. Like there's the tools in the back corner, and then like that was supposed to get them open, but I'm not I don't know, is it broken? Because I can't... Here, I'm gonna... Maybe if I go out and go back in. Shoot, I don't know. Oh, now the note's gone. Oh no, what did I do? 
Why is the note gone? Oh, crap. Uh, Mikey? How you doing? Hey, what do I do? Go search reception for key cards. Yeah, in the funny papers. Uh, uh -huh. once you find them, we can call up the doors and we're business. How many key card pieces do I need? I have three. Is that not all of it? Or is it because search reception? I mean, are these receptions? Mm. Hmm, I have key card pieces. I do too. I'm kind of, I'm kind of stumped. Uh, is anyone else stuck? Or are we just the only ones that are stuck? <laughs> Shelly, what happened? I guess, keep looking? Cause I can't open that door. Mmm. I don't know, this is really weird. I'm very confused. Hey, hey guys. Um, well, if I leave and come back again. Also, that's a giant light switch. <sighs> yeah, the door just doesn't have those notes anymore. It's not interactable. The last key card piece is on that desk. So we have to get through. I don't know. Um, maybe I have to close out my game? I don't... I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm gonna have to like take a look in the Discord to see. Hopefully someone answers, um, because I'm super stuck. Also, I'm ho I'm wondering, is my shop reset mod still working? Yep, it is. Cool. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, that's the stuff that I needed the other day. Cool. Oh, <gasps> that's cute, Shelly. Look at the mugs. That mug rack is adorable. Oh, I love it. So you got Mike, Sully, Boo, Randall. That's cute. And then, nope, nope, and then, nope, and then, nope, nope. And no wallpaper, no flooring. Cool. Any... Any, anyone's... Is anyone stuck? I can't... Hmm. Okay, so people are managing to get Sully and them out. So I'm hopefully... Hopefully they can give an explanation. Oh, I need the mug rack. It's so cute. Okay, which part am I on? Search, reception, for key cards, and I grabbed the tools for the door after reading the second sticky note. Because, like, I'm so confused. Hopefully I get a good a good response. I'm so nervous. Hopefully it's not broken, like I know there was like one quest in Eternal that kinda of broke and I had to restart my save. Um because I grabbed something too early. Man. Mmm.
the right side of the door? What? So use the tools on the door to open. I think it's the right right side of the door. Uh Uh, I'm super stuck. I'm trying to ask Discord right now. Did you do a backup? I did. So I would just have to restart, like, all those quests. So, luckily I did a backup right before this. Cause like, no, no, no nothing. Alright, I got Donald coming in. Hopefully they can help because I am super duper stuck. Uh, my sign didn't disappear. Your sign didn't disappear? Oh, is my game super broken? <laughs> oh gosh. I may have picked up too early. See, like, I read it, and then I picked it up, and then I left the thing, and then it just... Like, I don't know. There's no interacting. I'm so confused. <laughs> Let me just finish the ads one moment. Okay. Alright. Faye is in chat right now, in Twitch. Is it because I dupe? I hope it's not because of that. I don't know. I'm super stuck. Hey, can you guys just like bust the door down? Please? Alright. I, I, I don't... I, I don't know. I have the tools on me. I read the sticky note. Saw the tools. Close the door. Okay, see so you for three seconds. It got two more ads. What? Why are the ads crazy? I don't even have ads set to anything right now. But you should have the option to put them, th the tools on the door. I didn't. I. That's the thing. I. I totally like. I didn't. Can I like skip ads? I can't even like. What was it? You recently ran an ad and you must wait to run it. I don't want to run another ad. I want ad break. Where's my ad break? You stupid freaking Twitch. Causing problems for me? You have three pieces. Have you tried restarting the game? No. I will, I'll try... I'll try restarting the game. I'm so nervous. Gosh, I hope it didn't bork up. I'll try restarting right now, because right now the sticky notes aren't even there, which is also, like, making me nervous. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. I had issues with most of the stuff and had to reset. Oh, really? Oh. So, oh, I love the screenshots I took. Mike's eyes were closed the entire time. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Ur, harness the power. He looks so in the zone. Dang, so it is causing big issues? Great. So, restarting the game. Hopefully that helps. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> Beautiful voice. Um, game off, please. Please, game off. Also, we need a new, like, home screen. Please, I would love a new home screen. Alright, hopefully good news. I love this outfit. Man. Yeah. So far it's been fun. I really enjoy it. I'm just hoping that, you know, I didn't like break it, break it. Because I think I experienced that issue when I was doing Eternity Isle on stream. And I ended up having to reboot an old save. <laughs> Which sucked. And took so much time. So hopefully we can get through this. Alright. Restarted said game. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
I got monsters to save! Alright. All the way up here. Please, 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 please. Sorry, I'm also with my younger brother. He's enjoying seeing my kids all like... Nothing! Oh no! He's trying to make me do his quest on the Apple Arcade version of the game. <laughs> That's funny. Good luck. I, uh, I don't have... Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> Do I- so- should I- oh no! <laughs> Do I have to restart the save? No freaking way! Dang! Oh, I'm so upset! Okay. Why am I even saving? I'm gonna have to redo it. <sighs> am I using mods? Yeah. <laughs> I'll turn off mods. Dang. Okay. Maybe that's my issue, is because I was using mods. Um. Alright. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. Okay. Alright. But I don't want to say that also. <laughs> oh man, not my mods borking it. Okay, let me... Shoot, how do we get back to it? C drive. Well, thank you for trying! Oh, I'm PS5, so I have no issues. That's that's understandable. That's so... Mm. Alright, well, thank you for trying your best. I guess I'll restart the save. Okay. All right, here we go. Here, replace, reverting all the issues, and then I'm gonna go in and take out my mods for the time being. Man, I haven't played without mods in so freaking long. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh, did it not? Wait a minute, wait a minute, I just saw that. No, no. Let's see. Control V. Put, all, put, put the copies of it in there. There we go. It could help, yeah. I like to keep the duplicate of quest items, that's my big thing. But obviously, like, that's... I wonder if I just take out that mod in specific. Um, plugins. I know I have mods. Here we go. Plugins. There we go. <clears throat> no better too, but still picked up shiny. Oh, are you saying that it could be that? Did you pick up did wait, Faye, if you're still here, did you pick up the key card at all before you started before you got to that point in the quest? Could that be our re our like issue? Was that we picked it up too early? Because we, me and Shelly both picked up the key card on the desk, like, I think right when we got in. I picked up the key cards in the door thing just before the quest. Mmm. Shelly, do you use mods? I don't think Shelly uses mods. She had the same issue. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna... But I had no issues. Yeah. Um, I'll take out the multiplier... Okay, I'm gonna take out the multiplier. It sounds stupid, but I also just... The no object limit I freaking need, actually, if I'm gonna even continue the game. Because my, my object limit is actually borked up. So, I'm gonna pick just, just take out the ones that could be causing issues. Good morning, Manic! How are you? Okay, so I'm assuming that you're saying no that you don't use mods, Shelly. Mm. Okay, so no item multiplier. Let's get back in there. Oh, the pain! <laughs> I forget. Do you keep your moonstone purchases? No, right? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Man, an hour of gameplay. Well, at least I'll just like, I'll zoom through it and get to the point where we just dropped off. I'll just skip text and 
make myself uh Oh snap. Wait. No, let's keep local save. Yeah, local save is Yeah, let's keep local. Local save is the one that we just did. Do good thank you, how am I? I'm doing pretty good. Kinda upset that I had to reset my save a little bit. We're a little farther back. I don't have the mugs anymore, Shelly! The pain! Why? What a cruel world! Is it comfy in that snuggie? I know, I wanted to wear something comfy for this stream because I didn't know how long I was gonna stream for. Dang. Alright, I'm hoping the item multiplier doesn't mess it up and I'm not picking up anything <laughs> beforehand. Shoot. Okay. Mm. I'm so upset. Bim, 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 bim. So what I'm probably gonna do is um Oh, I have 1,200. Wait a minute. Hold on. I have to empty out my inventory anyways. What I'm probably going to end up doing is... Something different. Because I still kind of want to duplicate those items. And it'll be my punishment. And if I mess up again, then I will be upset about it and take that punishment. I see shiny in reception, but can't grab. Yeah, you have to go through that door. You have to go through that door through it. Um, let's dump all this in here. Did you read the sticky note on the door, Shelly? And then did you op did you get the tools in the back? Okay. Boop 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 ba doop boop ba doop. All right. So let's go ahead and. Oh, I already own all this. Okay, so it still kept this stuff. Oh, that means I can't buy the. That's fine. All right change of outfit let's immediately just put on what i wore earlier because i really did like that outfit let's put on the boots and the costume and the hair the necklace and i actually want to put on a backpack because we have the mic bag gotta use it okay Man, I am so disappointed. I'm so upset. Tools. Yeah, go to the there if you look at the second sticky note on the um on the door, it says that there's tools in the laugh floor and you have to go to the back left of the laugh floor to find the tools. All right. Uh nothing. I lost the mugs. <laughs> what, whoa. Whoa, look at that! This is new! Skellington's Bookshelf Large! This looks sick! Whoa! Lost Mugs got new bookshelf? I'll take it. Alright, let's get his wallpaper and flooring. Okay. And nothing new over here. Alright, cool. Can I buy this armor? Probably not. 40 grand! Oh, I did buy it. <laughs> so now I just have it in the mail. Alright. So, let's see. I'm just gonna run in there. And I'm gonna have my pet out. Sweet. Dang! Pissed. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's... This is not the way. Hello. Let's let's do it as slow and as steady as possible. All right, we know this. Um, laugh floor. Examine the door. Got it. Is this a gotcha game? No, I would not call this game a gotcha game. Not sure how to access backup on Switch. Hopefully, I hit the right option on PC. Um, don't forget to try the Discord backup your save. If you like, literally search backup your save. It'll pop up the um the back that save up stuff and it'll teach you how to back it up on Switch. No, but this game is not a gotcha game. Alright, we got the ears, we got the hard hat. 
use hard hat and then let's switch up our skin to the purpley skin that's a pretty skin the face on the face it looks really pretty and then let's do the ears to wait where are the ears oh i have them on wait how did i whatever eyes purpley eyes and take the rings off and the hair the hair wasn't like that before um let's see let's see let's see let's see where's that hair i like this is a cute hair too uh what what did i just get a text for for my college that i graduated years ago okay <laughs> that's so weird that's so random um blue hair dark purple look at that good as new guys okay uh take a selfie right selfie no selfie yeah let's put on my tools i just realized my tools are not the same boop ba doop ba doop all right unlock the door i was able to do local on pc good thing i spent moonstones yeah <laughs> Um, Sully! Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, okay. Alright, this is where we clean. I'll get started. Alright. Clean. Smash. Smash. Um, no smashing over here. Clean. Smash. Smash. Oh, at least I get this again. Nice. And computer. That's cool. I'm gonna have to redesign the Monsters Inc. room. That's gonna be a fun activity to do later. Especially with that purple wallpaper. I love that wallpaper. Sticky note. Okay. Uh, smash. Smash. And, no, come on. There we go. And another sticky note. Got it. Let's get to show All the right, road. easy. <laughs> Real. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. So coffee. Run. Coffee was easy to make. Mike likes. Collect. He likes three sugars. No, wait, that was Screamer. He likes a Screamer, three sugars. Coffee orders. So, Soli likes his... One, two, three, four, five. And then, one, one, two, three, one. With sparkles, it's easy to pick up the wrong thing. Yeah. It's a risk. It's definitely a risk. Alright, Mikey. Uh, oh, you guys talking? Just doing stuff on my game also. <laughs> yeah, we're all just working together to get our dream light done at this point. The team would never let me hear the end of it if I came to work with something on my feet. Okay, oh, with the toilet paper on your feet? Here you go. Here you go. My favorite little green basketball. How you doing? Alright, mm. good, 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 good. Speed, 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 speed. Mm. Alright, 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 alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cutscene! <laughs> oh no! This is probably my favorite part of the quest, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very good, f <laughs> this is a very, very cool part of the quest. What? I can't talk! Oh my goodness. Ready to make some laughter? Ready to make some Ooh. laughter? Uh -huh. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll find that manual. Until manual is right here! Being so gentle with everything. Here you go, Soli. Alright, alright, alright. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Alright, got it. Okay, so I know there's one on this desk. And then there's... I have no idea where the other... I know there's one in the back corner. Oh, here we go. Sticky note! Got it. Cool. Sticky note! Great. Cool. 
in this. Okay. So, plug it up. Plug it up. Plug it up. And, boink. Boink. See, I like these quests. I really hope we get more, quote-unquote, in-depth quests like these. Just like a fun little activity to do on the side other than gardening and decorating. Doop. Ba-doop. Ba-doop. Uh, this one's unplugged over here. Oh, hey, that those actually have, like, little laughs or slash screams in them. That's cool. They actually have energy in it. There we go. Yeah! Did I get one with his eye open? Thank Hope you. so! Alright, got you out. Cool. And then Sully wants vacation. Is that a sticky note? It is. Sully, vacation! James P. Sullivan, at your service. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm loving the update, how about you? I love the update. All the quality of life stuff, too. The Scrooge order is my favorite one. I love how they expanded his shop for free. Um, the premium shop items look beautiful. The bell stuff looks beautiful. I am very happy with this update. I just hope I can get this this thing working. Okay, so search reception for key cards. We're already back here. Okay, we need... Maybe they're in the laugh floor tool chest. Okay, laugh floor tool chest. This is where I got stuck. So here's the laugh floor tool chest. Doing it all as slow as I possibly can. And now I got it from the chest. And now... Oh my gosh. Just like that, huh? Yeah, I was definitely borked before. Okay, cool. Um, finally. Freedom! Uh, out of service. Is it a little arcade machine? <laughs> what is that? A fax machine? I'm free! Alright, it's probably the item multiplier that borked it. Uh, use. <gasps> the monster mugs! Dang! Uh, that we already seen. Sticky note. You don't know the time you wrote all these could have filed your paperwork. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, another sticky note. It's rude to read all this monster sticky notes, Ross. <laughs> okay, so we're missing one more after this one. Talk to Sully. Paperwork is a CEO problem. Okay, so we're missing one more sticky note. And we got the cards. Okay, so the card shards are not what we're looking for at this quest. Got it. So where's the last sticky note? Let me just find that last one. Finding this last one will help me. Help my brain. Mm, it's not behind anything, if I remember. Is that at a desk? No. No. That's not it. Don't pick that up, please. I don't want to break this game anymore. Mm, no. Alright. Hey! Here you go! Here your cards! You're here. Hey! You found the key cards we need! That's great! Come on, let's get those doors! Cutscenes! Ooh! I actually like how we're getting through these cutscenes. Alright, perfect! We got doors. Let me have a look at the files that came with those key cards. You know, the files with information on how to make the kid behind each one of these doors laugh themselves silly. Yeah. There are none, are there? Ugh, this place is a paperwork disaster. Well, I wonder who caused it, Mikey. <laughs> no files, no laughs, no breaking records. Sully's vacation will be ruined. Uh, he could go without you. What? No, that's impossible. Trust me, Sully and I are a package deal. Hmm... Why don't I make new files? New files? New files? That's preposterous. That's absurd. Make new files how? I'll sneak into the kids' room while they're still empty and see if I can find clues about what would make each one laugh. That's cool. 
Really? That's genius. I knew you'd be a great jokester assistant. Don't worry, Mike. I'm on the case. I'll search for clues in each of the rooms. Perfect. Let's head to door F2 first. That's cool that you actually go through the doors. Also, where's this last sticky note? I want to just get this last sticky note done. Where did I miss it? Oh, I'll look for it. It hurts that I'm I'm just like... <laughs> Frick! Where is it? Alright, whatever, whatever. F2. F2 is this one. Going in. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, and it's lit. I want to look around. <gasps> Isn't that clown a reference? It's a child's drawing of a circus clown. Oh, the bear! I remember the bear for sure. And then... Nothing else strikes out to me when it comes to, like, recognizing. I feel like this is, like, a perfect spot for, um... Nothing out there. For, like, cool little references. Child's drawing of a circus elephant. Oh, okay, are we looking at for drawings? There's nothing here. Nothing there. Drawing, drawing. Maybe we're not looking for drawings? Ah, child's drawing of a ringmaster hat and wand. Nice. I like that. That's cool. Hey, hey Mike. I found these drawings. The kid really likes the circus. Hmm. Circus fan, huh? Sounds like they enjoy the big top banana peel slip and split. It's an over-the-top routine when I pretend to slip on a banana peel and boom! Land a split. Very technical. Okay, now check F3. Alright. What's in F3? Ooh. Oh, I love how they put that on the ceiling. That's so cool. The dream light the chair. Nothing there, nothing there. This guy likes space. He's a big old space nerd. What is that? Huh. Okay. This is take photos of clues in the room. Okay, so I'm assuming... Ooh, look at that moon! Holy cow! Alright, so we're gonna take a photo of, uh, this. Also, they definitely changed the image format to be default to, like, the large one. So they like that. Save it. They like... Where's the other poster? Or maybe it's just, like, just trying to... Am I gonna move? Uh, no. Am I gonna... Am I moving? Why am I not moving? There we go. I mean, what can I show here? The ceiling stuff? What am I looking at? There's nothing to look at there. Mm, I'll show off the desk. He's a big... It looks like this is not... This is like a, you know, above age. It's like a teenager. Not something you really want to, um... Oh, that's not a clue. So maybe the clue is this thing right here. Is that the clue? No. Ooh, what's the clue? Is that book the clue? Okay, so it's definitely just space related stuff. Okay, so can I take a photo of these stars then? Mm. Like that? There we go. I like how we're going in the rooms. Hey there. Let's have a look at these photos. Space? This kid is into space. I got it. I'll make this one laugh with some knock-knock jokes. Out of this world knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Can I hear one? Sure. Knock-knock. Who's there? Champ. Shampoo. Shampoo? What do I need that for? I'm a Hailer's Wonder. <laughs> That's a good one. Thanks, pal. Okay, let's get back to it. Last room, but, uh, you're doing great. I really want to finish strong, so I need a guaranteed laugh. Why don't you bring me a clue from the room? Don't worry, I'll put it back. Okay. Isn't it, like, so against the rule to, like, pick up their things? Well, I guess now that we know that humans are harmless. Oh. Oh. Look at 
that reference! Woody's Roundup. I wanna, I wanna take a photo of that. That's such a cool reference. That's cool. And stinky socks galore. We're not here to clean his room, okay? He has to deal with the punishment of stinky socks. I just want to look around. B U U B. Okay. Uh, dude, why are these socks such toxic goo? Aren't these Bonnie's drawings? Maybe they just reused it. Cause I was gonna say, Bonnie's is never like this. This room's a mess. There's enough clothes on the floor here for a bulldozer or a shovel. Clean it up, please. Mom, XOXO. Hugs and kisses. Alright, looks like we'll clean it up for this little twerp. Never mind. <laughs> whoopee cushion? That's funny. I got a whoopee cushion! Here you go. A whoopee cushion, huh? Oh! I know exactly how to make this kid laugh. A whoopee cushion means this kid must be a connoisseur of gassy jokes of all kinds. I'm gonna burp the biggest burp in the history of burps. That'll definitely help me smash my last record to smithereens. Great idea, Mikey. Yep, it's gonna make my record unreachable. Okay, Joker Assistant. This is the big one. The mother load. I, this burp needs bass. It needs power. It needs vibrato. I've got two tokens here. I need you to bring me one can of soda from each of the three vending machines at, around reception. They'll all add a little something to this burp. Okay. Uh, two tokens, but there are three machines? Kid, if you want to be a jokester, you gotta use the tools you have at disposal. Improvise. Get a soda from each machine. Improvise. Got it. Okay. So, I'm assuming because the green machine is broken. So... Popsicles? What about this machine? Why can't I... What? Oh! That's what the switch was for. Okay. And then this one is broken. So what the heck am I gonna do about this one? Uh, cast a net in there. Uh, water it. Uh, oh, mining it. Yeah, okay, that works. Where is that last sticky note? I'm gonna go insane if I don't find this sticky note. Alright, here you go. Here's sodies, sodi pops. Blue, green, and red. Your favorite. My favorite flavor is blue, of course. Guess who I this cola see. concoction is the key. Oh, We're about to make history, and I owe it all to you. Bottoms up, watch the master at work in this spectacular three-for-one performance. <laughs> oh gosh. Solid. Nice. Alright. The little laughs. <laughs> it's so weird. Wow! Look at that! Very nice! We did it! Look at that! We beat him it by miles, by kilometers, by whales! Congratulations! Thanks, pal. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, I could have done most of it, but definitely not at all. Uh, yep, my burp tank never fails. It's time to head to Dreamlight Valley, right? Almost. There's one last thing I gotta take care of. In the meantime, maybe you could check on our hotel room, house, beachside bungalow? We're not picky, just be sure it's someplace nice. <laughs> Sully works so hard, he deserves a head start on the R&R. &R. Uh, so that's it? You're making sure Sully and I have a place to stay when we visit the valley, right? So, what was the point of the key shards? Wait a minute. What was the reason for this? This calls the door to the human world. Huh. Alright, I won't mess with those, but still, it's very curious why we're not doing a quest to that, or maybe we're just not done. I'm also looking one last round for that stupid sticky note. 
What sticky note am I missing? I don't even know. Here, I'm gonna look at the sticky notes real quick. Memories. Um, let's see. Is it here? Uh, did I miss it? Oh, I missed it. So, we know you wrote all the paperwork. Rude. Found your last note. I don't think we've ever seen it. Hope you like puzzles. Mmm. Just trying to see if I can remember it. I don't remember it because we just got it so early on. Oh well, it'll come around, I suppose. And if not, then I'll just search for it by myself. Sweet! Oh gosh, rearranging. It's time to rearrange everything. I'm just gonna put their house down for now. I think I have room in Sunlit Plateau for their house. So I think that's where I'm just gonna just place down their house for the time being. Take a look around, take a look inside. And then I um, will adjust everything a little later in the stream because I kind of just want to work on the quest and get as much done as possible right now. So, dream snaps. Whoa. This is nice. Wow. Wow, look at this thing. Um, Yeah, I definitely have room. Just need to like, can I squeeze it? Like, I don't want to really like to take out bushes and all that. There we go. Perfect! Yeah, this plaza is about to get its entire life turned around for this entire build. Hello. Uh, monsters are back coming back, are they? Curious lad, sure, but good friends to all of us. 20 Ooh, grand! Okay. Oh, I love how it's Monsters University related. Welcome, Sully! Yay, Sully! My guy! It's my boy! Back! He's back! He's back! Look at that! He even did his dance move pose. Oh, scary man. Uh, sure. A cheese! <laughs> I don't know why he looks cross-eyed. Sully! Gosh, you're huge! Ooh, this place is pretty amazing. About as amazing as you and Mike breaking that record. And, hold on. I've been here before, haven't I? Starting to remember. Can you guys? Eric? Alright. Looks the same, but you've grown up so much. Wow, I really, I think I really missed you. Aw. Even if I didn't actually remember you or the valley. It's like there's a part of me that feels... Welcome. Aww. Sully, you big softy. Well, Mike says I'm a sentimental furball. Speaking of, he stayed behind to take his new Jokes of the Month photo. Could you check on him? That guy has a hard time with the whole work-life balancing thing as I do. Okay. So maybe that's where we can finish up his quest. I want to see... <laughs> scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. <laughs> I love that. Oh, then there was that the bunk bed move? Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. It's in the bunk bed. Boom. Uh, okay. Oh, he has uh, moves too. Cool. Can we look at his friendship line? I love how they gave him his scary feet. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. It's on the top of the bunk bed. Boom. Wait. Okay. Uh, I am trying to... More details. What? Okay, so we get a piece of art, fur boots, and a fur coat. Okay, that is like the weirdest, most random thing ever. A fur boot and a fur coat. I don't even know how I feel about that. Alright, sure. Mikey! Mikey, what are you doing? What are we what are we doing, buddy? Why are we up here? You good, bro? You're here. Hey Mike, Sully said you were getting your picture taken for the jokester of the month wall? <laughs> well I was trying to, but I can't find the tripod and my arms are too short to capture all of this magnificence. Don't worry, Mike, I'll take your picture. Hey, you jump in too. We're a team. You and me. 
you and me and me yeah, and you. No, okay, no. I'll just cover you if that's okay. <laughs> He's doing his freaking burp pose. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. See, I love that because that's such a strong movie reference. Oh, how funny. That's great. All right, come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. <laughs> this photo. <laughs> I just this photo of Mike. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm freaking. I can't. I can't with it. It looks so good. It looks too good. I hate it. I freaking hate it so much. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Oh man. Wow. All right, all right, all right, all right. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I just can't. This photo's great. There you go, Mikey. Wow, this is a great photo. You really captured the essence of a monster record holder. You're the best intern slash assistant slash travel director I've ever met. Hey, what are we sticking around here for? Let's go to Dreamlight Valley I've heard so much about. Welcome, Mike Wazinski! Cool, we're getting a little fast travel moment. Oh, that was too funny. That- he is too funny. I can't Im imagine that with the jacket on, too! Oh, with the jacket on, it's gonna be worse. Yay, you got the door open! Nice! Alright, here we go, Mikey. <laughs> it's awful. Eric, can you not be in the frame? Good gosh, you're annoying. Wow, hey, look at this. Ooh, look at that. This place is great. Oh, I remember that big blue valley sky. And those birds, and uh... Ah. Achoo! Ugh, oh, that pollen. You okay, Mike? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. It's just allergies. How'd I deal with those before? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, thanks for bringing us here. Sully really needed a break. Chew! <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll see you around. Best jokester assistant ever. Oh, I'm so glad they're here. Okay, so what's his... What's his friendship stuff? Take a look. What are these items? Okay, we get the chair. I'm glad that we get the chair and we get a phone. Cool. I like the knit hat. I don't like that. I mean, that dress is... What are these outfits? They're not like movie references at all, which kind of like bug me. Where's the movie reference? Sad. All right. Uh, right. Let's go take a peek at their house. And then we'll uh, work on their friendship. Man, that's so nice looking. The detail is great on it. Whoa! I hope Boo's doing okay. Oh, he said he hope Boo's doing okay. My heart, Sully! Winds of change. Shh, do you hear that? I like that. So that's the poster that we're gonna get. And this is Sully's side of the bed because Mike's side always had a bunch of different posters of scares, and that's his uh soul his little thing. Frightening Frank McKay. Killer Claws. Oh, I love that. Those two I remember from Monsters University. That's such a cool reference. Oh, they did bed colors! Oh, I just realized! And his bed has, like, towels on it! That's cool! The little bunk mates! That's awesome. Alright, what a cool place. Um, so let's... I'm gonna start just right off the bat. I'm gonna make the stuff that they like. Um, just so I can get that out of the way, and then we can work on some regular quests. So, chili pepper, my hero cookie, Lance fish. Nice house, right? The house is pretty solid. Honestly, really happy with it. Um, if they ever make it into Uzma Kappa, I don't even know what I would do. I'm still here, but your background you noise for now, seen? that's totally fine. Thank you for lurking. Um, let's see. Just go in here. So, let's get all those gifts ready. So, pepper puffs? Shoot, I already forgot. I'm not really a big fan of their friendship items. Chili pepper puffs, red flower, eggplant. Okay. Chili pepper 
puffs. Um, did I pass it? I did. All right, and then red flower, eggplant. I'm also probably gonna change out of this outfit and do the boo outfit. Oh, that's making noise now. That's cool that that's making noise. Oh, nope. Split, one, boom. And then eggplant. I also might take the time and put my item multiplier back on just for these other items, these other quest items, we'll see. I'm um, definitely going to back that save up one more time. Dang it. I keep doing the wrong thing. I've been playing a game called Roots of Pacha. And that's messing up my, <laughs> my controls. Alright. Now we got... Let's see. Mike wants My Hero Cookie. Nope. My Hero Cookie, White Cactus Flower, Lance Fish. Oof. I don't know where I put my Lance Fish. Uh, that's Kingfish. No... No. Ooh, snap. Where's my lance? Oh, there it is. Alright, lance fish. And then my hero cookie and white cactus flower. I don't... Man, I need to decorate some storage rooms. That's what I need to do tomorrow or today. Let's see. My hero cookie. That's always a cute item. I wish we could wear that sometimes, you know? That would be cool to wear. And white cactus flower should be on the second floor. In here. And let's just hope that I have something. If not, I'll just go to the desert real quick. That's pink. That's yellow. That's purple. Dang it. Mm, no. If you hear that, that's a freaking plane outside. Is that a plane? Sounds actually like a helicopter. Actually, I don't even know what that is. Could be a military helicopter. Alright, let me go to the desert real quick, and I'm going to snag that. I also need to get all the Eternity Isle pets, and I'm still messing up with that. Um, but man, we got eight whole realms now. That's crazy. That's so cool. Ooh, that sounded different. Did that sound different? That sounded a little different. Are we in? Are we in? There we go. Okay. Uh, white, white flower, white flower, white flower, white flower. Is that a white flower? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Alright, let's head over to... Sunlit Plateau. That is a new noise. So I guess we're swimming in the well. Is that what it's trying to reference it? Hmm. Because that's definitely a new noise. Alright. Uh, man, this place is big. Are you guys just like in the house right now? Hey! Oh yeah, this place has definite laugh potential. What are you up to today? Well, I'm getting less exercise now that I'm not scaring anymore. But I feel better when I'm active, so I'm thinking I should take up a sport. You should take up recreational scaring! You know, that might be fun, as long as it's sport scaring and not real scaring. Pulling off a good scare can be quite a workout. Maybe I'll visit the old simulator again soon. <laughs> you know, there's a guy named Gaston, and he would love you as a friend. <laughs> I wish he would do the bob. Cause that's like the dance he does like with a little bob. Oh no, he does this. He does like a little bob with that. That's what he does. That would be funny. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the fur boots and fur coat. I'm not really a, a fan. All right, Sully. Um, I'm not really gonna use you at all, but if I were to use you, what, what, what are the big paws good for? Digging. You're great for digging, Sully. <laughs> oh, you have a quest, shoot. Hey, Vanessa, you're just who I was looking for. There's a project I want to tell you about. Do you have a sec? Um, of course. What is it? Have I told you about Monster Movie Night? What I'm saying, of course, I haven't. I just remembered it myself. It's pretty simple. Mike and I used to pick up those one of those monster movies you humans love to make, and we'd watch it with all of our friends. It sounds fun! It was. Even if the movie was bad, we always had a great time. I used to rent the movies from Mr. McDuck, but when I went to the store, 
There weren't any videos to rent. What did Mr. McDuck say? Nothing. Aww. He was with another customer. Mr. McDuck always looks so busy. I didn't want to bother him. He's never too busy when it comes to friends or business. I'll go ask him. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me give you the rest of your goodies for the time being. Gosh, my eye is watering. Alright, that's for you. And then one last one. There you go. Alright, level three already. A little bit of the way there. Sweet. Uh, that's a cute, um, freaking little sticker, you know, too. I really like the it's better to give a favorite gift than to receive. Oh, yeah. So maybe we should save... Oh, he went over there. Uh, maybe we should save Mike's stuff for the time being. Maybe we should get some of these done, too. Okay. So let's go get, like, Minnie or someone to hang out with. Oh, my freaking eye is, like... It's so watery right now. Oh my goodness, what happened? Alright, I want to change. Cute outfit, I love it, but I want to wear the boo costume. The boo costume's too cute to deny. The armor? I don't know. The shoulder pads aren't really... This just looks like it's for more male bodice anyways. The chest doesn't really fit the right way. But either way, I think it's cool that we finally got the armor. Um, maybe a lot of people will like to use it. So I'm gonna use the boo and then maybe we'll put on purple raccoon. I kind of like it. And then let's change our skin back to our usual shade. Eyes. We're gonna do the big eyes and we're gonna do dark brown, light brown because that's super cute. Um, let's see. Let's make our- why is our lips, like, so- I guess it broke. They bork it? Oh, I just don't have any on. Um, I like a matte look. Yeah, I like mine usually, like- Yeah! Yeah! That's cute. Um, uh, the, the, the back item. I don't want- Hmm. We could do the blue mic bag. I think that looks best. Man, these wings look cool. These big wings? They look really, really cool. These wings are pretty, too. I'm glad we're getting such good wings. I don't know why. They just look so cool. I kind of wish we, like, hovered when we were using them. But, get the little blue mic bag, I guess. Mmm. Eh. Eh, it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna do no bag. Uh, any- We're gonna do no bag. We'll rock the no bag look. Alright, Scroogey! Man. I can't believe there's so much to do. We've been in a three month drought with Disney. <laughs> Alright, whoa, hey! New pants? Hazmat suit pants? Looking for the new hazmat suit pants? Nice, so we do get new clothes. Oh yeah, we do. We, we get a good bit of... What? Huh. huh. I don't know if they're supposed to be stuck there like that. It's a bit weird. Anyways, Scroogey! Hello. Ah, what can I do for you? I'm helping slowly bring back something called Monster Movie Night. He was wondering where your rental videotapes went. Hmm, I did see him looking around the shop earlier. Uh, well now you know what he's looking for. Well, why didn't you just ask me? Silly didn't want to bother you. Nonsense! I'm always here for my customers, especially the paying ones. <laughs> As for the tapes, I'm afraid I can't offer that service anymore. How come? Because I was always having to chase the villagers down to get them back. Eventually, I decided to cut my losses. I suspect some villagers still have tapes from before the forgetting. And if I remember correctly, one of them would be perfect for Monster Movie Night. 20,000 giant arachnids under the bed. <laughs> Imagine giant spiders. I don't remember exactly who has it, but it's either Ursula, Mickey, or Goofy. Okay. Hmm. Though I do recall that whoever rented it did it for a special occasion with a special someone. Okay, so it's Mickey. I guess I'll have to ask each of them to find out who has it. Thanks. Bye -bye it has to be Mickey, because Minnie does like um, scary stuff. That's what we did find out with the Jack stuff, was that Mickey likes it. 
Or, um, Minnie likes it. I hope Max is No, I didn't want to go in here. I wanted to talk to Minnie. Hello, everyone. Anything change in here? Paintings did not change. No, that painting did not change. Okay. No, I want Minnie. And here, so here we go. Uh, hang out with me, cause I have to do I have to do that for a quest. And we're both wearing purple. Cool. Where is Mick? He's over there. Mm, there you are. Hello. Yeah. Hiya. How can I help you today, Mickey? Do you remember Monster Movie Night? Oh boy, do I. I love when he's moving. The little bells on his arms are jingling. Minnie used to love monster movies, especially the scary ones. Right before the forgetting, I even organized a screening of one just for her. Oh, uh-oh. Now that I think about it, did I forget to bring back the videotape? It was right around the time the strange things started happening in the valley. Mr. McDuck says a lot of tapes didn't get returned. Just tell me where you left it and I'll go look for it. Thanks. Let me think. Well, it was somewhere dark and deep on Dazzle Beach. I remember I had the screen set up there to create a scary atmosphere. All right. Do you remember anything else? Maybe it was some kind of cave on the beach? Sorry, that's all I can remember. That's pretty obvious. I can easily find the tape through that. That is Ursula's cave, no? I feel like Ursula's cave uh, had that. Also, I've noticed that people are still upset about, like, Skull Rock not being used. I just doubt that it's going to be used for a while. Alright, here we go. Is it here? Oh, no, it's not? Oh, wait, maybe- wait. Is it- is it not? Oh, it could've- Hey, what other place is deep and dark? Uh, is it fishing? No. Okay, so not here. I mean, there's nothing to go at around here. Oh, what if it's um the other place? There's two caves. I forget. There's two caves that we can look at. There is da -da -da -da, the cave behind Moana's house. Yeah, back here. Maybe he put it back here? Please, can you make the character's voices when you narrative it? <laughs> Man, I don't think there's any way I can do that. <laughs> that just sounds awful. <laughs> Ain't no way you're gonna have me try to do Soldi's voice or Mike's voice. I try to match the tone I would think they would say it, but maybe that's just like my normal tone. Um, is there- is it down here at all? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is- Oh, we get a nice TV, cool. Um, what is this? Progress further with Sully, unlock blah blah blah, and unlock blah 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 blah. So I'm going to actually back up my save, and I'm gonna put the item multiplier back in, and hopefully, um... Hopefully I can, like, keep a little copy of these items. Because I can understand, like, it breaking with, like, those big other quest items. So I'm hoping... Hoping we can do better. Okay, so let me... Open this up. We're deleting this. And we are... Can I refresh? Okay, we're gonna copy... Yes, I get that, I get that. Control C, Control V... Sweet. Okay, so it's backed up, and then I'm liking the update. The update's really good, Shelly. It actually looks really fun compared to the other ones. This update has a lot more quality of life, too, than we thought, and I think that just makes it so much better. Okay, so Bepinex, plugins, we're gonna just pop that bad boy back in there, and then let's start. Oh, cool, I got the screenshot with the burp in it. <laughs> I was hoping so. <laughs> that looks cool. Um, I like the the short the they did. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, I think your Mickey and Minnie are spot on. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. I try my best, of course. I try my best, of course. Um, I like the cutscenes. That's what I was gonna say. I like how they actually added cutscenes. I hope we get more of those as the update comes. 
um, because uh, since we're older players, we don't really get to see the cutscenes of the new of the older quests. So hopefully, with these newer quests, they continue to add cutscenes and not make them like last priority. But still, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't feel that. I don't know. They definitely did something to Mike. They added filters or something. And these were flowers. Flowers. Why does my voice sound like that? These were flowers. Yeah, this update's fun. I wonder how their storyline's gonna go. Um, it looks like we're already gonna get some good items from it. And plus 70-something items from the freaking... To collect for Monsters, Inc.? That's crazy. So, um, I'm definitely gonna make sure that every hour that goes by... I'm gonna check Scrooge because of the hourly shop reset. So actually, it's the perfect time to check now. I also need to go get Minnie again. So why are you guys starting out over here? Oh, because you guys probably need to go in Remy's, that's why. This would be the perfect day All right, see. um, let's look in here. Anything new? <gasps> we do have something new. We have the watering uh, cooler. That's fun, you could put that anywhere. You could put that by your bars. I could put some of those in the park. Let's see. And I hear water, so yeah, there's a pool upstairs. Anything else? Mm, no, no. New wall items? Nope, nope, and no. Pool. I already have it. Ooh, oh wait, this is a quad spot too? Oh, I didn't realize that these are quad spots now, so that means even more furniture can pop up. That's interesting. I didn't think the upstairs were going to be quad spots. Huh. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's go back down to that cave and dig up that uh, movie tape. Alright. Oh, hey, Sully. Yeah, that voice sounds spot on to me. Alright. Uh, and we got to You know what? I still got to clear these nights. Oh, you know what? This is a perfect time. I want to see. So right now, we are at 0 out of 50. I want to see if this clears out the night thorns for me. Oh, man, orbs. It counts as 20. <gasps> that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. And I get memories. Oh, my gosh. They made life so much easier. Okay, there's nothing I can really... Ooh, okay. So I'm definitely gonna have to like put vacuums everywhere. For sure. But let's go get this videotape and then I can worry about the night thorns later. That makes it so easy to... That makes it so easy to clean things up. Alright, let's grab it. Mickey's so sweet. We all need a Mickey in our lives. Or a Minnie. Let's grab this. Nice! And then I'm gonna dupe it in a chest and then I'll bring it to Soli. Do I have a chest around here that I could just plop it into for the time being? I do. Please don't tell me it's full. Okay, it's not full. All right, uh, videotape to Sully. Where's Sully? Sully is by the restaurant. I kind of wish the eyes had physics, like the little eyes on top of my onesie. <laughs> you know, pal, I was thinking. Ooh, I wonder what his size comparison is to Beast too. Hey there. You can turn off scrap scramble coin requests. Wait, what? Whoa, Vanessa, you found it. This really means a lot. Hey. Thanks, pal. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I guess next I gotta get some snack mix, find a big screen TV, and invite some folks. Let me handle the making of the big screen TV. It sounds like fun. Aw, oh, that'd be great. I appreciate it. If you want to craft us a new big screen TV, you're gonna need to gather a few materials first. Fiber, soft wood, glass. Also, Buzz next to Sully? <laughs> it just already looks so weird. Bro, you're not even the size of Sully's head. Look at that! <laughs> okay, 
So, you can turn off scramble coin requests? So that means they'll stop following me around? The only setting. <laughs> the only setting that we got. Honestly, the best setting. I'm happy with it. Enable scram scramble coin requests. Off, right? Because there's no scramble coin. Um, yeah, there's no board game. Oh, that means they didn't add any characters for Mike and Sully. And my ranking is done. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that makes it so much nicer. Shelly, you're a godsend. Thank you for letting me know about that. Alright, let's get... Yeah, I'm gonna actually change a lot in my plaza, it looks like. We're gonna have to look at some nice good old city builds. Oh, I wonder, is Tiny Bush in here yet? <laughs> I always check, just in case they add, they add her. Uh, no, no Tiny Bush. So Tiny Bush is still small. Got it. Uh, let's craft this. Yeah. Oh, I can't craft more than one. Oh, okay. Big screen TV. Cool. Uh, big, bring the big screen TV to Sully. Sweet. I'm also gonna bring it in a chest. Uh, I'm also gonna sell all this. Don't need all that. Uh, split one. Boom. Done. Alright, Sully went into the forest, right? Mm. No, I thought those lions were him. Where'd he go? Oh, he's deep in the forest. Sully! Sully! What are you doing? What do you say we open the door to something new? Okay, how about the big screen TV? Would you look at that? It's amazing! Mm. Can't wait for Monster Movie Night to start again. Now the only thing missing is Mike's famous snack mix. Oh, I gotta invite some villagers. Maybe we should ask Mike for help? You sound overwhelmed, and I'm sure he'd still be surprised. You're right. Mike uh, might take it personally if someone else brings a snack mix. Could you go surprise him with the news? You got it! I'll surprise Mike and ask him to get the snacks ready. And is Mike indoors? No, Mike is also on his way here. Okay. It seems like they kind of start... Unless it's just coincidence. Mikey! Hey! <laughs> He's just like, hey! <laughs> oh, so scary. Scary ball. Hey, what's shaking? Sully's bringing back Monster Movie Night. Surprise! Sully's doing what? Uh... Oh, I remember! Monster Movie Night! That's great news! Let me guess, he needs me to make my famous snack mix. He always burns it. It's like you're reading my mind. Is there... do you need anything to make it? Is there anything... yeah. No? I have a special secret recipe. It's infallible! Oh, I'm excited! Monster Movie Night was the best! You can tell Sully I'll bring the snacks. No problem. Quick question. Are you planning to go to Monster Movie Night dressed like that? Dress so nice. What are you talking about? What's wrong with my outfit? My ears are sticking out of it. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Why are my ears sticking out? Nothing per se, but it's a cozy movie night. I'm in a onesie with pals. You want to be relaxed and in the monster spirit. Oh, and you know what Sully would love? If you put on something blue and a pair of scare slippers, it'll really make him feel appreciated. There's a beach. Oh, I just love that low tide stench. That low tide stench? Ew. Dang! Looks like I'm out of an outfit, y'all. Alright, uh... Wait, do I have to put on something? All this? Order the items you need from Scrooge. Okay, so... Oh, ooh, it broke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it broke. Well, I don't need it. Need it, need it. So, blue casual top. Mmm... Look at blue. And then casual. Calm, playful, day, uh, casual. Oh, star path. This is cool. Also, love the little lovely monsters token. Adorable. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll do the blue monsters university shirt. We'll get in spirit. Uh, blue casual pants. Got it. Blue casual pants. Yeah, that, I don't know why that borked up so bad. Uh, casual blue. We got any? None of these really, like, 
Hmm. I don't know. We'll do that, and then he wants us to wear scarer slippers. Scarer solely slippers. Not sure on friendship rewards. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with you on that one. They're kind of mid. I'm not really a big fan of them. I wish they were different. But yeah, not not really not really digging them either. All right, let's make a whole outfit out of this. Maybe can we like make something a little bit more casual looking? Cause this looks this looks disastrous. Let's put on. Let's see. Do we have like a blue cap? I know we have a blue cap somewhere. Or maybe no cap. No cap's the more casual look. We'll do... Like that. I kind of like that. And then... Neckwear. I think that looks cool. And then coat. Maybe we could do... Uh... Yeah, something like that I feel like helps at least pull the look a little bit better. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe something like that. Or we could do like, yeah, blue. Looks like we're just doing an entire blue outfit anyways. Neckwear, we will... Blue headphones? <laughs> nah, we'll just do no headphones. We'll do a weird little necklace, though. There we go. Cool! Oh, Sully! Sully, look at me! Look at me! Where is he? He's still over here. What are you looking at over here for? What is so special about this to you? Good to see you. What'd Mike say? He loved the surprise and said he'll bring a batch of his snack mix. Then the only thing left to do is place the big screen TV. You know the village best. Would you mind placing the setup in a good movie watching spot? I'd be honored. No, thank you. We used to drag the big screen TV outside of my house and plop it down on some, com on some comfortable chairs. But please, pick any location you like. I'm gonna do it by your house. Um, uh, I mean, I just don't know like any other good spot. I mean, like, let's let's take a look. See, wait, hold on. Oh wow, this is it's pretty decent. Is that noise? I think our neighbors are moving. Um, I mean, wouldn't really like a nice spot be like Forgotten Lands? Wouldn't that be a nice spot? Also, can we move this yet, please? Oh my gosh, we still can't move this stupid treehouse. The pain. All right, not, we need something like dark. Maybe the swamp would be a good movie spot, actually. We'll do that. We'll do, we'll do this little swamp moment. Maybe over here, like move these trees, actually. Cause I never really found like a good spot for these trees. So maybe that's what we'll do. Put the trees like out here. Because the trees I can, like, line up right here, actually. What is- What are you doing? It's my freaking cat. Um, yeah, we'll move these trees out, and we'll just put it, um, over here, and I think it'll look fine. You see, like, that looks good. And then- Ooh. Ooh, I hate how I can't fit it. Uh... Oh no. Oh no, it hurts. We'll put it back there. Back hiding it back there will make life easier. And move everything over by a block. Oh, what? Oh, you're you're too big. Go get it get out of here then, man. I don't need you. There we go. Oh, I didn't even put it down. <laughs> that looks pretty solid. And then we can put the movie here. Looks pretty good to me. Hey, look at that. A lot of people are here. Cool. <laughs> Freaking Mike. <laughs> I just love 
Mike. Like, I, I don't care if my character is not posed. The fact that Mike's face can just sit like that is so funny. Alright, we're saving this photo. <laughs> Such a good photo. <laughs> One at a time! Vanessa, Monster Movie Night 2.0 was a success. Everybody had fun, and it felt great to get back into the swing of things. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, pal. Mm -hmm. I, uh, wanted you to have this. <gasps> for me? A TV? <laughs> it's the big screen TV. Now you can host movie nights wherever you want. Thanks again. Let's talk soon. Been thinking of some ways I'd like to help out here. I call that. Uh, cool. I'm actually gonna put the TV here. I'm actually, like, like I said, like, I try my best to keep, mo like, the quest, like, storyline, and movie night, I wanna keep, and if we can have it behind, like, Shrek and all that, I think that's fun. And I could put some chairs and, like, a nice big old rug or something. So I think that'll be fun to have. Um, cool. Monster movie night complete. Okay. So, am I still hanging out with Minnie? I am. Um, let's see. Bring two gifts. Boom. Okay, so let's do some quests. Uproot the forgetting. <laughs> Sony laying down. Uh, I know we got some here. Is he just, like, practicing his entire, like, line? Oh, no, did I just collect all the wood? <gasps> no. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. It just was really weird. I don't know why. It just looked really weird. Alright, we need ten more uprooted. Mmm. I have plenty up here. Let's see. I also want to put the snuggly duck- is that the snuggly duckling with the bar? I want to put that by Rapunzel and I think that's gonna go in Eternity Isle. I think that'll be a cool spot for that. I guess, like, one part of the jungle will just be all dedicated to her. I think that's the best move. Uh, how many more? Uh, so, how much was that? 47, three more. There's definitely three around here. One. Mmm. Two. And three over here. Nice. Okay. More than enough. Oh, he's playing. That's what he's doing. I was like, what is he doing? Break 40 rocks! My goodness! Engage in Goofy's favorite pastime. Harvest some bright red berries. So are we talking just regular apples over here? Like, how's... No, apples aren't berries. Raspberries? You're talking about raspberries and strawberries? I'm assuming, yeah. Okay. Uh, harvest. Harvest. I don't know why. It's so, like, satisfying to do these type of quests. Where else do we have bright red berries? It can't be all of them. Oh, isn't there some, uh, in Sunlit? I think there are. Let's see. Does Sunlit have... No. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh, are, cherry be are cherries berries? I don't think they are, actually. <laughs> I wish they were, but I don't think they are. Mm. No, they aren't. Um, let's see what else we could do. Dreamlight duties, obviously. Build stuff, 10. Well, that's not too hard to do. I'll just do, like, 10 pathing, maybe? And that'll work. Man, I gotta do a lot of redecorating. Let's see. Let's just build... Oh, we got basic canvas. Build ten of those. Good? Good. Sweet. Alright. Um, let's see. Cook meals that would never make the cut. <laughs> Remy's. So, one star meals? So, like, a bunch of coffee? Cause I could do a bunch of coffee. Mm. Oh. <laughs> do I have to actually click and drag them now? 
Does that count? It does. Okay, so nine more of those bad boys. Let's see. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, where is it? I just want to make a simple cup of joe. There it is. Maybe I should just work on just Mike and all in them. I think that's actually a better option. More fun, more entertaining instead of this. Cause I could do this like at the last bit. All right, me. Ooh, spend time with her. Make small talk. I could do that with Mike. I haven't talked to Mike yet. And then let me get some of these. We'll get two stacks of those. And let's see. Let's go over to Mike. Because Mike, um, we have to talk to Mike anyways. Mike is... See, yeah, like they're not spawning near their house? Why? Uh, Mike? Mike. Swamp? No. Is he shopping? Is he already is he already shopping? Is he eating? He's eating! Oh, they're at the, the restaurant. What do they eat? Sushi? Oh, that'd be cool if they pick out sushi. <laughs> I don't know, he looks so weird. Oh, he's clipping, my boy! And Soli has to stand. I'm sorry, Soli, you're just too big. Oh, he is choosing sushi. Alright, uh, something on your mind? Oh, I was just thinking about my best friend, Soli. He's got a heart even bigger than he is. Say, what's your best friend like? Um, he's super sweet and kind. That's great. Nothing better than a friend who will be good to you, even if something goes wrong. Um, uh, let's talk to Fairy Godmother. Here you are, what are you up to? Oh, fiddlesticks. I enchanted a daisy to gleam and glow. And now I've misplaced it. Oh, where did it go? Wait. She enchanted a daisy to gleam and glow. Did Fairy Godmother make the magic flower that Rapunzel's power is based off of? Why did you do that? Because the daisy dreamed of being a star, of course. A little magic let it shine like one, at least for a while. Goodness, what in the world? Oh, would you look at that? I forgot. Oh, it was in my pocket. Oh. To... Because it says flower or something like fl powers gleam and glow, let your power shine. Thought that was a little little teaser or something. Great to see you. Alright, let's just start giving you. Hope you like this stuff because I'm about to give you a whole butt ton of it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a snack real quick. I'm going to turn on my mini mouse. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to run it as administrator. Let it hack my entire system. I'm gonna just start giving Mike a bunch of goodies. And I will be right back. Let me just get this all set up to where it will work. Okay, so I have to record a couple gifting. So, wait, hold on. Mouse. Stop. Restart. Yes. Okay, so let's... This, this is how I do it, okay? I use a Minnie Mouse macro to gift, and it's so nice and easy, so hopefully it doesn't break <laughs> when I do this. So let's see, control... Alright, ready? Is it working? No, it's not. Wait, am I hitting control? Oh, 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 it was working. Okay, 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 wait, hold on, wait, hold on, I messed up. Oh, I messed up, okay. Alright, so, gift... Boom. Click, 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 click. Oh, he leveled up. Cool. Wasting my time. Wasting my time. The worst- Okay, literally the worst time to do this. <laughs> the absolute worst time to freaking do this. Uh, what do I want Mike to do? I think Mike would be a cool time bender. Oh. Oh, oh, we already have a quest. Oh boy, where do I start? Think over, I'll be back later. Alright, well, you know what? Never mind. We're doing a quest first. 
<laughs> or maybe I'll work on Sully. I'll work on Sully for now. Hey, Sully. Let's get to show I gotta work on you anyways, so it'll be- it's fine if I just do you first. Hotkeys. Where's my hotkeys? Wait, hold on. My hotkeys. Hi. My hotkeys. Oh, great. I have to restart the macro now. Uh, run as administrator. There it is. And then hotkeys. And there those are. Okay, so now... If I do it right, I just have to gift the boy. So, control S8. That's gonna give you this. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright, and then control F10. And that stops it. And then we're gonna loop it. And then... I will be right back. I shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna go get a snack. I'm freaking hungry. So, uh, ba boopy. Ba -boop. There you go. I'm gone now. <laughs> and then hopefully, let's see if it works now that I'm gone. Uh, and then we hit control 11. There we go. Alright, I'll be back. to make some laughter? What on earth happened? Did I even get to him at all a higher level? Did he just like level up one time? Alright, fine. Cool. Alright, hold on. Let me sc let me scoot in. Ugh. I'm here. Um how do I stop this again? <laughs> uh pause. Alright, I have my mouse control. What the freak happened, huh? I'm back. Ooh, my hair looks... There we go. Did he level up at all? Feels like he even didn't. Um, hey, I got an idea for the village. Got time to talk? Tell me everything. Well, first off, Dreamlight Valley's amazing. What you've built here is great. And I think I've got an idea that can make it even better. Okay. Um... <laughs> so it's not good enough as it is. Oh, come on. No need to be so insecure. Everything was can always be better. I'm glad you think so. Are you already doing so much for the valley? I want to encourage the other village to help out more. 
and valley improvements that's fair okay what are you thinking monsters inc this is jokesters the month <laughs> award so i think it there could be a villager of the month reward here i don't know folks would win by making real positive changes for the valley what do you think uh could it be kind of competitive in a bad way yeah didn't you have issues with randall gee i hope not my plan is to make sure it's about folks doing good in the village not chasing the award i still like to see a trial run before deciding great because uh kind of already started to organize it their villagers told me they have ideas of their own projects mike ursula and donald really what are these yeah. projects i don't know yet i told them i wanted to be an impartial judge but i'm kind of worried could you go check on them maybe help them out if they need It'll give the, you the perfect opportunity to see if this works. Sure, I'll check on Ursula, Donald, and Mike's community projects. Mm. Great, thanks. Alright. Take it easy, pal. Mm hmm. Mark? How you doing? Mm hmm. Uh. Hey. Are you the amazing assistant Sully promised me? <laughs> yep. Great. Not that I need it. I'm a shoe in for village. Wait, for villager of the month. Uh. You're so competing. With all my years of training, Sully and, and looking out for him, I know what he appreciates. There's no question that I'm getting that title. <laughs> I don't know how exactly to remind him when I'm the clear winner. We're gonna make the <laughs> make his favorite hodgepodge a la Monstropolis for the whole village. Oh, yes. What's that? Only the best meal ever. It's a perfect it's perfect after a long day of working tirelessly for, let's say, a big energy company. <laughs> And for it to be great, we need fresh ingredients. What types of ingredients? Mm. Any type. The best thing about hodgepodge a la Monstropolis is that it's good with everything. The more diverse, the better. I'll get you some fresh ingredients from around the valley. Let's say carrots, corn, and bell peppers. Okay. I'll be Hmm. Hold on. I'm chewing. Oh, Fluey, this is harder than I thought. Sorry, I'm busy. Is this about your project for Villager of the Month? I'm here to help. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh gosh, Minnie's head. <laughs> That's great. Okay, here's my idea. Been some trash left on Dazzle Beach and I want to clean it up. Could you take a few pictures of me working on the beach? It's a great idea. Thanks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Come on, Donald, hurry up. Oh, okay, I got it. I get it. Alright. Also, Minnie, you can like literally leave. Yeah, we're done. I'm breaking up with you. Thank you, bye. Alright, here you go, Donald. Do Donald. Minnie, bro, Minnie, leave. Freaking camera hog, you know, Donald? Clean it up. You're not, you're not cleaning. Alright, that, I mean, that's cute. That's cute. That's a cute photo of him. Alright, that's one trash. Come on, Donald. You got two more. Can we get a BOGO photo in this one? Just, like, stand right there. And look pretty. Alright, alright, then stand right there and look pretty. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Donald. I can't move the... I can't move the camera. I can't. Alright, there we go. Oh, my raccoon's here too. If you don't mind. <laughs> that count? Aww. <gasps> Gaston! Hey, Gaston! Hi, Gaston! Man, I haven't seen Gaston in a minute. Okay. Well, good enough, Donald. There we go. <laughs> Let's see those photos. They're good! I took really good photos of them. Really good photos of them. They're pretty good, but they could use a little work. Do you want me to take some more? No, I'll do it myself. I have much more important- I have a much more important mission for you. As my assistant, you're in charge of picking up the rest of the trash! <laughs> okay, I am your assistant after all. That's right! 
Sully told us to do something for the valley and be bring proof. That's what I'm doing, and you're helping. Thanks. Thanks. Whoa. Upgrade. Gosh, the tantrum that he throws, man. Mm. Here we go. Oh, there's more trash. Wait a minute. There's actually more than just the three? Oh, there is. Oh, nope, that's wrong. really a fan of that new Eric statue. I know that updated a while back, but I don't know. I don't like it. The other one was nice and uh, white and it looked really clean. This one just looks like it's covered in sand. Or made out of sand, I guess. Where is this last piece of rubble? Oh. Here we go. this little rat hey there you are great job on dazzle uh happy to help and that's why you're everyone's favorite friend now could you please bring this photo to Sully mm -hmm. sure Donald did you modify this photo there was not that much trash on the beach um you noticed that huh but I had a good reason I had to make the trash more noticeable for Sully Otherwise, it might have looked like I was just hanging out on the beach, getting my photo taken. Uh, I need to see how this is going to go. With me named Village of the Month, that's how. <laughs> now please, bring the photo to Sully so he can see the pro my project for himself. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sully is- so wait. Is Sully bigger than Beast? Hang on with me. Uh, Who's bigger? Oh no, Sully's definitely bigger. Ain't no way. He's de- wait, hold on. Two big boys! Stand up, Sully! Oh, he is taller. What is going on with Beast's head? Oh, there you go. Nice side by side comparison. So Beast is a little shorter, it looks like, but they're but he does they both kind of look like the same width. I'm trying to like look at their hands and compare by like the knuckles and all that. It almost looks like they have the same hands, but obviously Beast's claws are bigger. That's a cool comparison though. A little side by side. Here, I'll actually screen cap that. Cause that's actually really cool. And I will share it. Okay. Let's... You can leave me alone now. No, I don't want to go in the house. <laughs> this is not where I wanted to go. Mmm... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Uh, hi, folks. Uh, well, that's it. You 
Um, is that Donald posing on the beach with a bunch of digitally added trash? Not all the trash was fake. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Donald don't deserve it. He made me do. M he cleaned up some. Okay, well, well, lightly. Some is better than none, I guess. But this photo makes me feel like he missed the point of the village of the month. Thanks for helping him. It's great how you're always there for folks. Nice. And where is Ursula? Swimming? She shouldn't be swimming. Maybe it was just like on the bridge, really weird. I'll just run there. Or teleport there, I mean. Alright, uh, Ursula! I'm proud of her place. I think her place came out really well, actually. Hello! Yes. Ah, Angelfish, there you are. I need an assistant for Sullivan's silly little contest. I'm glad you want to help the community. <laughs> My dear sweet child, you could be so innocent. That great blue lug went around the whole valley advertising his ridiculous contest. But if I win, it's free publicity. And the only thing I have to do is impress a bunch of villagers. It'll be like stealing candy from a baby. Hmm, what do you have in mind? The perfect gift is of one of my custom perfumes for a few select villagers. I'll formulate each to smell like their favorite thing in the valley. I need you to procure me the perfume, Angelfish. What exactly goes into magic perfume, Ursula? Uh -huh. A few select ingredients. Gather some seaweed, purple hydrangeas, purple rising pestamens, and empty vials. I'll need three vials of the perfume so I can add each villager's special ingredient. Bring them to me as soon as you can. Why are you All right. Dang it. Okay, craft perfume of the sea witch. Uh, I don't have- see, like, I need to have a crafting station in every spot, because this take too long. Or I feel- I feel like it takes too long. Literally takes two seconds, and I'm just, like, the most impatient- Hey, wood. Mm. There you go. My house keeps despawning. Is that normal? Oh, I think that's, uh, part of a little- bug in the new update maybe that everything kind of loads in different i don't know uh but i already made the perfume very easy let's see there you go thanks angelfish uh -huh. it's nice to finally have some dependable help now i just need to mix each customized ingredient with the perfume no cutscene got it here who should i give them to one is for that old busy Buddy Merlin. Everyone knows how often we disagree. If it looks like I put our quarrels behind us, everyone will see how forgiving I am. One is for Mike, so he puts a good word in for me with his friend. And one is for Goofy. Everyone loves that gullible fool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not really genuine. No one ever is, Angelfish. Someone's on the roll. At least you're pretty. Mm, at least you're pretty. Um, okay. Goober. Where is Plaza Plaza and then Forest? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Here you go, Mikey. Hey. Uh. Oh man. Uh, 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 villager. No, wait. This one. Eagle. Just for you. Hey, what's this? It's a gift from Ursula. It's a perfume that smells like your favorite thing in Dreamlight Valley. Huh? Sounds like a bribe. She she probably wants me to put a good in good word with Sully. Yeah, it's totally a bribe. Well, if she went out of her way to bribe me, we should at least see what it smells like. Wait. Is that the scent of the applause of an adoring public <laughs> after a one monster show? It is! Wow, thank her for me. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like Oh, sorry, did I bother you? I thought it was gonna be something, like, stinky, since they like stinky stuff. Here you go! Merry Christmas! Oh, hello. What's this, Vanessa? A gift from Ursula. She made it so it smells like your favorite thing in the valley. Ah, well thank you for delivering it. You're not going to open it? Not without taking the necessary precautions. Um, yeah, I get that. It never hurts to be careful around witches. Particularly that one. 
You know what? I love you, Merlin. You stay strong. Also, no skull rock? No skull rock? Everyone's been asking for skull rock. No skull rock? No moving uh, treehouse either? We, we, don't, we don't have that power yet? To be continued, I suppose. To be continued. Alright, let's go all the way up here. Are we still in winter? Like, in real life? Are we still- in, are we in the winter months still? What was the roadmap? I actually want to take a look at that. Didn't we get a roadmap, like, a million years ago? We did. Nope, that's an old roadmap. I need a new roadmap. Do we not have a new roadmap? Do I have to go on the Discord to look at the roadmaps? Let's see. Beast roadmap. Beast roadmap. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wind messages. Here we go. Yeah, late winter was this, when this update was coming out. Okay, I thought it was, I don't know why, I thought it was saying early spring. So late winter and then early spring. When does spring begin? I know, I might sound like the most selfish person in the world for already asking when like spring begins and all that. When does spring begin? When does... When is spring? How about that? When is spring? Spring is March 19th through June 20th. So they're gonna... They plan on doing a March... March, April, May, June. Okay, so I can see them doing the late spring in... No, I don't get it. If they plan on doing an early spring update and then a late spring update, they have four months to do that, which is kind of crazy. Unless the early spring's just gonna be really small, maybe? Maybe they're gonna do two months, two months? Who knows? How long is the star path? That kind of helps. They kind of do like a month long break between star paths. I think. No, they kind of- they do longer than that. Shoot, I don't know. Howdy, Vanessa! Say, what's that? How come it smells like having a picnic with my best pals in Peaceful Meadow on a sunny afternoon? It's a gift from Ursula, and wait, is your favorite thing picnics in Peaceful Meadow? Gosh, I think it might be. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I like it, but it's not my favorite thing. Aw, I bet you have lots of favorite things. No need to choose. He's so- I love him. Who doesn't love Goofy? How long- 48 days. So this is on the shorter end of our star pass, I feel like, because we've had a 60 day one. Huh. Curious. Okay. Um, still gotta do a bunch of that. But we are going back to Ursula. I'm glad I didn't decorate my sunny plateau, huh? <laughs> Being able to place it down. I didn't have to remodel my entire plaza immediately when I got on. Oh, let's harvest these. Okay. Ursula. Eric, you've been stuck there. You gonna move? Ursula, 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 Ursula. Ursula's not here. Oh, she moved. Where is she? Oh gosh, she's our, she's in the plaza. It took too long, I guess. Mm. I love that heart castle. I just have no idea where I would put it. And like, I really, really like my um, Beauty and the Beast castle. So like, I would find it very hard to like change it into her cottage. I don't know. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to think about changing it. I wish we kept the house style, to be honest. I feel like I could do better use for it. I don't know. So, like, if I hold over this house, I mean, there's nothing that says anything. I don't know. We will see when the time comes when I do it. Uh, here you go. I finished the quest. Thanks for your help, yeah. Vanessa. With my gift sent, I only have to wait. <laughs> I'm sure the villagers will be lining up to make deals with me after this. And I just might get a medal for my efforts, too. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I think Mike's got this in the bag already. Both of those other people were dis disingenuine. Mike, how are you settling into the valley? Oh, boy, where do I start? Uh, at the beginning? Okay, wait. Achoo! Sheesh, this place is nuts. Is it usually safe? If I stay outside, is the air gonna poison me? <laughs> is whimsy and joy toxic to you? Oh, funny. I guess my health is a big joke to you. You'll be fine, Mike. No poisonous air. Just relax and have fun. Relax? How am I supposed to relax here? 
No hairy hosens, no cars, and all this nature. Achoo! Grr, it's like a different planet. Is it really that bad? I'm sure you can survive without Harry Hawsons for a while. We got plenty of food. Survive? I'm talking about living here. Think of this as an extended glamping trip. <laughs> glamping? I do not glamp. And even if the air is fine, you are constantly hopping around worlds, right? What if you picked up some sort of interdimensional parasite? Can you put on something that will keep me safe from whatever strange magical germs you might be carrying? If it will get you to calm down and stop being so dramatic, sure. Great! I'm thinking safety goggles. I'm very vulnerable to optical parasites. I can talk to Scrooge McDuck to see if he has anything to order. I get it. You want fashion goggles. Go for it, pal. Just make sure they're industrial strength. Okay, look, I don't want to do that quest yet. I... I don't want to go in here either. I just want to talk to my guy, Mikey. All right, Mike. Hey, what's going on? Uh, what do you need? I need some fresh ingredients. Oh yeah, more diverse the better. Right, I wanted carrots, corn, and bell peppers. How did I forget? Oh, we get the plaque. That's cool. Are we gonna be villager of the month? Plant and harvest? Why you gotta be like this? Okay. Where do we buy corn? We buy corn in... I want to memorize. We buy corn... No, carrots in the val... In the peaceful meadows. And that's all I remember. So I guess I'll look up the other two. Alright. Uh, Corn. Carrots. Boy. I need two carrots. Okay. Uh, corn is at the beach, I'm guessing. Carrots is not there, not there. Dazzle Beach, okay. Carrots, Dazzle Beach, Bell Pepper, Forest of Valor. Dazzle Beach, Forest of Valor. Dazzle Beach, Forest of Valor. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, oh man, I, wait, where did I put the store? That is where the old store used to be. That tells you how long I've been How's working on this freaking game. I haven't worked on my beach in actually months. That was one spot I barely worked on. And I do want to finish it up and make it look nicer. For sure. I, d I still have like Dream Snap set up and I need to tear that down. But I do love how the forest came along. The forest I don't think is 100% but it's definitely at a point where like I'm happy and if things need to change later on then it's easy to change. Hey Alright, bye bell peepers. Okay. So, I think, let's see, I think I have bell peppers hanging around in here. Oh, come on. One of these are bell peppers. Yeah, this is bell peppers. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Come on. I don't need all this. Come on. Just wait. There we go. Corn. Corn. Water. Easy. Oh. Easy. And then carrots. Wally? Nope, I'm Vanessa. Carrots. Water. A boopy. And then we'll put a bell pepper here. Uh, do you play games with your subscribers? Currently, no. But I can see how that could be a fun activity to do. It depends on the game, I'm guessing. Like, I think it would be really cool to be like Jack in the Box or Kahoot. Like something that's like very like party. Um, but I haven't played, like, actual, like, co-op games. Um, bring the ingredients to Mike. Where is... Sunlit. Mikey, I got your ingredients for HodgePodge McLaws. Right? That's what you call it? Here you are. Eagle. What is that? Fresh ingredients, just like you asked. But, where are the odors? Where are the lumps? This doesn't look anything like what Remy gives me. Maybe I should go talk to him? Good idea! I need to start thinking about my Villager of the Month acceptance speech! A voice chat with your fans would be so cool. It would. It would just have to be, like, very careful. Because of, um, you never know, like, who's gonna join and who can say things that are, like, super hurtful. Especially if you're, like, streaming and all that. Um, but I could see how that could work. Especially if, like, we grow a good-sized community. I could definitely see and support that. This is not Remy's place. 
But the screw store resets in three minutes, so that would be fun. All right, let's Have see. Have you ever heard Ariel sing? Here. Oh no, Remy's outside. I didn't think Remy would be outside. Is he inside now? He is. Hello. Hey, what are we cooking today? Mike asked me for fresh ingredients, but when I brought to him, he complained they weren't like what you make for him. I think I know what wrong. I always make sure that each of his meals contains some fresh compost. Monster palates seem to prefer a degree of decay. So if I prepare something called hodgepodge a la monstropolis, and I already have carrots, corn, and bell peppers, just add some fresh compost to Remy and you're in business. <laughs> yeah, that's tasty to each their own, I guess. Exactly. One monster's delicacy is somebody else's garbage. <laughs> if you need some fresh compost, just put it outside to enrich. Uh, just put it outside to enrich the soil. It should be near the restaurant. I just put it outside. I was like, "What? What is he talking about?" I read that wrong. Um, find fresh compost around Dreamlight Valley. What do you mean? I have to go on a search party for some trash? He said he just put some outside. Uh, fresh compost, fresh compost. What does it look like? Do I have to dig it up? Mm. Don't know. Uh, make everyone go through a vetting process on Discord before they're trusted enough to voice chat with you on stream. Yeah, it would have to be like some like heavily monitored stuff. I would probably have to have like more active mods especially so that's just like it goes down to like scheduling at that point but yeah i can see how that could be really fun around the restaurant okay so it's around the restaurant okay wait a minute so it should not be that hard oh my gosh it was okay no all right why would i mm -hmm. yep that's what i wanted to do Ah, uh, oh, it's raining. Oh, I just need to pick it up. There we go. All right, and then can I please fix this? There we go. All right. Can we? Ooh, the store reset. What are we gonna get? I'm ready. I'm ready to see what we get. Oh, there it is. And we get. Ooh, I already have this. <laughs> Dang it. I thought it was new. My gosh, I haven't seen that furniture in so long, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. I own all that. Let's go up here. Own it. <gasps> the mugs. The mugs look so good. They really do. All right, da, da, da. No. Counters, counters. And we're definitely all out of wallpapers and flooring. So we max out on that again. Oh, goggles. Red and white goggles. Don't we have these? Huh. And they kind of just sit there. So I wonder if it's like for other people to buy, maybe? Hmm. Maybe for like the trading purpose of it all? I wonder. I wouldn't ask to be on stream with you, but I would imagine some of your fans would love it. Yeah. I uh, I mean, I, I, te I like use like my Discord. Like we talk in the Discord. If anyone like messages in there, I try to my best to message back in um in the stream discord like i know shelly shows her dream snaps in there and yeah i try my best to keep up to date with that for the time being since i don't do uh voice channels right now so at least there's like i guess something there okay so it was compost then carrots corn bell peppers Bell peppers, carrot, corn. Good. That looks like a straight up pile of queso dookie on a pan. Wow. Delicious. Can I have some? Wow. Okay. Uh, carrot, bell pepper. That delicious garbage <laughs> why does it look like that literally looks awful two done uh let's see no 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 e 
E. There we go. Okay. Bring two hodgepodge a la crapola. I didn't realize it just eats straight up dookie. Um. Excuse me, excuse me. Here you go. No, wait, no, 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 no. There we go. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, that looks so gross. Thanks. It smells delicious. Just like home. Now, I just need to bring this to Sully and remind him who the real MVP in the village is. After that, I'll finish my acceptance speech. Thanks a million. Cool. And then Sully. Sully made your decision. Did you taste it? How did it taste? Hey there. Great job. The first villager of the month contest is going really well. I know exactly which project's the winner, but uh, before I do that, I need a small favor. How can I help? Well, the winner? It's not Mike. And I'm hoping you can break the news to him. <laughs> Gently. Could you do that for me? Of course. Hey, just try and do the right by my pal. Let me give you a little advice. Mike can be pretty sensitive sometimes, so give him the news quietly, and then stand back. He might yell a lot, but he'll appreciate your kindness. Until next time. Mikey, Mikey boy, you lost, you freaking loser. Your stupid poop casserole did nothing. Did nothing for you. You lost. Hey, don't say anything. You could tell me I'm the villager of the month and that I need to start writing my acceptance speech. Well, joke's on you because I already finished it. Uh, <laughs> it might be hard to hear, but you lost. Oh? Oh. Oh. Well, thanks for warning me. Sully probably asked you because he knows I have no problems yelling at him. There's only one thing to do now. Oh, no. I'm going to work twice as hard next time. Next month, that title will be mine. Yeah, that poop that poop casserole will surely do it next time. Maybe add more corn. I didn't see the corn really visualize it. Uh Sully is in Sunlit Plateau. Let's see. Sully Sully. Hello. Good to see you. So, how did Mike react to the news that he didn't win? Honestly, it only motivated him to work twice as hard next month. Phew. That's a relief. Uh -huh. Thanks again for telling him. Oh, and I have a surprise for you. You're the villager of the month. Congratulations, pal. Aw, yay. Yay. Finally, some recognition. This is so kind of you. Hey, it's time somebody acknowledge all the work you do for the valley and for the good of everyone, not just your own yeah. ego. And now for the main event. Yay, our plaque. Uh -huh. Please place the villager of the month award stand in the valley and we'll make it official. I'm gonna put it in front of my house, next to my Dream Snap Award, because I am. Oh. Oh, we're taking a photo. But it's raining. I mean, do we have to right now? In the rain? I don't want to put it in Eternity Isle, only because I'm actually scared that if I do, it will break the game. So I'll just take the time, and make my my dr make a dress maybe. Actually, no. No, we, we humble ourselves. We wear we wear our outfit. We don't need to treat this as a grand event. This is just a simple Tuesday, you know? Also, let's put the blue raven out. That's a blue, that's cool. Or blue raccoon. I'll put on blue raccoon. <laughs> Actually, no, the blue raven matched more. Here goes me being indecisive again. Yeah, the blue raven matched a little bit better. Dream snaps. Still gotta do dream snaps. Um... What I could do, I guess, is start the plan for what I'm going to do here. So I think for the time being, it sucks because I like how this looks. Like, I like the entrance that I've made. What I could do, actually, I'm not a big fan of this part, so maybe I can tear this down. I really like this little entrance thing. Like, I think that helps pull things together. I don't really want it to be immediate buildings. So, I'm gonna push this building back. And then we're gonna push that, the, this building back. And, um... Maybe do the same for here. But take out this. 
And we can easily move this to somewhere over here, maybe. And that could look good. Because uh, this can still be the shop area. But then we just move the living quarters back a little. Oof, I don't know. But I do need to make a... I'm basically just going to wait out the rain. Um, oh, you know what I could do? I can work on Mike's quest for the time being. Yes, let's avoid. <laughs> let's avoid our issues. <laughs> um, do you have kids yet? I know you'll be the perfect mama bear. Bro, I am like, I'm, I am not old enough for kids. I am. No, I don't have kids. We, I do not expect kids for a long while. Good day to you. Uh, like to order clothing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Edna mode. Who? Gosh, they look awful. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Sweet. Wear the safety goggles to make Mike feel at ease. Wait, I'm wearing it because he thinks I'm going to give him a disease? Oh gosh. All right. <laughs> I hate it. It's so ugly. Can I put like a matching outfit? Um... Maybe, maybe that? No. No, that doesn't help it. Maybe, maybe the onesie? Huh? Does the onesie help with it? I mean, the onesie kind of works with it. I ain't gonna lie. I'll do it. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> it looks awful. I can't. Okay. Uh, here you go, Mikey. All covered up. Just for you, buddy. How's this? Mr. McDog hooked me up with a set of goggles. Mm. Wow, those are heavy duty. Like something you find in a CDA supply closet. I could, we've got a 2319. Uh, yeah, it kind of freaks me out too. <sighs> something about the way they magnify your eyes. Now that I'm all goggled up, do you feel a little better? Mm. Definitely. Ooh. But if you really wanted to make me feel comfortable, <laughs> you could help me with my, my, achoo, my allergies. I swear, the flowers around here are raining pollen. Oh, you got pollen allergies. Mm. Afraid so. One of the many reasons I like living in the city. Can I get you some sort of allergy medicine? Maybe talk to Merlin about a potion? Mm, not sure anything you have here would do the trick. I need something with a real monstrous kick, you know what I mean? But, if you bring me some special ingredients, I can make a monstrous depollinator solution. That'll knock your socks off. What do you need? Hmm. Well, I can get you a list, but I'm not exactly sure where to find the ingredients. Ooh. Are you up yes. for a little scavenger hunt? Help. Sure. Yes, 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 okay, yes. first I'll need some desiccated right. fishing bait, <laughs> then an a some ancient crumbs, Ooh. and finally a suspicious fridge gunk. <laughs> Those are really gross, Mike. <laughs> gross? Are you kidding me? These are top tier ingredients we're talking about here. Hmm. My formula will not work without with subpar supplies. Okay, sorry I asked. Where can I find your unique shopping list? I don't know. Maybe try the houses of different villagers? Cool. I'll start there. Uh, uh, wait, what? What happened? Sorry to break the news to you, but kids are usually an unexpected surprise you didn't know you were ready for until they're here. I mean, I don't, but like, I don't, like... Can kids be unexpected? I mean, if you plan it, they're not unexpected, but no, I mean, I'm, I'm, make I'm pretty sure that I'm not, I don't have kids right now, <laughs> and I'm not planning to right now, and you know, when, when you're not planning to, it's, it's very easy to, to make sure that you're, we're covered. Uh, something slimy and cold from Mickey's house? What? What, what does Mickey have that's slimy and, oh, he has a fridge. Uh, did they change his house again? Did they change his house again? Were these couches always here? Gosh, I feel like I, they just change up the villagers' houses all the freaking time. Alright, slimy and cold. Um. Let's see, what else are there? Uh, something in Goofy's house that was long ago- that long ago was wriggly and tantalizing. Ew. Goofy, you holding some rotten fish? They didn't change Goofy's house. Wait, did they? Was this always here? 
Did he always have a crafting bench? No, he did because I remember uh, liking the fish, uh, the fishing hat on it. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, desiccated fishing bait. Thank you. Why is that still sparkling? Okay, I don't know why. Super sparkly. Something stashed, covered, uh, covered for ages in Merlin's library. Okay. That can't be too hard. Let's see. I have a lot of stuff I leave out in Merlin's because I duplicate stuff. So hopefully it's not too, too bad. Um, no, that's not it. Is it in this bag? It is. Okay. Ancient crumbs. These crumbs are so stale that they must have been hiding in Merlin's beard through the entire renaissance. That's so funny. All right, let me go put these in a chest and dupe them out. And then we can continue Mike's quest. I think Mike and Sully are super cool, man. I like Sully's quest so far. Sully's always been so wholesome and peaceful. He didn't really seem like, uh... Like anything uh, that would like be like argumentative, I guess, like Mike. That's why I guess he's like Mike's little opposite hand. Uh, let's see. There we go. And what do we got over here? Mikey. Where is he? He's behind me. There you go. I love how he does a stand-up routine. That's so funny. There you go. <laughs> nice. Mike, I'm back. I hope these work for your monstrous depollinator solution. They are perfect. Here, let me just mix them together. Do you have a special recipe or something? Wazowski family secret. My mother passed it down to me before I left for college. Good thinking. That's my mother for you. Always looking out for me. Hey, if you ever run into her, tell her I made good use of it. <laughs> and here you go. Would you ever run into your mom? I doubt. Oh. Thanks for helping me deal with those nasty pollen-filled flowers. Sure. Putting it in my royal watering can should do the trick. You're a lifesaver. Literally. All that pollen is... Is... Achoo! Oh, it's killing me. You know, that watering every single flower in the Dreamlight Valley is going to be a tough task. But I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Well, fortunately, Merlin told me recently that the Dreamlight Magic links all of the flowers here. Oh. I should be able to water a handful of them, and the Magical Root Network will carry the monstrous depollinator solution to all the others. That's great! Sniff. Oh, could you bring me some flowers after they've been depollinated? My place could use a little color. Got it. Uh, I don't really have flowers I want to give to you. Actually, no, in sunlit I do. Upgrade... I thought I- I thought he upgraded it. Did he not upgrade it? Maybe I need to do it in my... Little thingy thing? Uh... No, it's upgraded. Sh is it not upgraded? I'm confused. Okay, let's- Like, if I water... No, what? Mike has returned the his hydro account. He's refusing to engage until you assure he's safe. Use the royal water and cream with Mike's. Did he give me the. Oh, he gave it to me! Oh! Oh, how weird! Look at that! That's not even my watering can. Water flowers around the valley. Looky. I should have plenty of flowers over here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. And then he wants flowers. Make sure you have flowers in your inventory. Uh, I have a flower in my- oh yeah, I have the cacti. I mean, I could just- I could just- I'm, I'm assuming he's not gonna, like, actually use these flowers in his place. It would be cool, though. Like, if you give him flowers, he puts it in his, um, his house. Alright, let's just- there we go. Bring the flowers to Mikey. Oh, Mikey. You know what? I really thought the friendship quest was going to give Mike his car. 
like we rebuild his car or something. So like, I, it also makes me really disappointed in the the dress we get. Plus, the dress doesn't really help a lot of the players. I feel like it's only for like a select few. I don't know. Here you go. Mike, I brought you some flowers. I thought these would look nice. You're not allergic to them, are you? Ah. Oh, that's... Huh. It's... Yeah. That's, uh... Uh... Asparagus? Actu actuarial? <laughs> Alarmist? Ah. It's you! Uh-oh. Bless you! Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, no. Is something wrong? I can't see! My contact lens! I must have seized out! Oh no, it could've been anywhere! We're gonna have to look all over the valley, aren't we? Hey, my sneezes are powerful! But given the direction I was facing, I'm thinking it- You're not facing Dazzle Beach, sir. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be on Dazzle Beach. Oh, and when I sneeze, it's also pretty wet. So if you see puddles, you're probably right on track. Ew, but good to know. Puddles? Wait, oh no, I thought those were his puddles. Those were freaking the shading. I was like, what? Alright, uh, let's see. Puddles. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, wait, no, is it it? Optional, clean the snotty puddles with the royal water and cake. No, I want to keep the snotty puddles. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so gross. <laughs> Ew. Oh, you can't walk in them? Okay, well, this one's going. That one. That one can stay. But the other one's gotta go. Contact lens. Contact lens. Oh, there it is. Dang. It's got sand all over it. How are you gonna see? Okay. Uh, E. Was that... Oh, no, that was it. Okay. And I'm gonna go and duplicate it because why wouldn't we? I do love how the new pathway came out. I think it's way better. It's very more luscious too, which I appreciate more. Well, everything else is kind of less dense. I need to start like adding more detail into these areas. Just a little bit more. Okay. Um, This is not a chest. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Over here. Yeah, it's covered in freaking dirt. What are we gonna do about it? Mikey, your eye's gonna get all red. Here in the plaza, or the peaceful meadows. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal, over here. Here you go. Here you go. It's nice and dirty. My contact lens, you found it. Hope it's not scratched up or anything. This thing, it's built like a tank. When you've got one big eye, <laughs> one eye as big as mine, you need heavy duty contacts. Plus, it's covered by insurance. All Rings has excellent benefits. Well, if it's scratched, do we need to fill out an incident report? Inform the insurance company? Start the paperwork? P paperwork? Did you say paperwork? Oh boy, I gotta sit down. Is paperwork really that bad? You can only say that if you ever worked in Monsters, Inc. I thought... I thought I'd get a break from Roz and her twin sister, Rose, here. Oh yeah, she has a sister! You will! What is happening? I'm actually shaking now. And, achoo! My allergies are acting up again. Hmm, I wonder if there's a link between your allergies and stress. Have you tried figuring out why Roz and Rose get under your skin like that? You mean aside from how they say, Wazowski, every morning when I get to work? <laughs> or their constant demand for paperwork? Noted. <laughs> I could keep going. Do you have all day? As much as I love to hear everything about them that bothers you, I actually don't have all day. But I've got an idea. What if I dress up like Roz and then you can let everything you clearly wanted to say to her? To her. Huh, that could be interesting. Well, I'm game if you are. She always wears these horn-rimmed glasses and a red sweater. Hmm, I've got something else in mind that can help me look like Roz. You try to center yourself for a moment. I'll be back to help open up. Wait, what are you up to? Making something that I think will be a big help. I'll be putting together some fabric, rope, and softwood. Well, this I gotta see. Are we gonna make a Roz? Craft a mask of Roz's face? <laughs> Wazowski. Alright, let's be Roz. I've always wanted to be Roz. 
What an inspirational. Oh, it's awful. It's actually so creepy. Wait, we keep this? This is great for Halloween. Okay, red top to complete the costume. Wazowski. Oh! <laughs> look at us! We look great! <laughs> That's perfect. Alright, let's get a red cardigan going. I know we got nice red. There we go. Oh, yeah. And let's get just a basic, like, like white outfit, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it looks so good. I feel like Ross is the type of one to wear loafers, too. So we're going to just slide on some, some good old loafers. Oh, my gosh. I love this so much. All right. The fit is ready. And I'm going to put a matching companion because I'm going to be walking around like this. Actually, I have hair that can help, too. Let me... Uh, yeah, we'll do green crocodile. Let me get a hairstyle. I know we have an updo style. <laughs> yeah! Wazowski. Oh, uh, we won't do the crown, even though it fits so well. We'll do that. <laughs> we look so good! I'm on my way, Mike Wazowski. Always watching. I forgot about Rose. Was it Rose from university? Or maybe that was from Monsters at Work. Um, let's see. Mikey! These quests are a lot longer. Like, we're only on, like, level 3 or whatever. No! Mike, you were, Mike, can you, like, get out of that area, please? You're ruining the vibe. Come on, scoot your boot. Scoot your boot. There we go. Couldn't ask for a better day. Uh, what should I do? The anticipation is killing me! What's the surprise? Well, hold your horses. I'm almost ready. I just need to dress up and we'll be good to go. See in the funny papers. Wait. I am wearing- Oh! I see. Um, I need to put on a red shirt. Well, that ruins my vibe. There we go. No. <laughs> I love it. Hello, Wazowski. Hello. Ah, Ross, what are you doing in here? How did you get here? Mike, it's me, Vanessa. I'm wearing a Ross costume. Oh, who? The resemblance is uncanny. Until I saw your legs, I thought you were Ross. It's working. Oh, Wazowski. Where's your paperwork, Wazowski? <laughs> oh, why? I was busy. And in another world. And the little animals here ate it. <laughs> I'll get it done, I promise. Don't let it happen again. No, I'll... You know what? No, I don't have to take this. You hear me, Roz? I'm done with your paperwork. Done, I say. How daring of you, Wazowski. That's right. I'm one of the most daring, top-performing jokester you've ever seen. Is this really about paperwork, Wazowski? Dig deep. Really open yourself up. Hmm. Well, there's something else. It's your hair! It's your hair, Roz! My mother has the same hairstyle. Do you know what it's like to go into work every morning and see your sweet mother's hairstyle on the bane of your existence? <laughs> Let me get my best Roz voice going on again. Wazowski, maybe your mother and... Maybe your mother and I are besties. Maybe we're close as sisters. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> Maybe your mother and I are besties. <laughs> that's actually so freaking funny. Um, let me... I want to keep the screenshot of that. That's hilarious. Um, there you go. <laughs> okay, from now on, call me Auntie Roz. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. This is your chance, Mike. Let it all out. You're not my boss, Roz. You don't even work at the factory anymore. If I want to hand my paperwork late, then you or Rose can go bug Sully about it. Yeah, go Mike. Wait, what? Sully's the CEO. Paperwork's his problem. I am the talent. Huh, I'm sure that helps, but did this help? Do you feel better? I feel 
So much better! Wow, that really did the trick. Happy to help. We can't have our new visitor feeling anxious in their new home. Now I can finally breathe! I feel restored, rejuvenated. Thanks, I can actually enjoy it here now. By the way, I heard that villagers try to show their thanks by giving you gifts. Yeah, it happens sometimes, but don't feel compelled. Oh, but I do! Here, take this! One of the best from my collection. That's very, a very unique gift. Well, the Wazowski have a reputation for unique gift giving. So kind of you. Hey, I'm just that kind of guy. So I'm no longer so anxious or sneezing. I'm going to see how we can make this place better than ever. Well, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Talk to you later. What does it say? Mike's naughty tissues? <laughs> Ew! Mike's snotty tissues. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. I'm gonna put this by my bed and cuddle with it. That's vile. Also, I'm gonna be Roz now for this picture. Heck yeah, award time. Time to get our photos taken. Another photo taken one. Yeah, yeah, Mike's behind it. <laughs> of course they do that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Beautiful. Perfect. Nice. Monster of the Month. Congratulations again. You're a great example for all of us. The rally wouldn't be the same without you. This Villager of the Month plaque is more than deserved. Thank you. I hope more folks follow in your footsteps and start to do more for the valley. As for me, it's back to the drawing board. Love these little projects. Can't wait to find. Mike! Mike! Bro keeps talking. He's probably the more annoying one because he keeps talking. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to find even more fun things to do here. <clears throat> Cool! We got a plaque for indoors. I might actually put that in my house. There's a beach! It sounds like he's saying the B word. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're back to gift giving for them. I'm gonna put this plaque up. I actually am happy that we got this plaque. Uh, Monsters, Inc. And my little plaque! Yay! Look at that! Yay! I'm a villager of the month. That's me. Every month, baby. Um... Yeah, we got some nice new stuff. I feel it. These mugs are so cute, too. These are so gonna be great for redecorating. And I love this chair. I don't know why. I'm so obsessed with how this chair looks. Cool. Alright, let's go back to gift giving. <laughs> Wazowski. Uh, let's see. Where are they? Are they eating? There's so many people in there now. Alright, so I guess I'll just, um... Here we go. Sweet. James P. Sullivan, at your service. Alright. I... Yeah, we can continue gifting. I'm going to take a little break. I will be back. I'll, I'm just gonna, like, rest my voice, basically. I'll be right back. We're gonna have him level up, and we'll, um... I'll wait until he gets to seven. I'm gonna go refresh. All right. I will. Um, let's see if I can get it to work. All right. Turn it off my camera. Boy, boy, you can't see me now. Ha ha. And let's see. How do I hit? How do I hit? Play. Play. F eleven. No, that's no, that's not what I do. F eleven. Is that working? There we go. All right. See you guys in a minute.
Ready to make some laughter? Let's get the show on the road. James P. Sullivan, at your service. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That is enough break time for me, I suppose. Let's get back into it. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I keep... Oh, nope, it's it. Gosh dang it, how do I pause this thing? It's, it keeps going. Okay, uh... Wait, no. Oh, no, am I... Am I locked in? Am I stuck? No, am I stuck? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually might be stuck. <gasps> oh no! I'm in the abyss! It's not working. Oh wait. What did I do? Oh shoot. Oh my gosh, I think I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My macro won't turn off. Oh wait, no, my keyboard's unplugged? Wait, hold on. Is my keyboard unplugged? Oh my gosh, my keyboard's unplugged. What? What happened? Did my keyboard just die? 
What? What? Where's my? I'm trying to figure out which one's my keyboard wire. Okay, I see my keyboard wire. Put it on plug. Did it freaking die on me? Uh. Oh wait. Okay, we're good. Okay, I guess my freaking just the lights on my keyboard went out. Hold on, I'm here. I swear. And here I am. <laughs> okay, so he's like level seven. So we're all, we're already almost there. So I guess after this one, he'll be have to be level ten maybe. Vanessa, just who I was looking for. Do you have a few minutes to talk? What do you need? Well, I've been thinking. I want to create a class about electricity and power. All right, that's a great idea. I thought you'd be on board. I've been spending some time with Vanellope. Her unstoppable energy kind of reminds me of my friend Boo. Aw, no. Anyway, I realized she probably enjoyed learning something new. She always talked about leveling up, and I think learning is the greatest leveling up there is. How can I help? Could you make a lemon clock while I prep for the class? I'm guessing I'll need lemons. Yep, you'll need lemons and iron ingots. I'll get those and craft a lemon clock for your project with Vanellope. <laughs> Thanks, she's gonna love it. Such dad vibes. I love it so much. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Scrooge, I think, reset for me, too. I don't know if I checked at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. my time. I did, and I just really forgot. Wait, did I? No, I did. I just severely... Yeah, I just forgot really bad. <laughs> I didn't even recognize the, the bed. Also, no doors yet. Where are my doors, huh? <laughs> scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Um, let's go craft the lemon clock. Let's see. Lemon clock. Um, oh, that's so cool. How are you not gonna have make me get more of those? Bring the lemon clock to Sully. Well, joke's on you. I have 20. There we go. Sully, here you go. That's super cute. That's a cute decoration piece. Good to see you. Thanks. Can't wait to show this to Vanellope and demonstrate how cool the science of power really is. I'm sure she's going to wonder why you're doing this. <laughs> you may be right. I guess we'll see. I think I'll bring it to her now. So are we going to watch some talking? Yep. Look at that tail. Holy cow, that tail. It is thick. Vanellope? Nope. No Vanellope yet. Can you fit? Oh, you can fit. Gosh, you're massive. You got it. I'm right behind you. I'm here to support. Is Vanellope not even, like, trying to get down here? Oh, oh, she's here. Hey, Vanellope. Got something to show ya. Behold! The wonders of electricity and power! Oh. That's just a clock, Sully. Oh no, are you shedding? And you inhale too much of your own fur? <laughs> no, no, wait for it. A clock needs power to work. Like every, you know, she may look like a kid, but she's like 20 years old. Like, obviously she's, she's a kid, she's a kid, but like she like has been around for like many years. Are you telling me that Dreamlight Valley runs on lemons? No, that's not what I mean. Cause like, how long- how old is her game, actually? Sorry, pal, but you're not making any sense. Uh -oh. Let me get back to you. You do that. See you soon, Solster. At least she's nice to him. Hey, My best friend Ralph is a knucklehead, but I love him. Uh, what do you think of that, Sully? How did that backfire on me like that? It was... Sad to watch a clear communication break. You're right, but I have no idea how to fix that. I guess Vanellope isn't much like Boo. Is he trying to find a replacement for Boo? Why don't you make it about video games? Huh? Yeah, you're right. And I have just the idea. We used to train new scaries with our very own Frightcade game. It must be still stored around somewhere on the laugh floor where we met. I wanted to explore your realm more. I'll go get it for you. Thanks. And while you do that, I'll go ask Wally if he has any educational games in his collection that I can add to it. 
Okay, I know exactly where it is, actually, if I remember right. I think it's in the back of the laugh floor. Also, we haven't gotten a quest about those key cards. It's also really nice where we're, that they're giving quests to have us go back in these realms. Because usually it's like one and done, you know? Alright, what do we got? Still didn't find that sticky note, gosh darn. Oh wait, there it is. Here we go. Oh, I should have mm, should duplicate. Well, no, it's fine. I could duplicate it in a chest. No sticky note here, huh? Is that actually legible? I know this is Monsters Inc. A A. No, those aren't legible. <laughs> I still like it though. It's super cool. Bring the quest game. Are we gonna keep it? Also, I love the ribbons that he gets. Ribbon, ribbon. Does Mike get a ribbon? Also, Mike looks so small. He's so small. Small boy. I think Mike is my- <gasps> Anna! Welcome in, Anna. How was work? How was your day? I think, uh, I think Mike is my new favorite character for sure. He's- he, he talks a lot, but I think that's, like, his charm. Him doing a comedy special as his idol is so- is so funny. I'm in pain? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you take medicine for that yet? Uh, we'll do that. Split. Da, da. You don't have to be so loud in my ear. I got so much <laughs> in new Scrooge. You did? What did you get? I took a glass of wine. Well, that's one way to clear pain. Thanks. I don't know what to do without you. Now, I just need to insert the game I got from Wally in the machine and press the power button and... It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Did it fall over? It doesn't look like it, but it's kind of fragile. Um, maybe it broke while in sto- <laughs> Me? Maybe it broke while in storage? Uh -huh. I hope not. It's weird that it's not working, though. Laugh Energy is usually pretty stable. Laugh Energy? But Dreamlight Valley is powered by Dreamlight Magic? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. I guess that makes sense, but what do we do now? Let's update the Frightcade by converting it into a Dreamlight Magic Arcade. That would be incredible, but I gotta tell you, I'm not a super technical guy. Hmm. I help fix a lot of things around here, but we could build a converter with some gold ingots for the for the circuitry and purified night shards. You got vine lamp, monsters ink door, and a pink rug. That's an awesome find, especially the door. I have not gotten doors yet. I'll get everything and upgrade the Fright K game for you. That'd be great. Here, take the Fright K game back. I guess Vanellope isn't the only one learning about power today. Yeah, thank you. You want me to dress up as Boo for you? I can do that. And go for some sushi right about now. I can dress up as Boo. Okay, bye. Um, let me get the mail. Actually. Did I collect this? I don't think I did. I want to open the chest. Maybe I'll get some good, goody, good, good furniture from it. Thank you. I'm almost level 10, I believe. Um, uh, let's see. Open. What did I get? Have it, have it, have it. All right. <laughs> no new furniture for me, but that's okay. Um, ooh, that looks cool. Streamlight Arcade Magic Game. See, this makes me wish that it was, like, usable. I would play Snake on this thing. Okay, we need to... I'll just sell all this. There we go. All right, bring the Dreamlight AK to Soul Master. I was thinking. I was thinking. I love the way how he talks. His voice is just so satisfying. Please read me a bedtime story. Well, it looks better, but I guess there's only one way to know. It needs to be placed in the valley and powered on. I'm gonna get the rest of the materials ready. Could you put the Dreamlight Ar Magic Arcade game somewhere up in the valley and start it up? Will do, Soulster. It looks terrifying. I would put this by your house. Is this another photo thing? No, it's not. Okay, well that's good at least. This is definitely something I think I'll keep by his house in the end. If it looked nicer, I would put it in the park. But I just don't see this... Um, fitting well. I mean, it could fit here. Eh. Um, I'm dying for the star path. The star path looks so good, Anna. It's a pretty decent star path. Not the my favorite, but definitely a, a good, good one. I'll put it right there. Place the dream light. Okay, I did that. Um, 
power up the Dreamlight Arcade by interacting with it. Okay. Come on, soul. Ooh. The music is pretty good on it. Sweet. That's actually really... That's a really cool item. I did it. So, is everything ready? Yes. The Dreamlight Magic Arcade game is in the valley and it works phew wasn't sure it would not that i doubted you i'm relieved too guess now i'll talk to vanellope are we oh we have to watch another one okay all right what are you what are we where are we going is vanellope even close Ooh, are you stuck <gasps> you can fit through here no you can't oh there you go you got it come on squeeze through nice Ooh, you almost smushed fuzz but that's okay Right behind you. Can I? Can you just like give me a piggyback ride, please? My legs are tired. I don't really want to do this anymore. No, no piggyback. Okay. All right. Ah, Wally. Wally's so cute. There you go. At least she met halfway. Hey, it's the Solster. This isn't about lemons, is it? Nope. This time, Penelope, I have a challenge for you. I'm listening. Okay, they talk so slow. There's a new arcade game in the valley, and... Ha! I already got to the top score. <laughs> Nobody puts a game in the valley without me knowing it. Well, dang. Wow, you're quick. What did you think? It was epic. I got back all the positive charges for my protons and then the neutrons. Oh, cool, so they actually did something about power. Wait... Listen to me. <laughs> Did I learn something? That's funny. I learned something, you lovable lug. Was that your plan all along? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. It worked, didn't it? Well played, Big Blue. Oh, that's a cute nickname, Big Blue. Well, I guess we all learned something about Dreamlight Power. And Vanellope had a blast. <laughs> now she's asking me for games about chemistry, music, farming... I can't keep up. Thanks for your help. You know what? Sweet, that's actually a you really cute story. Okay, Good to see you. so I guess I'll just get the last bit. How many more? Ooh, I only have eight more. Uh, let me switch out <laughs> these two, and then I'm just gonna get the macro mm -hmm. going again. Um, let me see. How do I play it again? But yeah, this star path is actually really freaking fun. Did I do it? No, it's not playing it. There we go. This star path has been a freaking... Not star path, but these quests have been actually really enjoyable. And we're getting pretty cool items out of it. Another thing that we're getting is, like, the items from the pictures. Like, the, we got the plaque. What else? Did we get, um... What was the first photo? Good gosh, I already forgot. We took a photo. Oh, we got the we got the movie set. We got the plaque. So we're actually keeping the things that uh, we make, which is really nice. Why is this taking forever? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which I was finding those last two extra thing. Why is it so slow? I think I need to like re-record this. It is obviously way too slow. And I'm trying to speed things up over here. Okay, so let's reset the recording for it. So, F12. And then record is F8. So, one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. We do that twice. Click, 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 click. Alright, boom, boom, boom. And then one last time, because I wasn't ready. Boom. Boom. Alright, so now F10. Right? Yep. And now we just hit play. So, boom. That should work. Wait. Oh, I erased it! <laughs> Dang it. Making a macro is so hard. Imagine trying to cheat. Imagine trying, like, and it's just too difficult. They might life too difficult for you. I can't imagine. Mm. 
let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, now it's playing? Wait, what's happening? Wait, what is it doing? That's not what I wanted it to do. Uh, stop recording, which is F10, 12, and then we go immediately with F8. This is how long. It shouldn't take that long once I get it going. Plus the, um, let's see, F10, and now F11. There we go. Okay, it shouldn't take that long once it's in. And then we can do the bell path um, today too, which will be really fun. And I'm definitely going to try as much star path stuff. Not going to do heavy on the decorating because I'll probably like get back on Dreamlight Valley and do all that stuff tomorrow, maybe. Or I can just do like a super long stream and then not do tomorrow. I don't know yet. Still thinking about it. Is it not working? Wait a minute. It's not clicking. Why is it not clicking? No, it's not clicking. What the frick? Okay. Let's try this again. You know, it's easier if I just do it myself, but I refuse to. So, F9, 12, and then F8. So, give. I already want to restart. <laughs> uh, F. Wait, 12. Okay. And then when I'm done, I hit F10, then 11. You love the new eyes? The new eyes are super cute. The variety of new eyes is so good. I hope in the future we get new skins too. The skins look great. I'm going to make my D, D character next time. That's a great idea, actually. That's a solid idea. Okay, so F10. And then, nope. And then F11. Nope, what happened? It reset. Okay, great. I sent it on disk. Let me see, 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 let me see. <gasps> That's super cute! I love that. The bell shirt is freaking adorable. And the hair looks good too. That's a great hairstyle for it. That's a solid hairdo. Uh, F8. Keep trying this again and again. The black eyes are dying. <laughs> the black eyes look sick, though. Like an all black look. That looks great. Okay, so now F10. There we go. That should work. And he just has to get through all the talking. That's my hair, like, all the time. My hair is super messy. I washed it last night, and that's why it's, uh, it's hiding in this hoodie. Because I need to get, um, detangle it and all that. I get super tangly hair. Um, uh, oh! We are aware that some players on PlayStation 5 are encountering an issue in receiving their purchased moonstones. See, like, why isn't that working? Do I have to, like, maybe I have to double-click that? Let's see. It works like half the time. Um. Yeah. Hello, what are we? Eight? We're getting there. We're getting there to the fur coat. Let's get the show on the road. Here, I'm gonna keep trying to perfect this thing. I might as well. Alright, so F9, F12. Uh Who is that? Is that Vanessa? It is. <laughs> She's so mean. Okay, and then yeah. F10, F11. Uh -huh. Okay, this should be good. No? Hopefully that works. That messy bun looks super cute. I also want to see how the star projector looks like um, when in a room. I feel like that's gonna look really cute. A piece of Bermuda's on sale. Ooh. Anything else? Nothing else in the news. Well, it looks like not really too bad of bugs, at least. Wait! 
That's a door? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That is an actual door? That's not a sticker? Is that- isn't that from the star path? That's crazy if that's a door. No way. Boo's door? That's insane. That's really cool. And then Dream Snaps. I don't- I haven't even looked at what the Dream Snaps is. What is the Dream Snaps? Also, this is like- I don't know why it's so halfway. Oh no, maybe it's working fine. Um, let me see. Let's see, what is that? Oh, maybe it's because I was pausing my macro and all that. Hmm. Oh, someone already did a cute design with, like, with the movies. That's actually super cute. Save that. And that is by Ch someone named Cheris. Super cute idea. It's cool how people like are already like making these such cute designs. That's something we could definitely do. That's a cute design too. Oh, the house looks so good at night. The house looks great at- What? <laughs> Monster eye stalks? I'm spoiling myself a little bit, but oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna look I wanna look at the- what is the- we already know what the premium shop is, so what is the- What is the- Dream Snap? Dream Snap is- Make a villainous lair with flair, decorate your part of your valley, and transform into your very own villain den? Uh, huh. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I mean, I could just take a photo in front of my castle. I don't really need too many moonstones at this point. I still got 14k in my little bank. Um, I'm probably gonna have to dig into that actually whenever we uh, get out of this. Also, how much do the wings cost? I totally forgot. I have some moonstones on me, right? And then the wings cost 1750. If I have 1200 moonstones in my bank. Maybe I can afford that and the, um, and the Bell DLC. And we can actually see the wings. And then I can show Shelly. It's starting to look like I'm gonna need to replenish my, uh, uh -huh. my shards. But we're almost done, at least. Okay, let's, uh, pause this. Right? Is it paused? It's not paused. I do this all the time. Okay, that's paused. Let me go get some more. You know what? Let me see what these boots are like. Oh, you know what? They're kind of giving that other- the female monsters that I would- the- the female sorority monsters. They got little spikes on them, too. <laughs> Hold on, I kind of want to see if I can make a look out of this. Um... No. Maybe like a skirt of some kind? Like a black skirt. And then let's take off and put on some shorts. Um, tights, maybe? Do we even have long enough tights? Not really. So, mm. Maybe the tights? Okay. Let's, uh, let's knock out the Roz mask. <laughs> And let's do... I've been really digging the cat ear looking one. This one. I think this one's a cool one. This one's also pretty. But I think we're gonna do this one. And we're gonna do... Hmm. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. We'll, we'll keep the brown tips. I like the brown tips more. And let's see. Can I get some sort of... I know the jacket we're going to do the fur coat. So let's see if we can get like a... Like some sort of jack... Maybe... Maybe a crop top? Maybe this? And then with the fur coat on that? I feel like that can work. And then let's get... The blue... Uh, Blue fox can work. We'll do the blue fox. 
And gloves will do these. That can work. That's a solid start of a look. And can we actually get some darker eyeshadow? I have no eyeshadow on. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty already. We're just gonna do some sort of like brown look. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, let me get more um more of these gems for Sully. My goodness, <laughs> I'm gonna go and sell all this crap. This is su from such a long time ago. Okay, D and D, time for D and D, and I'll be back. Enjoy your D and D session. Hopefully, you don't die again. <laughs> Let me go, um, sell this, and then we can go back to Sully. But this is a fun look. I like this. This and maybe the dress is really cute. Um, sell, sell all of these. Can is there, like, oh my gosh. Is there, like, a way to, there's no, like, hot key or anything? Ugh. Okay. Alright. 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 I mean, 1.3? We going up by the hundreds? We are. 1.4. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> two, two point one. There we go. I got enough money. Hopefully, it lasts me the rest of the day. You know. Also, it's two o four. So let's see. Do we have any more? Um, kiss, kiss. Bye, bye, Anna. That you also put the plant there. That plant was not always there. Hmm. Oh, let me see. How many moonstones do I got? 5,500! I do not have enough. That's fine. I can wait. I can wait. I'm definitely gonna get the pink wings, though. They look cute. And I gotta get this. That is super freaking cute. I love that. Um, story set. Here we go. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Good day, dear. Pile of socks. Okay. <laughs> we got laundry! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's actually really funny. Are they gonna give like a majority of the furniture? Oh, yes! Uh -huh. The gothic wheel window! Money. How many more am I missing of that? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> that entire bed taking up that small spot is really funny. No and no. So I wonder if we're gonna get the canisters too, like the scream canisters. Or I guess the laugh canisters. I wonder if that's gonna be something that we um that we are gonna snag uh through Scrooge, cause we still have a whole chunk of furniture that we're missing. Alright, where is the soul stir? Is he eating still? Wish there was a better way to see where he was. Um, I could just puff him in, puff him out. Yeah, he, now he's at his house. Okay. That helps at least. Sully! We're almost done with you! And then we gotta work on Mikey! Okay, no one's here! Bye! <laughs> what was the point? Are they outside? No? Is Sully eating and I just can't tell? I see... No, no, he's not in there. He's not there. Wait, where's Ac where is Sully, actually? Uh... Nala! I see Nala. <laughs> She's so cute. Nala, I love Nala so much. Oh, you are in here! Okay. Um... Let's turn on that macro again. How do I hit play? Uh, control 11. There we go. Shouldn't take much longer. But man, the Snuggly duck Duckling Tavern House looks so cute. And it looks like it's on a hill too, kind of like the Mushroom House. So I wonder if it's gonna actually alter the grass. And then Dream Snaps, we already talked about. Cool new bookshelf that's been happening. Anything new elsewhere? Mm. No, I'm like looking through all the photos that anyone's showing. 
Oh, someone got the archway. That's so pretty. <laughs> People seem to be really enjoying the um the update. I'm happy for them. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, all I ever wanted was to buy a handful of each token. Dude, someone bought 536 mm -hmm. furniture already. Wow. I mean, that's solid, though. Anything in the social posts that are new? No. Game news? We already know. It's weird that they announced the- sh they show the trailer of it, like, day of. Ooh, that's so loud, I'm so sorry. I'm just taking a look at the trailer again, just to see if I see anything, uh, different. I know we saw the pink, uh, castle, and that was cool. The different- being able to switch to, like, different monster-type skins, super cool. Doors coming in. Yeah, meet the monsters. So we got two. I wonder if we'll get anyone like Randall. Randall would be cool, but I just don't see how like they would put the house. Like they would like mm -hmm. put their house. Okay, so we have yet to do the mission with the um rubber chickens. Whoa, the door for the star path, the door with the eye that we saw a long while back, it blinks. That's creepy. And then oh, nothing oh. changing that. That's so cool. Yeah, the Star Path is going to be crazy fun to do. Snuggly Duckling, new tools. Oh, I didn't see. Uh, whoa. Oh my gosh, they actually show the, um. They show the chef. That's cool. Hold on, can I? That's super cool. Oh, it's breaking. No, it's breaking. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can pull up on my own YouTube and show you guys. Because that looks sick. Let's see. Um, we're gonna go and look at Disney, Dreamlight Valley. Is it gonna show the trailer of the first one? It is. Alright. So, they show... Let me see. It looks super weird, but it looks super cool. Discover the season's premium shop items. So we found the houses. See, this is where I was like updating stuff. We saw the, the tools. And then you see the sushi bar guy. Which like, it looks like he comes with actually a huge like restaurant furniture set. But like, I don't know if you can see it, but he looks really cool. And he actually moves around like we actually just bought the chef. Oh yeah, it comes with like table and seating area. It comes with so much. It looks so good. Oh, that's so exciting. And then that is the dream bundle and then the stuff that I want, which is like the ride and the fountain. Cool. All right, let me pause this macro because we are finally done. We're at level 10 Sully. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking about a pretty fun project. It will be great if you could be involved. Can't wait to hear about your new project. Class are you teaching this time? Nope, not a class. It's a scavenger hunt, and I could really use your help organizing it. Uh, it would be my pleasure. Thanks, and thanks for the enthusiasm. I thought a few villagers who seem they they who seem like they might be well young at heart. Could you ask them for me while I hide the rest of the clues? Sure. Who do you have in mind? Stitch, Vanellope, Olaf, and Donald. Donald seems like an outlier, but <laughs> we're all children at heart. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Someone in the hunt with a short fuse could be a good thing. We'll know right away if it's too frustrating. You can invite Donald if you like, or not. I trust your judgment. Well, now I want to. I don't want to exclude him. Alright, I'll go recruit your scavengers. Mm. Thanks. Is Donald an option? No, let Donald be a part of it. He probably appreciates it in the long run. I treat it as if they're actual people, <laughs> but I know they're not. Then I can't wait to get my cool slick jacket out of this one. This is going to be so much fun. Well, what do you know? Uh, Donald, you're going to be the first one. Oh, brother. It's you, our villager of the month. Hi, Donald. Silly wants to invite you to take part in a scavenger hunt he's organizing. Trying to get back on my good side, huh? Hmm. Who are the other contestants? 
Well, it'll be Vanellope, Stitch, Olaf, and you. What? Does Sully think I'm a kid? Does that mean you won't participate? No, I won't. It, uh, it wouldn't be fair to the others. Are you afraid Vanellope might be you? Your loss sounds like fun. Then you can have my spot. Alright, fair enough. Donald's not in. He said no. Not gonna fight him on it. Stitch is... Here he is. Hi. I haven't talked to him in so long. Akata, Stitch help Vanessa today? Yeah, Sully is organizing a scavenger hunt and wants you to participate. Would you like wow. that? Eek, Stitch like that so much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. He's so cute. I love him so much. Penelope is in the forest, and I think Olaf's actually in his house. I didn't really think Olaf had a childish manner, but I guess that is true. I thought he was just always, like, playful. Ah, Whoa, Over what's here. the rush? Sully's organizing this scavenger hunt and wants you to participate. It could be a perfect opportunity to show off to everyone. A good way to make friends. <laughs> as long as the other players aren't sore losers. <laughs> Sign me up. Sweet. I okay. think. Oh, there's Olaf. He's just right there. Hello? Oh, so Hi. I just helped Goofy put away stink his stinky shoe collection. What fun and exciting thing are you doing today? Sully's organizing a scavenger hunt and he wants me to help. I'd love to. Not quite, Olaf. He wants you to participate. <gasps> really? I've always wanted to do a scavenger hunt. Please thank Sully for thinking of me. See you soon. Okay, Olaf is really cute too. I don't know why. It's because I haven't talked to some of these villagers in a very, very long time. And having the new ones wanting us to talk to the old ones is such a refresher. Go to Sully's house to start this scavenger hunt. Like, no one really talks to, like, Simba or Nala. Nala especially. I feel like barely any quests involve Nala anymore. Okay, players. Here's the rules. I've hidden clues around the valley. Okay. Each one leads to the next. Until you find something that tells you to come back to me. Okay. First one. To bring me proof that you finished the scavenger hunt. Wins. Easy enough. Can the clues be our friends? <laughs> Can the clues be your friends? <laughs> uh, no. They're pieces of paper, Olaf. You can't befriend them. Actually, I have many pieces of paper that are my friends. My favorite books. <laughs> you know what? I get that. Anyway, here comes the first clue. All right, what is it? Drop it to me, Sully. In royal halls with many doors, you'll find what you're looking for. You know, pal, I was thinking. All right, all right. They're so cute. <laughs> Having all the really short villagers here is super yeah. cute. With this giant big bungalow. Hey, thanks for asking the contestants contestants for me. I'm glad there was so much. Uh, there was. I'm glad there was such a turnout. Now for your role. Could you help the villagers if they're stuck finding the next clue? Does this mean I get all the answers? No way. That's no fun. I want you to help them by figuring out alongside them. So I get to participate too. Love it. Glad you're on board. Now good luck and happy scavenging. Oh, I like how his pillows have spots on them. Because I think ours is, uh, is a darker blue bed. So uh, I don't know. I like that one more. I have to go. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Bye, Manic! Have a beautiful rest of your day. See you later. Thank you for joining. Go to a royal hall with many doors. Well, that is the dream castle, no? It's kind of easy. Jeez, <laughs> Scary feet. Those scary feet are going. Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I keep getting stuck on everything. It's time for a change at some point. Something more city-like for sure. Here we go. Talk to Olaf. Hello. Oh, you are you lost too? Nope, but I'm here to help, and it sounds like you need it. If you tell me about the clue you found, maybe I can help you find the next one. Thank you. Okay, here is the clue. Lo and behold, near su such near the wizard made of gold. Lo and behold. Oh, on the top. Find the third clue. Near a wizard made of gold. Here. Right. Isn't Mickey considered L wizard? Oh, what's this? Wait, what is this room? What is this? Um, 
near so it's not have to it doesn't have to be on top of oh here it is what is this is this was what 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 is this why is it lit up i don't remember i don't know all right well let's continue all right got it bring the third clue to olaf hey go wait hold on i want to duplicate so give me a second go under the cascade and don't be afraid under the cascade okay let me actually go dupe it real quick sorry olaf i like this paper i want to keep this paper um in here yeah there we go eagle just for you wow thanks it's my pleasure oh i can't wait to see what the clue says go under the cascade and don't be afraid huh oh i know where that is but i think i'll stay and enjoy this castle some more it's so pretty Hands down. go under the cascade on the sunlit pla oh is it in the mines on the sunlit plateau <laughs> under the cascade it has to be the the mines the glittering mines right is it in here i also saw someone do a beautiful build with like a bunch of waterfall items around the mines oh it looks so good hey stitch wow. ugataba stitch lost you lost too uh only momentarily can you help stitch when not lost stitch found clue underground there's a babbling pool quick cast your hook maybe stitch friend donald help stitch and you and vanessa i asked donald to participate he said no oh next time stitch will ask him too i'll look around for the fifth clue ukitaka um cast your hook into underground babbling pool for the to find the fifth clue is it talking about like the, the small blue pool isn't there like a small blue pool around here? Mm, no. This. Is it talking about this? No. It's too small. Nope, too small. Oh, uh, let's see. Nothing. Underground, the babbling pool? Talking pool? I have no idea. Mmm, nothing's in there. Maybe, maybe just like this area? No, cast your hook. No, oh, up here maybe? Ah, here we go. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. What? There we go. Oh my gosh, I keep doing it too early because I'm just looking around. I'm not even paying attention. Oh, my cat found a freaking mosquito and is trying to get it. <laughs> oh, he got it. Is he gonna eat it? Are you gonna eat it? Oh, yes, he did. You're disgusting, Duke. Alright. Alright, well, we got we got a fifth clue. I'm... I can't believe I just witnessed my cat do that. I haven't seen him eat a bug in many years. If at all. Uh, you're back! I could never abandon you. Oh. Taka, you and Stitch friends. Tell me clue. Okay, this is the, this is a, this clue is kind of a fill in the blank. Hope your veggies aren't stemmy when you visit Shez blank. That's it, you need to fill in the blank. Uka Taka, Stitch knows where this is. Taka, Vanessa. Thank you. Um, Shez Remy, of course. How many, oh, I guess Vanellope's in there and then that's where we find the last bit, maybe? Also, Vanellope's part of a lot of this stuff. I guess it's because Sully really misses Boo 
and he's trying to like i guess find someone or find some activity that he can do that kind of reminisces on that but helps him move on maybe or helps him at least remember and cherish it my heart here you go stalled at the finish line i can't believe it is there anything i could do for you i just know this is the last clue to the scavenger hunt it says my secret can be can only be revealed as i simmer with a powerful citrus fruit so i guess you could take this final clue and add some kind of fruit on top of it but i'm not sure what the simmering is about here uh here give it a try maybe you'll figure it out thanks Powerful fruit? Mmm. Let me see. Uh. This piece of paper has only one line. My secret can, oh, can only be revealed as I simmer with a powerful citrus fruit. What's a simmer the final clue? Wait, what did it say? With sunshine fruit that- Ah! The lemon! That's what he's talking about. Gotta be paying attention over here, you know what I mean? You gotta be paying attention. Alright, cool. Let's do it with a lemon. I'm happy to get this jacket. At least I found a cute outfit to go with it. I didn't really think it would can go with anything, but it kinda does once I get the jacket on. I think it can work. Alright, so... Final clue with a drop of limon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> decoded final clue. Bring the decoded final clue to- Oh, and I also got a cooking thing. Let me look at this orb first. Alright, thank you. Wow, you did it! I'm impressed! Yep, you just have to bring this decoded final clue to Soli and you'll win. Are you kidding? You should be the one to do that. Let's face it. Without you, I couldn't have finished the scavenger hunt. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for the others, so you win. Go see Sully. Oh, Are you sure you're okay with this? <laughs> yeah, now go, before I change my mind. Okay, go on. Easy as that. Easy as it can be. I am the sole winner of this show. Alright, are you- where are you, Sully? You're in front of your house. And then Mike gives a dress. Like, I don't see the correlation. Like, why would Mike give me a dress? There you go. Good as new. Hey there. Hey there. Uh, so, uh, where's the winner? Penelope thinks I should be the one crowned winner. Isn't she the nicest? I don't know how to feel about that. Be happy. She's a great kid. Plus, she likes you a lot. And she has a point. Both Stitch and Olaf came to tell me that you were a huge help. So congratulations. You win the scavenger hunt. Aw, thank you. Hey, you earned it. And those three seem to be having a good time together. Aww. I think they're working on arts and crafts project now. Penelope said it was top secret, but could you go check in with her? Between her and Stitch, it could be crafts or calamity. <laughs> you, Dang, you've only been here for one day and you already know that those two are the worst together. <laughs> Alright, she's by your house. I'm kind of hoping one day we get more candy stuff too, to help with our, our little candy biome that we're forced to have. Hey there! Hey, good thing it's you. I was worried Sully would want to help and spoil the surprise. We're making him a special gift to thank him for the scavenger hunt. A Sully statue! Oh, that's cool! That's such a nice idea. I know, right? We're still missing a few craft supplies. Could you get him and bring him to Stitch? He wants to put the finishing touches on the Sully statue himself. Something about his goodness level? Doesn't sound like a level I want to play. It's not, uh... You know what? Never mind. What do you need? We need purple flowers, blueberries for the dye, and boiled eggs for the eyes. Thanks! Oh. Thanks, oh, is it gonna rot? Oh. Ooh. -hoo. Holy cow, 25 purple flowers, 2 boiled eggs, and 15 blueberries. Okay, well I obviously have all that ready in my humble abode, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. Okay, purple flowers. I could do the purple pestimones, maybe. Those are always ones that are, like, barely used. Or these. Yeah, the falling pestimones. Uh, 15 blueberries, 2 boiled eggs. Okay, uh, blueberries are over 
his ear. Uh, we'll just hold this just because I don't really want to split it. And then two boiled eggs. Uh, is that... Is that a... No, do they cons... Oh, no, there, there it is, there it is, there it is. Hard boiled eggs. Just for you, Sully. <laughs> nice. And I think that helped... Yep, that helped my quest. Cool. Uh, cross off some items off your regal to-do list. They always do the complete dreamlight task stuff. And I'm, ho I'm gonna do my mining in Eternity Isle. Hopefully that counts. I'm gonna double check to make sure that counts. Um, cause it will definitely be an easier option for me. Cause I can knock out some Eternity Isle stuff too, hopefully. Alright, Stige! Got it! Eagle! <gasps> Blueberries, eggs, and flowers. Hi. Teka! Stitch will finish Soli statue, then Stitch come back! No cutscene. Taka. Can Ooh, Vanessa taka. put Soli statue somewhere in Valley? Will do. <laughs> it looks so cute! Thanks. Wait, I love it! It looks- Can I please? Please let me keep it, please. Oh my gosh, I want to keep it so badly. I want it. I want to keep it. Please let me keep it. If you do not let me keep this thing, I will actually throw a huge fit. Alright, I just want a good, like, I don't know. Here's fine. No, it's not. Here's fine. There we go. Photo time! Yay! <laughs> it's so cute! Uh, let's do a regular smile. Oh, I love it! Can my fox not? Yeah, like, go away. Go go do something productive with your life. Uh, let's not... Okay. Can my... Oh! My mole go through it. That's always interesting. I'm waiting for my fox to move. Can I just, like, have no fox at this point? <gasps> there you go. Yeah! Look at us! The gang! The gang! That's so cute. Please let us keep it. No! Oh, have you seen what they made for me? It's incredible. I'm sure you helped them, just like you helped me with all my plans. Monster movie night was fun. Villager of the month was great. Teaching Vanellope was incredible. And the scavenger hunt was a success. And a lot of that is thanks to you. You make this valley a pretty great place to live. And that's why I want you to have this. Up. Oh, yay! <laughs> we get to keep it! <laughs> You're a true friend. And you can always count on me to lend a hand wherever you need it. It's so cute. It literally looks like it belongs at the beach, too. And they use a mushroom for his nose. Oh, do I keep it on the beach? Oh, look at the back. The details on the back. They put, like, gumdrops. Mmm. I don't know where I want to put it. I'll put it next to Soli's place once again for the now. Just because I have no idea where I would put it. That looks so cute. Oh, I love it. And then let's get that new jacket on. Yeah! Blue f I love how they've had to put faux fur. Look at me! <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long. I'm pimping out in here i am looking good <laughs> that looks crazy looking i love it oh what an awesome storyline for him and the blue is just so nice what if i get a uh, like a eh wait why is that changing no that's not what i'm trying to change all right give me back my Mm, blue raccoon? Blue raccoon could work, but I kind of like the blue fox that we were rocking with. Um. <laughs> what a Remember, cute outfit. Is always more powerful than fear. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so now we finished all of Sully. And then we can get a ja his jack. Wow, okay. In my ear. We need a jacket for him, too. So now Mike is level freaking two. So where's Mikey at? 
He is in sunlit. This is not a bad outfit. I ain't gonna lie, this looks pretty good. It's a pretty solid fit. The jacket's super cute. My uh, my top color is definitely in blue. Like blue, purple, and then like a lot of pastel colors. You never can go wrong with a good blue. And I'm telling you, this is a pretty decent blue. Alright, Mikey. Can't remember the last time I had so many great neighbors. Yeah, you did live in a city. Oh, Mikey. Living in a city and saying that we're the great neighbors? Alright, let's get back that going. What is it? I need to be level 4 to work with him. I'm glad that they didn't have any quests that required them to work together. Because if they did, that was just going to take a big drag out of um, time. Alright, let's see. Uh, anyone? Social post again? Oh. They're promoting their, uh, their bell stuff. I keep forgetting. I love how he, he talks about his contact lens. See, this is where I wish he got the retainer. Oh, is my phone glitching out? My phone's glitching out. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. All right, let's see. Has anyone else made some pretty designs? I'm totally not gonna rip off. Yeah, people have been making some great monster designs. I wish you could change the colors of those ears. Oh, we're in. Um, there we go. Just who I wanted to see. We need to talk about the valley. What's up? How do I put it po this politely? Your valley's too nice. That's a problem for you? Oh no, what will I ever do? There's no edge to it. No culture. No, no grit. You need to, you get it right? You, bleh, you get it, right? Uh, not really. Okay, let me explain. I went by both Remy's restaurant and McDuck's store, and well, uh, what happened to McD McDuck's? Nothing, except he desperately needs lessons in what's fashionable. He, he, I like what he stalks. He could use more variety, for sure. What happened to Remy? Well, I hear he had an amazing dish, but it was all about fresh fruit. Something about a celebration of raspberries. I thought Remy was supposed to be a good chef. I take it you have some ideas? Yes. So what's the plan? Well, this place needs a little style. A little pizzazz. A little je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. That apparently only I can provide. Alright, uh, what do you want to bring into the valley? Mm. Cologne. Uh -huh. It's so nature-y here. I want to smell like I'm about to spend a month's salary on Harry Hawsons. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I just stepped off the farm. Sure, what kind of cologne do you want to make? I can get some spices like vanilla, maybe some must- No, he wants some dog water. He wants some musty trash can. Mm. What? No, no, we're going with the classiest of ingredients. Rotting fish. Heck yeah. Finally, someone around here with a taste. This shouldn't be too hard to make. First step, get good old fish from Remy. Then bury it and let it the scent mature. Despite my better judgment, I'm on it. Great. <laughs> Wait, how long is that going to take? Could it say let it sit and mature? Is that going to take a long while? Oof, hopefully not. Is also that gonna go off my screen? Bro. Oh my gosh. Remy! Hey, it's you. hey there! What culinary adventure are you on today? A rather strange one. Mm. Oh, breaking new ground? Interesting. I'm hoping Mike Wazowski with a little project. We need a fish. One that might be a little aged? Think you might be able to help? <laughs> sure. Are you doing some experiments with fermentation? You might call it that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Are you making some sur strumming? Ooh, that's a fishy, smelly one. Or maybe funazushi? Mm. Mm. Just about every culture around here uses fermentation in some way. Actually, it'll be for some cologne. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's unusual. 
You're telling me. From the conversations I've had with Mike and Sully, I wonder if they have expanded a range of taste. Expanded range? What do you mean? Well, they all have specific tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, etc. But what if the monsters have a more expanded palate? What if we think of as gross is just another taste to them the way bitter or umami is to us? See? That's true. I think you're on to something. <laughs> anyway, here's that fish. <laughs> Haven't had a lot of seafood orders in the past couple days, so it's past its prime. I was about to put it in the compost. Hopefully, it'll work for your plan. Great. Thanks, Remy. I'll try and breathe through my mouth while dealing with this. Yay! Stinky fish. Love me some stinky fish. Plant the spoiled carp in Dazzle. Alright, in Razzle Dazzle. Let's see. Um, uh, I want to keep it. it. Smells rather off. We love that. And then let's take that back out. Sweet. Um, let's go to Dazzle. And... Here we are. A plant. <laughs> He's just sticking his head out! Wait, 15 minutes. Okay. I like how they're actually telling you how long it's gonna take. So, 15 minutes, eh? What am I gonna do for my 15 minutes? Actually, I can just gift even more to... Uh, Mike at the time, right? I'll even put a timer on. Oh, it's so cute. Where's Mike at? Mike is making his way. Okay. Uh, Mikey? Mikey's up here. Here we are. You, my friend, are tops in my book. Yeah, let's just start giving him stuff. And then I'll put a timer on my phone for 15 minutes. And then we'll continue. It shouldn't even take 15 minutes to get him up to a higher level. Um, let's see. Control 11. There we go. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, 15 minutes. Yay! Minutes. <laughs> I am mature. Anything on Instagram while I'm at it? There's a new uh, Disney movie coming out. It looks interesting. I'm actually uh, intrigued. Let's see. Mm, I don't see anything crazy new. Ooh, someone made a really pretty design with those flowers. Holy cow. Someone named Sweet Fairy 87 just made a crazy pretty um plaza look, it looks like. No, that's definitely Peaceful Meadows. Wow, that's gorgeous. Definitely the new like lovely star path is gonna bring like all the girlies out and do some pretty beautiful flower designs, because that was gorgeous. Alright, level 5. Oh, the dress has horns on the shoulders, too! How weird! Let's see, what else we got going on? No one else has made a build. That person made a build quick! And I see the people have been getting back on Animal Crossing, too. Which, I think, I want to do an Animal Crossing uh, stream at some point. I just have to really figure out how to set it all up. And right now, I just have no idea to do, how to do it. Mm. Ooh, that's pretty. Cozy Keely just made a really pretty design with a new statue. And honestly... Honestly? Looks like something uh, I might try to do. I'm gonna be moving around my plaza a lot, and that's a really pretty design. Um, Cozy Keely makes great designs. A lot of these people that I've been following on Instagram... They just nail it. What is this? Yes, yes, yes. Fortnite? Right. Reach the end from this new island. <laughs> Someone made like a Lego Fortnite only up. That's hilarious. What do we got? Um, okay, so I hold on. I need to pause it. So, F9. Oh, is it still working? Oh, I got the hat! Oh my gosh. This is the worst looking hat I have ever seen. I 
Not even any hair can stick out at all. <laughs> it looks so bad. Sure. Wow, what a hat. Um, all right, let me Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Well, that's it. That's my set takes for coming out. He's like, "Hi. All right, that's it. We're done." <laughs> all right, are we how do I hit play again? Uh, F11. There we go. Also, the trading is going to go crazy for Scrooge, too. Oof. Alright, level six. Cool. Alright. I don't know, that hat just looks so bad. It's not even like mended or anything into the eye. It's just, I wish if the eye like blinked, I think that would be cool. But that just looked bad. That looked really bad. <laughs> but yeah, people are already doing some insane drawings. Mm, let's see. Anyone doing some other cute designs? Wait, what? <laughs> no way. Is this real? Hold on, are the wings supposed to be this tiny? Wait, 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 wait. Are the wings supposed to be puny? I'm so confused. Are the wings supposed to be that small? Is that how it's meant to be? They're so tiny! <laughs> That's crazy! Maybe they're not supposed to be that tiny. Uh, that's weird. Okay, I'm just like looking through the pin, trying to see if anything special pops up. Like, like people making really pretty designs. Or whatever. I'm not seeing much. People are just showing off what they got. Showing off what they do or did. Their monster outfits are going crazy. I'm glad there's so many people enjoying this path. Because it's looking like this uh, this path's been an actual big hit. Which, you know, congrats to Gamewell for, for nailing a solid, uh, solid update. Oh, we got our glittering dunes. That's cool. Yeah. Man, what is that? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, they turned off some some furniture clipping, which is a, normally a good fix. How much more we got? All right, we still got a lot more. Let's see. Dude, I hate how he goes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> Uh Oh yeah, the leaks are out now. Wait a minute. Whoa, hold on. A new Anna something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Anna has a new outfit? Hold on. Pause this. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw a photo that Anna has something? Uh, hey, Shelly. I'll probably use flowers. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Anna has something. She does? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't notice. Two out of three. All right, we know that. <gasps> she has her old outfit. Oh, that's going to go in the premium shop. Oh, you know it. That's going to be in the premium shop. That's crazy. No one else, right? I totally forgot that that's like an option. Oh, that's cool! Also, Shelly, did you see that the wings are, like, they look tiny? Small pink wings, like, the wings are tiny! <laughs> I kind of like how small they are, though. It's kind of like the little cartoons where you see, like, a, like a, a cute little piggy, and he has, like, tiny little wings. Oh, no, like the, like the caterpillar from Bugs Life, where he has tiny little butterfly wings. That's so cute. 
All right, let me uh, turn this back on. Another thing I want to look at is I'm sure the people of Dreamlight Leaks probably uh, got a big stuff done. Oh, wait a minute. Those aren't motifs? The lanterns aren't motifs? They can float? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. The motifs? That's not a motif. It's just floating lanterns? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's going to be everywhere in people's valleys. Look at that. That's over Soli's head. Those little weird orange stuff? Those are the lanterns over Soli's head. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. There's a lot more furniture in the um in the shop than I thought. There's a few picks and leaks. Alright, I'm gonna check that out right now. I was looking at the media and spoiler chat because people usually put their builds in there. Alright, so let's look at leak uh Dreamlight Valley. Shop leaks, here we go. Let's see, anything new in the shop leaks? Okay, so Chatel, Lady Tremaine's house. So we got a Cinderella house skin that's coming. Bakery house skin. Bakery house skin. What's that from? Art Deco return. No, that's not new. Bakery house skin, Chateau house skin. Nightmare Before Christmas windows. That's pretty cool. And Anna. Not much else. Huh? Not much else. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Miscellaneous leaks. Let's see what's in there. Mm, okay, star path items. Alright. But still, pretty solid if you ask me. Fine! I'm excited. Let me go back. I was looking at- the small pink wings look so freaking funny. I'm definitely gonna get those and make some sort of outfit out of them. But yeah, people have been making some great builds. Oh cool, you can't- the snack machine is, um, buyable. That's also really good to know. What else am I looking at? Mmm, the fountain I still gotta get. Definitely need to work on the star path. I already finished solely, so I'm halfway done with the- the boys. Oh cool, you can buy the lemon clock too. Alright, two more levels. How many dream shards are we at? Thirteen. Oof, I gotta dupe him. Alright, I'll do that in a minute. Lady Tremaine's house. That castle- I saw a Hercules item. A castle? Wait a minute. Really? Where? Can you send that to me? I didn't see that. Mm, what else are we looking at here? Oh, there's two different rugs? Two different tangled rugs, it looks like. There's like a darker pink version someone has. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's see. Ooh, the star projector's pretty cool looking too. Yeah, if you got that picture, Shelly, I would love to see that, because I'm not seeing that on my end. Mm, what else? What else do people have seen? People have been noticing a lot. Ooh, someone got doors. Oh, those floating lanterns look really, really cool, though. Let's see. So I'm assuming, because people are buying the bell bundle, so there's no quest tied to it, I'm assuming? Because people have noticed that, like, when you get, like, when they talk about a new, a new dream bundle in the patch notes, they talk about the quest tying to it, and we're not really, the, the new one, the new patch notes didn't really talk about the quest, so I'm assuming that they were right. Because people are just buying the items and, like, getting them up front. So what makes them, like, a dream bundle? If they're just not a premium shop bundle. You know what I mean? Unless it's because it's just a large amount of items that they consider it a dream bundle. Like, if it costs over 4000 or over the 4000 mark, maybe? I don't know. Oh, we're out. Okay. Uh, control 9. Let's, uh, restock. I'll be by- I'll be- you know what, Mikey, just follow me. Let's hang! Alright, come with me. Monsters, Inc. phone, cool. So we're getting a lot of office stuff, which I'm not mad at. Um... Ooh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. 
Imagine if like, oh my gosh. I had to sell so many things. Here we go. Stock up. All right, Mikey. Did you follow me at all? You did! Good job. All right, is it working? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a castle. Uh, according to Hayes, she found it in the leak server. Okay, so the house yes, yes. one is Cinderella's, like, uh -oh. evil stepmother house. And then the Olympus oh, yes. Arch. Ooh, I see. That looks cool. And then the sushi guy. The sushi guy looks so good. In the trailer, it shows that he comes with other stuff. So, literally, my bank account is going to end itself. Um... Character in yes, yes. Realm Leaks? Do we have any more of that? No, that's just Mike and Sully. Uh, let's see, any leak request? Nothing matters with the leak requests. But yeah, pretty cool stuff that's gonna be coming in. Let's see, uh, nothing new there. So let me go back to the photos that the Dreamlight Valley server have been posting. While we're waiting. Also, we have one more minute on the um on the fish, but I think I'm just gonna level them out to ten, just so we don't have to do this again. And then that will be it for the rest of the stream. We'll be maxed out and ready to rock. Someone got the snuggly duckling. Wow, that's massive. That is a huge building. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm gonna put that snuggly duckling. Oh, we get the scare wall posters. As an item. That's great! I was wondering if we were going to. Man, so many people have been getting such great items. A lot of, uh, Monsters, Inc. items, too, it looks like. So that's- that's actually really, really good. Does he blink or wink? <laughs> he just blinks. He doesn't have the ability to wink. How are you playing when you're on your phone? I'm using a macro right now, um, just to level him up so I can get through. Also, hi, Tyler! Welcome in! I've been streaming for five hours now, which is really crazy for me. Uh, my throat is dead. How are you? How'd you sleep? And how is Grandma? Oh, the timer's up. Actually, I don't want to ask about Grandma. Grandma's great. We love Grandma. I, I shouldn't ask about that on here. I forgot. I love you. Um, so let's see. Good, 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 and good. Great. I'm happy for you. So, nothing- I'm just trying to get this update done and trying to level them up. So we get to customize a bean bag, which is really cool. Someone did a whole green look. That looks sick. Like a plant monster? Dang, five hours. Pretty good for the elderly. <laughs> I hate you! I'm not old! I'm not old. Listen, I already got asked today, Tyler, if I have kids. And I- I don't- I don't need to be viewed as that old, okay? Please, leave me alone. Um, let's... Yeah, it looks like nothing else. Some people have been making crazy designs, though. And that, um... That Mickey statue is actually gonna come of great use. I knew I was gonna use it, just cause I like the reference. But I didn't know I was gonna redesign my whole plaza and use it like that. You have two kids? Who are my two- oh my- are you talking about my dog and my cat? <laughs> Tyler, do you have kids? No, YouTube Tyler, I don't have kids. Uh, check DM? I think I already did. Oh no, I didn't. Not sure which channel. Yeah. Um, they look crazy. I could probably get Cory to like, take a look at stuff. Um, but that will obviously be off stream, off everything. How much- how, how close are we to Mike? Come on, Mikey. Almost done. What other great items have people been getting? The door, the dunes are back, so people don't have to worry about losing the dunes. Yet Tiny Bush is not available. Um, no quest so far? Yeah. It is almost done. Dude, people have been putting lanterns all over their plaza. I feel bad for their, um... For their their GPU, and it looks like people are trying to figure out how to put these city buildings together. <laughs> this is a great update. Oh my gosh, 
I love the Soli stuff. The Soli stuff was so much fun. Um. Oh, so the bell stuff has no quests. That's what you're saying, no quests too. Okay. That makes sense, but it's kind of disappointing because we have two dream bundles that give a quest. And then this new one doesn't give a quest, so it kind of changes the standard of what to expect, whether we get quest or no quest. And to be honest, it's kind of disappointing. Because I always view Dream Bundles as like a, a DLC of quest, not really like a giant premium shop bundle. Like I would so just be, uh, I would so prefer it to be just called a giant uh, premium shop bundle. Oh wow, you can buy the electric panel. Oh, wow. They literally just give you everything from, um, the laughing floor. Okay. It's kind of weird. Alright. Are we almost there? Alright. Oh, there we go. We're done! Guys, we did it! They're both maxed out now! Fun! And then I get this nice green dress. Sweet! Okay. So, hopefully he doesn't have any more time quests. Because if not, if he does, that's going to be super, super bad timing. So let's get this. <laughs> a stinky abomination was collected. All right, let's go get that. But yeah, my plaza is going to get a whole look. It's actually going to probably turn into a city. I'm not going to match the vibe with the Peaceful Meadows. Peaceful Meadows, I kind of view as like the countryside. So, oh, look at it. It's got little flies around it. That's cool that it's got more effects. Usually they don't come with uh, crazy effects like that. Alright, hold on. I gotta check my DM again. Tyler. Tyler, I'm going to murder you. No, I do not have kids. I do not bear children. I am not having kids. Alright, dig this bad boy up. Yummy. Bring the rotten carp to my... Here you go, buddy. Fresh perfume for you. Here you go. One rotten carp as requested. Hmm. Let me give it a sniff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is... Why... Why... Why is... Why... Why is he... Why is he rolled back? Why are his eyes rolled back? <laughs> what? Why are his eyes rolled back? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Wow. It's perfect. Awesome. He gave it just the right amount of uh, time to age. The key to evaluating whether or not it's ready to use is all down to smell. If it smells fishy, it's not ready. But when you get that top note of ammonia and that dumpster sweetness, you know it's perfect. I'm in awe. Oh, did I just tap my mic? I'm in awe of your scent knowledge. Well, my girlfriend, oh, Celia. Uh, took me to a perfume making class once. So what's next? Next, we gather the final ingredients for the cologne. We need an empty vial to put the cologne in and rich soil for those earthy notes. Once it's ready, we can bring it to Mr. McDuck and see if he wants to stock it for the other villagers. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you for the stinky fish. <gasps> Thank you, Mikey. Alright, let's go craft this. Um... I'm, a, I'm still, I can't lie, I'm still kind of bummed that we aren't getting his car. His red car, his short. I don't know if you guys ever seen the short, but his red car is cool. We need Ron and Celia. Who's Ron? Who's Ron? Is Ron... Are you thinking about the purple snake guy? Oh my gosh, I've been saying his name all day. Are you talking about the villain in uh, Monsters, Inc.? What's his freaking name? Oh, I don't know. Who's Ron? Monsters. I'm gonna look that up. Monsters Inc. Ron. Oh, Roz! Are you saying Roz? Oh my gosh, Roz would be hilarious. <laughs> Roz should live in a factory one. Alright, we need empty vials. Oh no, I could just make the cologne straight out. Nice! Delicious! Give a sample of cologne to Scrooge McDuck. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Enjoy. Good 
Why? What's this you're bringing me here? It's uh, the valley's hottest new Kalogna, designed by Mike Wazowski and yours truly. Go on, give it a whiff. Why, certainly. <laughs> what do you think? Vanessa, I can name fine words for how horrid this smells. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Wait, just a moment, Vanessa. I think I do have some of the words. <laughs> it smells worse than when my three great nephews were all in nappies and got the stomach flu. Oh. And it smells like Goofy left his catch in the sun for a week. Actually, funny you say that. Still, I am a businessman. Uh -huh. If you could point me to the villager that likes wearing your cologne, I suggest stocking it. But <laughs> if you put a triple seal on the bottles... Okay, that's not, that's not a bad deal. The customer is always right, after all. Okay, I can work with this. Try Scar and Vanellope. That seems like a disparate and representative <laughs> dis and representative sample to me. Oh, like the most nastiest boy and the sweetest girl. Bye bye. Okay, but let me check your store first because I know it reset. Oh man, I never knew a jaw could get so like sore from talking. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Scar the murderer. Did everyone just forgive him? Listen, literally in the game, like they're just like he killed someone, and then our characters like. Yeah, but he's cool now. And then they're like, okay, I guess, I'll trust you. And that's it. Like, that, 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 that that's the end of the story. Oh, greetings, neighbor. <laughs> like, alright, he's cool now. Oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Literally, Simba's like, Scar. Like, we got Scar before Simba and Nala. And, oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, look, I love it. We got Scar before Simba and Nala. And, like, when they came, they were just like, Scar's here? You mean the person that killed my dad? <laughs> and we're just like, nah, but it's cool now. Because it's, because he doesn't have memory of that. Or whatever. Like, I don't know. Wow, we got a lot of new items. Snack machine. Hello. This snack machine actually will probably go in my park. It's not that bad looking. It's very rustic looking. Maybe I'll also put another one, um buy the little mach uh, game machine. We got three new items. No, four. One. Two. Yeah, we got four new items today. That's crazy. They definitely changed out the um, how everything works then for it to be giving me such new stuff so early on. Oh, that's great. Alright, let's give Scar his lovely sweet cologne. Um, eh, eh, eh. Oh, hi, Sully. Scar! Here you go. For you! Oh. Scar, I've got a present for you. You do? Finally, I receive what I'm due. Uh -huh. What tribute do you bring to the one who should be king? Well, I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Get ready for a spritz! Uh. A spritz? What is a... Ch -ch -ch -ch? Uh. Ugh! That... That wretched smell would even make a pack of hyenas turn tail. You don't like it? No. Well, we tried. But Mike and I worked so hard on it. Fair enough. It does smell pretty bad. <laughs> and yeah, I love the growl. I don't know if that's just... The growl is just so funny that they actually turn into their more animal side instead of talking. Wait, he's cool, but he still wants to be king? Okay, dude. Yeah, he's very... Like, they don't lose that personality. Like, they lose the fact that they killed someone or whatever... But they don't lose the personality um, that they've always had. And yet you subjected to me, to me to it anyway. So, if Scrooge McDuck was stocking this cologne at his store, would you be interested in buying some? I shall not dignify that with a response. Should there be a legitimate reason to speak with me, I'll be in my home, attempting to remove this horrid stench. Okay, bye! Bye! Let me go give it to Vanellope. She's gonna seize out. Mmm... <laughs> Fall. Fall. Uh, vanilla bee is in the forest. Man, I love. I'm. I'm sorry. Like, call me egotistical, but the forest is like one of my favorite spots because it just is so heavily dense, and we decorated it pretty well. Here you go. Why is our clothes so dull? 
Penelope, you've been chosen to receive a special gift. <laughs> Making Scar miserable is fun. <laughs> Shelly, evil. <laughs> That's funny though. Making Scar miserable. That's me with like Gothel. Humbling Gothel, I think, is so fun to do. If we can like get a quest to just straight up humble her and get her a dream style that makes her look like her old hag of a self, I think that would be perfect. I have? Lucky me! It's something that Mike and I have been... Nah, I want to receive this gift with no expectations. Hit me with it. You sure? Yeah! Alright then. Close your eyes for a moment. And there we go. What do you think? Whoa! That smells bad. Like Ralph's old house in the garbage bag. Oh, you don't like it? Well, it's not an everyday scent, but it's kind of still kind of cool. <laughs> smelling <laughs> smelling this bad is like a superpower. <laughs> That's a way of looking at it. Is this your village villain orange story? Mm, more like an unintended consequence to my power. I don't know if I could handle wearing it on me a second time, but I'm totally gonna fi go find some place to really stink up. Alright, you do you, Vanellope. Have fun. Uh, oh, you switched over to Switch? Okay. Sorry, but making miserable <laughs> making villains miserable was fun. I hate villains. Well, I like Ursula. Ursula, I feel like, chilled out because we helped Ursula so much. She was like, oh, you're being nice to me? Thank you. Oh, you're still being nice to me. Oh, I really appreciate that. Like, she was actually, like, turning around in her dream bundle. Which I thought was really cool. Which I thought should happen if we're living in this dream state. Like, I wish we could do that for, like, Gaston. Like, Gaston kind of hum got humbled with Maui not wanting to work out with him. Dang, you suck at making perfume? No, this is Mike's perfume, okay? Not mine. Well, I take it it didn't go like we hoped. Uh, yeah, they're not ready for your vision. Makes sense. Thankfully, you appreciate good taste. At least I've got some cologne left over for a special occasion. Now, we gotta turn our attention to the fine dining scene here. That's the spirit. What have you been thinking about? Well, I was studying up on the hottest trends in the food world, and elevating street food to hot cuisine seems to be the, all the rage right now. We do love fancified comfort food. So what do you want to make? I say we make this interesting. I'll give you the ingredients to get, and you see if you can make what I have in mind. Sure, I give it a shot. Excellent. Just remember, we're taking some thing classic and then elevating it giving it elegance giving it verve okay hit me with the ingredients well the regular ingredients should be easy enough yeah. wheat milk and a clam but the key ingredient might be a little trickier if scar is anything like a house cat he's gonna be coughing up fur balls in the middle of his house and just leaving them there gross but probably accurate wait you want me to cook with a hairball. <laughs> Not just any hairball, a royal hairball. It's what's gonna make this final result that much classier. In spite of my better judgment, I'm on it. Great! I can't wait to see how this turns out. Yeah, let's see how this turns out. Yeah, that's why I like Ursula so much. Yeah, when that happened, like, my heart changed for Ursula. I was like, oh, okay, I actually appreciate you. Where is your Choco Dial? I have Blue Fox right now because I'm wearing this cool blue outfit that solely helped me work on, you know? Just trying to match the vibe. You want me to have Blue Choco Rock? Fine. You win. I'm not changing my outfit, though. Alright, let's go, uh... Hey, Scar! Don't mind me! I'm just gonna go in your cave. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Oh, hey, Scar! Hey! Um... <coughs> oh, I dropped my phone over here. Um... Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. He did not suspect a thing. He did not suspect a thing. Um. Ew. Ew. It looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks so bad. Cook a tasty monster treat using the ingredients Mike suggested. This is gonna be gross. Come on, Mikey. Let's make it. Gourmet rot dog. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> rot dog. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, look at that. That's a raw dog, all right. Dude, that is delicious. Can I try it? Aww. Show the gourmet rot dog to Remy. Remy is going to literally crawl out of his skin, get inside my skin, and force me to have a heart attack. He is going to kill me if I show him this. Alright. Let's show him the rot dog. Remy, you're going to love this. Imagine, can we, can we get a dream style, please, with Remy with a little chef hat on? That's all I'm asking for, Game Loft. I'll pay whatever it takes for Remy to have a little chef hat. Thank you. Or, or the one where he looks like all puffy from lightning. Hey, hey, are you still helping Mike out with his cologne? We moved on to making tasty treats. And as the village culinary expert, we'd love to get your opinion. Mm. Oh, wow. What did you make? It's a spin on one of Mike's faves back from home. Uh, it's a gourmet rot dog. Okay. Here, have a bite. Um, don't break. I'm sorry. But this tastes like garbage. Uh, I guess that means Mike will love it. I gotta say, I'm fascinated by his palate. I'm sure you worked hard on this. And no shame to garbage. My family and I ate lots of garbage before I became a chef. Uh -huh. But I'm happy that that chapter of my life is gone. Fair enough. Why don't you bring it back to Mike? I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sure he'll love it. Au revoir. Here you go. Enjoy it. So... Am I the new superstar visionary of the valley or what? Uh, hold your applause while I get ready for- oops. Actually, Remy didn't like the gourmet rot dog. What? Sorry, Mike, but I think your tastes are a little too experimental for most folks here. Uh, it's true. That's always been my curse. Ahead of the game. In icon- wait, what is that word? Iconoclastic. Revolutionary. Ah, but it gets lonely sometimes when success lifts you up this high. Let's not exaggerate too much. I don't want you to be lonely here. I have an idea. Why don't you go share that gourmet rot dog with Sully? I bet you he'd love a little, ta a little taste of home. <laughs> He'll love it. Don't be sad. Oh, yes. Great idea. Huh. I'll go find him now. Wow. You're always welcome okay. To my Hey, you've been in a terrific art. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go find your man. Eat the Choco Dial? You're a horrible human. Sully! Sully! Dude, you can see Sully from a mile. I love him. Hey, Mikey. I smelled something incredible from across the valley. What do you got there? Feast your eyes and stomach on this delicacy. A classic rot dog. Oh, wow. This takes me back. Second semester? Remember the eating contest? Oh, they're the best buddies. Hey, if those rock dogs tasted like these, I might have done better. <laughs> they're so cute. Maybe I'll share the recipe with MU next time I visit. What, you visit MU still? Aren't you like 40? So, how are you feeling about the valley now? Well, a lot of folks here have very strange tastes. I know it can't be fun when other people don't share your interests. But at least you got to catch up with your best bud and share a nostalgia-inducing treat. And even if the villagers don't like the same food as you, they're still super happy that you found your way back here. Aw, oh, shucks. You're choking me up here. How am I supposed to keep up my air of cool sophistication when you're making me misty-eyed? <laughs> right, I forgot that you're a cool city guy. And don't you forget it. Oh, and one last thing. Yes, Mike? Even if your taste is questionable, you're still the best. Mikey! Mikey, my heart! Can I be your Celia? Uh, you're here. I had just the best idea. Do you have time to talk about a way to revolutionize the valley? Again? Uh, sure. So what's your idea? Comedy! <laughs> Ooh, I like comedy. Of course you do. Everybody loves to laugh. No offense to the others here, but some of them are not that funny. Oh, sure, they're noble, compassionate, brave, blah, 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 blah. But funny? No. Not to worry. I can fix that. I'm listening. Okay. Wow. I feel like I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. So you know I've been teaching new jokesters back at Monsters, Inc. But now, I'm gonna bring the laughs here and teach the villagers how to be comedy experts. Dreamlight Valley's first ever comedy club. Here we come. 
great, where do we start? Well, if I'm going to be the headliner, and I'm definitely going to be the headliner, I'll need some others to open for me. Sure, any ideas? I got three candidates, the fairy godmother, Wally, and Vanellope. I think Vanellope would be pretty solid. Fairy godmother and Vanellope. I don't think Wally could do it. Can I get a little more info? What strikes you as comedic about fairy godmother? I don't know. She just has that twinkle in her eye that makes you think she's got something hysterical to say, but is too polite to say it. I want to teach her to stop repressing the chuckles and let them fly. You know, you're right. What strikes you as comedic about Vanellope? That kid's got her finger on the pulse of today's youth, and she's already mastered the biting zinger. What strikes you as comedic about Wally? Yeah, Wally's not funny, no offense. Oh, he's definitely a natural. The physical comedy chops are written all over him. Cool, I'll go talk to them and see if they want to participate. I want to talk to Vanellope first, actually, because she is... I think the one that would do the best out of all of them. I would choose Wally last. Sorry, Wally. You're not that funny. And you always say Eva. So, like, it just doesn't sound funny. Oh, come on. You know you wanna What's up? Me. Uh, Vanellope, have you ever thought about following the path to a comic? Dude, also, Vanellope's getting used, like, the entire time. This, like, this quest line. She, we have seen Vanellope 20 times today. Uh, well, I am extremely funny. Great! Mike Wazowski wants to open a comedy club and is looking for others to perform with him. If you were going to craft a set, what would you focus on? Good question. I'd say I'm mostly observationally funny. I see or hear things that might not be funny on the surface, but then I shine a light on them and BAM! Comedy. Good answer. I'll let Mike know. Alright. Uh, F. Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. She is, like, the most unfunny thing ever, but, you know, I love her. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Vanessa, how are you, my dear? Quite well, thank you. Trying to help Mike Wazowski with something. Well, that's very kind of you. What is Michael in, in need of? He's looking for people that might be interested in learning comedy. How does that sound to you? Oh, my. Learning comedy? I'm not sure I'm really the comedic sort. You never know. Sometimes you get surprised by a hidden talent. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, what if I tell you a joke, and then you try to imagine yourself in my place? <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock! Oh, what are you knocking? You're one of those, huh? It's the setup for the joke. I'm knocking on the door that you're behind. You need to answer. Mm. Oh, how fun! May my door answer? Sometimes I like to enchant it to speak. Uh, I guess. Your door needs to respond with who's there for this kind of joke. Fortunately, my enchanted doors can see, so they'll know that it's you knocking. Okay, this isn't working the way I thought it would. I understand. I suppose comedy isn't exactly my forte. My magic is more about helping people achieve their dreams and then making them laugh. That's really sweet. I'll head back to my task then and let you keep on helping people with their hopes and dreams. Bippity boppity boo. Where is Wally Woo? Wally's over here. Wally's- I don't know what Wally's gonna say. Wally's just gonna shake- Doesn't Wally have stage fright, actually? Doesn't he have, like, a hard time- Like, I remember the quest where he, like, just had a hard time making friends. Hey, Wally. How's it going? Ah. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> I'm happy for you? Wally, have you ever considered a career in comedy? Well, Mike Wazowski is trying to build the next generation of comics. Do you want to be in the running? Uh, why don't you try telling a joke? Yeah. Yep, that's what I expected. You're adorable, Wally. I guess it's a little hard to tell a joke when people can't exactly understand you. But don't worry, you're still my favorite trash compactor robot. Alright, Mike, it's Vanellope. It's easy. Uh, well, how'd it go? Don't keep me in suspense here. Uh, I'll give you the quick summary. Vanellope knocked it out of the park. No contest. She was excited, clever, motivated. Then I think we got our opener. Vanellope sounds great. Why don't you go talk to Sully? He and Vanellope have been hanging out a lot. He could probably give us tips on how to help Vanellope reach her true comic potential. Sure. On it. <sighs> okay. Uh, Soul Monster. Oh, I need to... Yep, for the quest. 
Okay. Sully! Good to see you. Hey, what brings you by? Well, not that I just wouldn't want to chat. But I'm here about Penelope. Mm. Uh-oh. What does she do now? Oh, <laughs> he looks so sad! <laughs> he looks so sad. I love it. Uh, it's actually a good thing. Ooh. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Penelope's a super sweet kid, but she definitely got a troublemaker streak in her. Well, this is kind of related, I guess. But you'll be pleased to hear that she's channeling her mischievous into- You could stop laughing now. Into comedy. Mike and I wanted to get her something to welcome her to the world of comedy. Any ideas of something that would be up to her, Allie? Mmm, good question. Off the bat, I'm thinking something from back home. I've been telling Vanellope stories about the other monsters, and she just loves them. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> he goes from laughing to... Sad. Oh. Oh, he's actually... Wait, hold on. He's actually broken. Sully! <laughs> Sully! <laughs> Sully, are you okay? Sully, wait. Wait, he's broken. Wait. Sully, hold on. I gotta take screenshots, Sully. I'm sorry. Uh... It's okay, Sully. You're gonna be okay. Just breathe. Um, do you have a neck crick? Uh, is that what's happening? Just, just a little, little neck issue? You're, you're okay. We can figure this out. Oh, <laughs> we can figure this out, Sully. My goodness. All right. <laughs> oh, he's fine now. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a ton of back at the office just sitting around now that Mike's taking a break from teaching his comedy classes. Great. What kind of props? Let's see. There's definitely a rubber chicken and a whoopee cushion that you could grab. Uh -huh. And if I were you, I'd try to grab that laugh canister while you're there. Oh, why? Well, if I know Mike, he's got some other plans up his sleeve. But he doesn't always communicate them at the right time. Which is one of the reasons why I'm the CEO. Huh, <laughs> got it. All right, looks like we're going back into the laughing floor, which I do not hate at all. Dude, I can't wait to get that Ana skin. Uh, you think I'm going to pass up on an Ana skin? That's going to be great. All right, uh, let's see. Her floor. Also, Shelly, you're here. Was this door always like this, Shelly? What is this door? What does it entail? I'm buying the Ana thing. Oh, yeah. That skin is really good. I love the white in it. But, like, was this door always like this? I doubt it was. I'm so confused what this door is supposed to be. No idea. I need to ask around. Because I have no clue. I don't think it was been, it's been like that. Alright, laugh canisters. Whoopee cushion. I saw the rubber chicken on a desk. Here it is. <laughs> um, whoopee cushion. Mike, I thought you said you were putting this whoopee cushion away. No, we're not picking up that. Mm. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, I guess not. All right, and a whoopee cushion. Uh, whoopee cushion. Can't be Mulan. She would be the third door with Belle and Monster. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, like, I wonder if that's just, like, a bug or maybe a hint. Like, do we have another pumpkin, not pumpkin, but potato quest thing? I don't know, but I'm super curious on it. Where is this? Oh, we can still enter these? Okay, that's not enterable. Wait, can we get the whoopin' cush? Whoopie cush? That's weird that we can still enter this. I think that's creepy. <laughs> Mmm. Oh. Guess not. Wasn't the whoopee cushion in, like, this one? Mmm. No. I don't think the 
Whoopee cushion would be behind those socks. Unless Mike dropped it. No, because uh, it wouldn't make sense if there was extra sock piles I was supposed to have. So this whoopee cushion has to be somewhere. Let's see. Here it is. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> it making the two noise when you pick it up is so freaking funny. Alright, let me... Just give me some of those. And bring the items to Vanellope. Yeah, I think it's just super weird. That door has never been like that. I don't know. It definitely must be some sort of glitch. Has to be. But it's such a weird glitch, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, Penelope. I'm assuming there's no secrets to solve or anything of the such. So there's nothing like in that uh, perspective, in that like retrospect to worry about. Alrighty, uh, there you go. Come here. Time to there you go. Greetings. Hey, chum. Dude, Penelope, I wish you would just say, haven't I seen you 30, 30 times today? Huh? What's this you brought me? A few gifts from Mike and myself. Yee. You should try out the rubber chicken first. I love that. Shout out the rubber chicken. Okay, here it goes. <gasps> this is the actual noise of it. Oh man. That's actually really funny. That's so ridiculous. I love it so much. Uh, it's saying enough with the crossing the road jokes. Can't you see I'm flat as a fried egg already? Oh, these are great. Thanks, Vanessa and Mike. Forget the observational humor. I'm gonna be a prop comic. You like them? They're amazing. I'll almost feel bad about blowing Mike's set out of the water. <laughs> Bold words. No way this whoopee cushion is going to generate all the wind I need. Stay classy. <laughs> wow, I walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> yep. Well, I'm heading back to Mike now. Want me to pass along a message? Yeah, tell that oversized sourball that he's going down. You hear that, Mikey? So... How does Vanellope like the props? She loves them. Great! In fact, she loves them so much, she's excited about being a better comic than you. Man, not so great. Can't take a little challenge? Can't take? Do you know who you're talking to? I set all the time laugh record. I am the top performing jokester in all Monstropolis. This kid, wait, what? New furniture catalog Hercules? Hold on, I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna check right away. This kid thinks she's got what it takes. Well, I say, bring it on. I like where this is going. Oh yeah, there's no comedy like comedy performed under pressure. Okay, I need time to work on my set. Can you get things kicked off for the comedy night? We need a gathering to let everyone get introduced to each other. Schmooze for a while while you wait. Schmooze for a while. Size each other up. And give the audience yeah. a taste of the comedy they'll enjoy uh -huh. in the full show. Sure, all I need. Well, luckily, uh -huh. you already have the lo those laugh canisters. If you can find some bricks, fabric, and iron ingots, that should do the trick. What am I making? Com comedic meet and greet decor. It'll set the perfect atmosphere for folks to schmooze and trade jokes. Great, I'll get started. So the fountain is part of the star path? Okay, hold on, I'm checking. Rewards. So this is actually a door. Which I, I don't know why. I didn't think it was a door because it doesn't look physical. Same with this one. I don't know. Um, so this is Hercules. That kind of makes sense. So definitely a higher chance of Hercules joining the game then. I love it. Hercules is such a good movie. Let me look at the furniture set then. I know we already had one item for f Hercules. Let me see. <gasps> One out of six. You're right. Ooh. Uh, anything in leaks? Because uh, uh, I want to see. Let's see. I don't think there's... Let me, let me just double check. 
Oh, here we go. Miscellaneous leaks. All right. More Star Pass stuff. Got it. Shop leaks. Oh! <gasps> Love parrots, Shelly. Have you seen the parrots? Oh my gosh, Shelly. Greek gazebo. That's what it's called. Got it. Lovebird parrots. Hold on. I'm going to DM them to you. Listen, I, I, I can't show much. I don't want to show much. I'd like to talk about it. But um, I also don't want anyone to get in trouble. But definitely, Shelly, I am sending these to you right now. They are freaking adorable. They're actually new pets, Shelly. They look like new pets, at least. Uh, photos. Select more. Okay, 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 okay. I DM'd them to you, Shelly. They look so cute! Alright, but yeah, we already have one Hercules item. So, we're missing five now, and it looks like we got the gazebo. Is the... I guess I'll have to see when I get it. I was going to ask, is the archway Hercules? Because I was kind of guessing it was Hercules. It's the only uh, theme that makes sense other than the other section. So, oh, you don't have the well. Uh, see, that makes sense. Uh, the what? The archway. I'm wondering if the archway itself, the floral column arch, is that Hercules theming? Uh, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Also, this top is super cute. I can't wait to put that on. Is there not, like, a matching skirt? I guess not. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love, 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 love. Love, 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 Shelly. I love these items. Lovey-dovey. I am so for the lovey-dovey romance stuff. Alright, so, report your progress to Mike. Already did. So now we're crafting. Alright, what are we crafting? Let's see. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Ah, it's not that big. I thought it was going to be bigger. Show the comedic meet and greet to Mikey. Okay. Mm, here you go. What do you think? All right. All right. Okay, hold on. What do you think? Uh, Vanessa. <laughs> that good? It's better! This is exactly what I had in mind. Oh, yes. It screams, we mean business, and that business is funny business. Yes, yes, yes. Great! I'm sure you know the perfect place to set it up for the meet and greet. I'll go and invite the audience while you do that. Excellent. Talk to you soon. Alright, so this is another photo picture. Got it. I'm hoping we get to keep it. So let's place this bad boy down. I think I have room in the valley. Yeah. Um, we'll put it facing... Wait, hold on. I'm assuming it faces this way. Assuming! Yeah. Oh, Sully's here! Where's Mike? Mike's all the way in the back. <laughs> they, they... Poor Mike. <laughs> poor Mikey boy. Uh, can my crocodile move? <laughs> it's so funny Mikey <laughs> even any angle I try to do it you could just barely see Mike oh man wait no I want the crocodile out the photo I was waiting for the crocodile to leave and I messed up and I pressed the wrong thing goodbye crocodile can you move along There we go. That's a solid photo. All right, Mikey. What do you think? Wow, what a meet and greet. You had a good time? It was a blast. The Monsters, Inc. holiday parties have nothing on this. And it was good to see Vanellope. I'm a little disappointed that she's going to do, she's going to go with prop humor. But we all have to start somewhere. I like prop humor. Uh... Well, you're not really a comic comic, are you? Guess not. Okay, hold on, I'm ordering food. <gasps> Ooh, my Build-A-Bear, hold on. Dude, Build-A-Bear has a sa sale right now. Hold on, is that sale still going on? This is so off topic. But I plan on buying um, stuff from Build-A-Bear. 
I want to get a possum and a raccoon. No, no, I want to get a possum and a tutu. Um, and then there's like a mini bear, and I think it's super cute. Oh, he ordered it, okay. Did he order the mini bear? That's what matters. Um, yeah, they have a good sale right now on for a cute possum. Let me see if I can find it. Um, here. This is it. <laughs> this is the sale. And I got a possum. Let me see. I got this one. <laughs> I got this one. And I got it in a tutu. And it's super freaking cute. And there's like something else. Um, there's like a mini, a mini bear. And it looks so freaking cute. There's a lot of Easter stuff on sale. Because Easter's right around the corner. Oh, look at that. A Disney Little Mermaid Ursula inspired teddy bear. That looks creepy. Oh, these are so cute too. The Longhorns. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I want to find it so bad real quick. Build-A-Bear is kind of pricey, but honestly, I can't with, uh, I saw Tom Nook. Yeah, they have a, they have a sale for, um, for the Animal Crossing stuff. Tom Nook, uh, Isabelle, and KK, they're all on sale right now. They're half off. So, like, dude, if you like those, they're half off. But like I was going to say, I think Build-A-Bear, genuinely, in this day and age, I think Build-A-Bear is less expensive than it was a long time ago. And let me explain on that. Because there's this new, clo uh, new, um, what do you say? There's a new plushie, like, company that makes plushies. Oh, here it is. I want this thing. <laughs> I want this thing. He's so small. Um, there's a new, co like, company plushie. I forgot what it's called. And a lot of video game companies are using it. But, like, so, like for the quality of the plushie that it looks like, no offense, it looks like a dog toy and it's $30. And I'm just like, if I wanted a plushie, I could just, like, for $30, I could get one that, like, looks cute. But I guess these look more kiddish and the other ones are, like, video game reference, which I get. Um, like, let me show you a good example of what I'm talking about. Oh, Makeshift. That's what it's called. Because there's a game I play called Paleo Pines. This is the only exception to the plushies because I actually like it. So the Paleo, uh, Paleo Pine does um, makeshift and like it doesn't matter what uh, it is. It's always $30, which I guess is a good thing. But like, I think it's cute. Do I think it's $30? I personally don't. But still, I, I think it's a cute thing. I enjoy it. I might get it. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, uh, no. I like my possum more. But yeah, that is expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like, I could get this thing. How big is it, for example? Product details. I don't know what 17 centimeters is, but that, and then it's just uh, cotton and fleece. I don't know. I feel like Build-A-Bear has more bang for its buck. Because makeshift just does it with, like, a lot of stuff. Like, look at this. Uh, and it's just for different games. And it just looks like the quality isn't that good, in my opinion, for, like, $30. I don't know. The quality just doesn't look that great. So, I'm not personally a big fan of, uh, of makeshift. And they always do it for limited time, too. So, it's like buy this for $30 now or lose out on forever. So they're really pushing the the FOMO of it as well. And I'm just eh on it. You don't really do plushes? I I I can I can understand that wholeheartedly. You know, plushes are expensive, so they take up a lot of space. Um I just personally like them because they're just cute to hold. Like I have a couple plushies on my bed on my uh bed over there. I got a plushie on my bookshelf. That yellow one. Like I'm not big on, like, having, like, a million plushies to the point where, like, I'm just, like, overwhelmed. But, like, having, like, every, like, a small one or, like, one that's really unique. Like, I've never had a possum plushie, so that's also why I'm doing that. Alright. I just need to take her under my wing and teach her finer points of comedy. If I were to get anything, it would be a Build-A-Bear Doctor Who line. That would be cute! Build-A-Bear, I did, um, 
I got, I'm a big fan of How to Train Your Dragon. So when the How to Train Your Dragon Builder Bears came out, I got the Night Fury and the Light Fury, but I didn't man I couldn't get the babies because they were just so popular at the time. Now they only sell the Light Fury or the Night Fury. Um, but yeah, they, I, I, they make crazy lines like that. So I can see that happening. Um, worth a shot. Well, time to work on my set some more. You keep the comedic meet and greet decor though. Maybe it'll inspire you to work on your own routine. Listen, this, what they're doing, Shelly, they are doing this so well. They are giving us the item we take photos with. And that is something that we've asked for since day one. So they're actually doing it. Now, I kind of wish like we got the other, like the, um, the items in the mail. The what? Like, you know, like, the items that we take photos with? Like, um, the big popular one is Goofy's scrapbook. Remember when we had to take photos with a bunch of people, and then we had Goofy's scrapbook? We took a photo in front of Goofy's, uh, scrapbook, and then they, uh, they- we couldn't get it, and people were upset. For Mike and Sully, every item we took a, f a picture in front of, we've kept it. We've kept Sully's statue, we've kept the comedy stand, we kept the plaque, so they are actually giving us the items that we want. And I think they're giving us a lot of photo in front quests because they're trying to show, look, you're getting this, and you're getting this. You're keeping the items from now on. So I wish we could get, like, get the stuff that we missed out on, like the, the, um, the Forgotten's, like, little reading nook and Goofy's uh, scrapbook. I wish we got that in the mail or something as like a, oh, here you go. Or maybe like turn it around and be like, hey, you know what? I've had this for a while and I want to give this to you. The Goofy book would have been great. It's so cute. Maybe, maybe they'll do something, but this is actually a great turnaround. Like this shows that they're at least listening to something. That's how the comedic mind turns. When we look like we're slacking off, that's when we're really doing the work. If everything goes according to plan, folks here are going to be laughing so hard, nobody will get anything done for days. I wonder if they added screenshots for older quests? What do you mean by that? Also wonder if we did Goofy's Quest, will we keep the book? That's what I'm thinking right now, Shelly. That's literally what's going in my mind. Like, if we were doing that, would we keep the book? And that's why I'm saying, like, the people who completed it should get it in the mail. Because I think that's only fair at that point. Because I hope, um, shots, but cutscenes. Yeah, like, we're, I know we're missing out on cutscenes. Because they said they were going to add cutscenes. Or at least there was big talk about something, something cutscene-wise being added. So that we're missing out on. But if we can get at least, like, those old picture stuff back. Because we took photos with a lot of stuff. If we can get that in the mail or there would be, like, hey, like, you know how, like, many was like, hey, I know that quest about making the clock tower was a lot, about the 200 clay, so here, I want to give you some material back. If they can do that and be like, hey, I had a really good time with you making the scrapbook, and I want to give you the scrapbook now and you enjoy it. Like, something like that, I think that's solid. But this is a good start showing that from then on, we should be keeping these items. Because now we're like four for four. Uh, today's the day! Are you ready to laugh? Oh, wait. Wait, no, hold on. I actually want to see this item. Let me... <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that stuff. Comedic meet and greet decor. <laughs> okay, so I think what I want to do is if I have the space, I kind of want to give, like, solely one side of it and then, like, Mike the other side, maybe? I don't know, but I'll put it there because I do want it down. And then, like... A snack machine, maybe? Very thick. But that could work. I don't know yet. But, yeah. That would be better than the mini apology. I still hate that! <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you want, Mikey? Yes, yes. Today's the day! Are you ready? Uh, did I put them in the forest? If you're talking about Mike and Sully, they're in the sunlit plateau for now. They're gonna be in my plaza. Um... Because right now, the only people in my glade is Ursula and Gothel, of course. Uh, always ready to laugh. Okay, here's an appetizer. Sorry, I'm going to forever hate that apology thing. Yeah, it was just like a kick in the face. 
Just like, hey, I know you spent a lot on this, but I'm not going to give you all the materials back. What's up with Dazzle Beach? Uh, I don't know. What's up with Dazzle Beach? I'm just saying, it may be full of Dazzle, but where's the Razzle Beach, too? <laughs> uh, I like that one. Razzle Dazzle. That bad, huh? I laughed. You exhaled forcefully. <laughs> that wasn't a laugh. Okay, okay. Maybe I wasn't a fan of that one. All right, that's fine. I'm still polishing my set. They can't all be winners, right? And I like to tell my comedy students, it's important to get feedback. <laughs> hey, while I work on my set, can you make sure Vanellope's ready to go on? She's a kid, you know. Might be dealing with some stage fright. Sure, see you in a bit. Vanellope with stage fright is the dumbest thing ever because she literally had people watching her all her life. She's a video game. Uh, let's see. See Vanellope, Vanellope. Please don't tell me. Are you stuck? Why would she have stage fright? That's what I'm saying. She literally lives on a stage, practically. A video game is like basically a stage. Hello. Hey, Vanellope. Got a sec? Uh -huh. Nope. Hey, it's okay to be worried about performing. I know it can be intimidating to go in front of people, but I know you can do it. <gasps> wow. Are you barking? You <laughs> are you barking up the wrong candy cane? You sure? I just want to support- Vanessa! 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 Talk to my manager. <laughs> Leave the talent alone is like rule number one in showbiz. Uh, not sure- I can't hear you! Talk to my manager! Scrooge McDuck is handling all Von Schweetz related inquiries now. Okay, She's no, solid. Man. She's good. On state- Well, in a video game, she wouldn't see the people. Wait! Hold on. I'm not trying to be combative. But How about we She they had to. No, she wouldn't see the people because her face Hold on. Hold on. I have to look this up. I think she can, obviously she can't see the people when she's driving, but I think she sees the people like when she's facing the the screen. Hold on, let me see. Um Greg Ralph end scene. Cause they can see through the screen. Let me see. Me? This is Hold me. on. Oh, and guess who was the best man at his and Calhoun's wedding? Like this. Because when the nice landers lift me up. Cause look, this is like Ralph's POV, right? So Ralph can see the kid. Vanellope obviously can't see the kid. And I can see Vanellope racing. And then she sees the kid. That's how I think it works. Like, they they can see when they are looking at the screen. Like, I wasn't trying to, like, just, like, be mean and be like, oh, you're wrong. But, like, it got me curious. Because, watch, she'll look, at him, she'll look at her, and then she directs her eyes to Ralph and waves. So she's looking at the kid, looking at the trophy, looking at Ralph. Oh, I love Wreck-It Ralph. When are we getting Ralph, dude? So I hear that you're Vanellope's oh, manager oh, now. Aye, oh, the last needed representation. And who am I to turn down a nice percentage? I forgot about this thing. That's valid. Dude, I forget about so many other things. I forget about... <laughs> I forget about some quests when I'm doing, like... Oh my gosh, ESO. When I was playing Elder Scrolls, I would forget the quest I was actively on. And then I would, like, be lost for an hour. Listen, I forget things all the time. I was just, like, really curious. I, that's why I'm like, I don't think she would have stage fright. Unless it's, like, because she's only focused on one person, maybe. So, like, let's say because she only has one person looking at her. But now she's going to have, like, an entire group of people looking at her. And she's not in a screen. That could be different. Because if I was talking to, like, anyone up front for five hours, I would get nervous. Uh, is that, is this the same kind of percentage that Gaston is giving you? <laughs> I, uh, certainly hope not. Now, acting as Vanellope's manager, I must inform you. Wait a minute. They mentioned Gaston. They mentioned Gaston in a base game quest. Like Gaston's percentage, which is part of another quest. That's a bit weird. That's a bit weird because a lot of base game players don't have context then. Now, acting as Vanellope's manager, I must inform you that the star has, con has a contract rider that must be followed. Should her required items not be provided, she'll not perform. How demanding. Between you and me, Vanessa, I quite agree. But the talent makes the rules. 
So what does she want? She wants an arcade machine <laughs> with every game in existence. Oh, oh no. Nothing too extravagant. Uh -huh. She's grown rather fond of cheesecake, so be sure she has some on hand. Okay, I guess I can swing that. Talk to you later. I think that's... Mm, I think that's weird that they did a... Bye -bye. A non-context DLC thing. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Make sure I have cheesecake. I guess people don't have to look too into it. But, um, I would. Like, knowing it, it makes it a little bit better. Because it's like a little crack-on joke. While base game players are... There is Star Pass activity that mentions DLC item. See, like... You really trying to force it down people's throats, huh? You really want people spending forty dollars? <laughs> they got the answer. They got an answer of fish for normal. They got an answer of fish for normal shrimp. Huh? What does that mean? Is that like a, maybe it's just a quest I'm not on? I'll probably get the context whenever I uh actually do it. Cause I'll be doing- I think this is Mike's level 10 quest, and then I'll be working on some Star Pass stuff. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Uh, the activity was to get- Oh, I see, so it's saying that you could get the, uh, the- what do you call The Prisma Shrimp, but you can get the normal shrimp. That's gonna lead a lot of confusion to people, though. That can lead to a lot of confusion. I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit weird. That's a bit that's a bit of a weird practice to me. Where is Vanoopy? Vanoopy. She's up here. What a nice day. <laughs> well, some people had a problem understanding what the red fruit what a red fruit with a white interior. Isn't that an apple? <laughs> That tells- dude, this ice shark. That tells you how many people have been eating their fruit, Shelly. <laughs> I guess people don't know what an apple is? I think what it is, honestly, I think what it is, is because they have a whole server there of over 100,000 people in it, right? So I think it's just easier to ask, Hello. like, in the chat than it is to actually figure it out yourself and, like, think it through. I think that's what's happening with the majority of people. They refuse to think it through and just rather have the answers be given to them. Which I'm not, like, really a big fan of. Like, I try my best. Um, when I got stumped on taking a picture of uh, Maui's house was because I just didn't know what that word meant. It was like, take a picture of a demigod something. It was like a really weird, um, thing. Don't they have reading comprehension in school anymore? <laughs> Shelly! Listen, oh my, dude, have you, have you ever, you probably haven't, um, uh, why are people so lazy? People are so lazy because we have phones in front of our faces all the time. That's the main reason why people are so lazy. People don't want to look things up. People don't want to, like, they don't want to do it on their own. they rather just, like, have someone else do it for them. And that's why people are saying that Gen Alpha, the newest, like, schoolers, they are the worst, uh, students ever. Like, they don't, they refuse to learn, they don't want to learn, and they just rather just be on their phone. Because Gen Z have not taught them, like, anyways out of their phone, because Gen Z is so stuck on their phone. So, like, literally, it's, like, getting dumber and dumber and dumber. And, uh, I am so nervous <laughs> for the generation. I've seen so many videos now, multiple videos, of talking about how Gen Alpha is the worst, out, like, generation. They are the dumbest generation. And that they're f in fifth grade and they don't know how to spell. That's another thing. Our phones auto spell for us. So like a lot of people don't know how to spell. I've seen on our net discourse over that. Uh, uh, you know, some people some people say it like on purpose. Obviously, I say I misspell things on purpose. Um, but some people just genuinely don't know how to spell. I like someone meant to say like a book by someone and they put spell by as B Y E like goodbye and I was just like. Wow. Um, looks cheesy. Looks cakey. This will do good, my friend. So you're back into being able to perform? Huh? Well, maybe. I've been thinking, if I'm future of comedy, 
How come I'm opening for Mike? Oh, I bet he say something about paying your dues. Yeah, what's up with that old-fashioned nonsense? If I've got talent, who cares how long I've been performing? Tell Wazowski that either we go up as dual headliners or I don't go up at all. Seriously? Would I joke about that? No, you seem quite serious. I'll let Mike know. Okay. Uh, the autocorrect thing can be a butt sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work in your favor, which I agree with. Mike, I'm afraid that we've got a problem. But, like, some people just, like, refuse to, like, they, like people who play this game always ask, like, oh, <laughs> what is, what was it? What, what's a musical fish? And it's supposed to be, like, bass because it's supposed to sound like bass. It's just like, is it that hard? <laughs> was it that hard? Mike, I'm afraid that we've got a problem. Oh. A problem? Of course we got a problem. My life is an endless loop of problems. <gasps> okay, hit me with it. It's Penelope. She doesn't want to open anymore. What? She wants to be co-headliner with you. Wow. That kid hasn't even done her first show, and she wants to go big time, huh? I gotta go explain to her how this works. About that. She won't speak to you directly. You'll have to talk to her manager, Scrooge McDuff. She already has a manager? Yeah, I was surprised too. Okay, we need a plan. Talk to her manager. Alright. If she wants to play that game... I'll get Sully to be my manager. And you. You could be my agent. Cool. So what's next? Go put on something spiffy enough to look like a real- I am wearing something spiffy. Something professional, elegant, or modern to do the trick. And then we'll have a business meeting. Talk to her manager. Fine. Her people can talk to my people. <sighs> you don't like my outfit? Oh wait. You like my outfit? Okay, Mike, how do I look? Perfect! Like you're about to eat competitor, a competitor for breakfast. <laughs> Excellent. I'm feeling good about this. The meeting should be starting anytime now. You gotta go join Sully. Sure, on my way. Okay. Ooh, she's in the well. I don't understand the point of managers and agents. Like, I hear that YouTubers and streamers, like, have a manager... And have an agent, especially a manager. Man manager mainly. I have heard very few have an agent. But like, what is a manager doing for a Twitch streamer or a YouTube? I'm confused. Maybe like, plugging like deals, like brand deals? I never understood it. Uh, hello? Am I late? Guys, I'm late. Hold on. Guys, guys, wait, hold on. Hey, ho hold on. I'm late. Hey, hey, Mr. M there, McDuck. So how's the this meeting supposed to work? Uh, hi, a beginner, are you? <laughs> this should be fun. A uh, beginner? Well, I don't know about that. I'm here too. Equal headline status or my client walks. Is that even a thing in the comedy world? It is now. We're already in the process of hanging posters. <laughs> Oof. Seems like you beat Mike to the punch. Aw, so he's not good for this job. Pleasure doing business with you. A lot of streams will advertise various products. I've seen gamer subs being advertised. Oh, G Fuel for sure has been advertised a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Even if I got that large, I don't even know if I would hire a manager. I don't know. I would just like just do it myself and if not, I just don't do them. <laughs> not that in it for money. <laughs> oh man. Uh, ooh, okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, that's clear now. Is that always clear? Uh, nothing. Just wild guessing on my part. Yeah, I mean, like, I see, like, maybe movie stars doing it because, like, I don't know. They seem not, they're, like, not really into, like, I don't know. Like, actors and all that, I can see that happening. Like, getting their gigs and talking to, like, big major companies, sure. Because I can't imagine, like, applying, like, on your own can do any good. Make sure you check the walls. I am! Look, I got a Winds of Change one. Oh, greetings, I love everyone. how we're actually getting every single detail that the last floor and their house is showing. Like, seriously, this is, like, crazy change. Because we normally don't get all of the stuff that it, that's in their house. Frozen being a great example for that one. Because the Arendelle Castle has stuff that's in the premium shop, sure. But I don't really count that as a good thing. But this... All these little details being, um, 
in the store is crazy good. Alright, check in with Mike about the brewing. Well, that... You got steamrolled. That Scrooge McDuck is one crafty negotiator. I think I should fire Soli and hire McDuck out, of, from, out from under Vanellope. That sounds kind of mean. Mean? Nah, that's just the comedy business. So what's the plan? Well, they're already putting up posters. Okay, two can play at that game. Oh, are we going to make posters too? No need. I've, they've already done the work for us. We're just going to add my handsome face to their posters. Here, take these. Stickers? Yeah! <laughs> Stickers! Try to find Vanellope's posters and stick my face on them. Can do. Great! I'll work on my set. Got a few final polishes to put on it. <sighs> oh, man. They put... Oh. Whoa, I like these. Can we keep them? Oh, my gosh. That looks so cool. Comedy night? That looks so good! Hold on. I need to take a photo with it. Before I ruin it. It... it? Look how cool that is. That's cool. I love the detail in that. Alright, let's put a sticker on it. <laughs> Just Mike, 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 Mike. Uh, there we go. Give me a big smile. I love it. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, Peaceful Meadow. At least they're not, like, trying to be too invasive with where they put it. Hopefully. Uh... Don't see it in the park end. Man, I gotta rearrange this. I don't know if I'm gonna do it off stream. I might. Um, I've been getting that Disney Dreamlight itch, but I don't think I can be able to handle a stream that's like 10 hours long. <laughs> so I think I'll be doing some stuff on the side. Definitely keeping stuff to do um, on stream. Like I said, I don't even know- oh, there it is. I don't even know if I'm gonna be streaming exactly tomorrow, just because, like, my voice is feeling tired. Talking for six hours is crazy. This is more than what Corey slept last night. Uh, Forest of Valor. But this update, I'm actually really happy with, with the update. You enjoyed it? I'm glad, Shelly. Shelly, this update, 9 out of 10. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me. I think this update is a solid a solid 9. You know, little things that could be perfect about it. I had to restart my save the first hour, but that was because I was modding. I think it's a good, maybe an 8, 8.5 actually. We'll put 8.5. And if I had to rank it, I think this is definitely has to be a top 3 update in general. Just because of all the quality of life changes that we got, this has to be like a, a, a top 3 so far, I'm enjoying the quest. Can't really say that for the ones in the last update. <sighs> last update was Eternity Isle. It just felt like a drag. There was so- they gave us so much that it almost felt like too much. Like we had four people to take care of if you bought Eternity Isle, right? The areas are great, but like they're not the best for decorating. So it was kind of like stressful. And um, yeah, I'm not- I, I Beauty and the Beast- didn't really care that much. They're great and all. What was it? Beast was still insecure. And Belle, don't remember. Um, What was, like, a solid update? The Christmas update with Woody. Ooh, the one with Woody and Buzz where you go into their realm and then you're the size of the toys. That's really good. I just wish the gifts were better for Mike and Sully. The friendship quest gifts? I agree. Like, this outfit's cute and all, but it doesn't, like, you're not going to, like, if you see this jacket and you see these shoes, you're not immediately going to say, oh, this is, like, definitely for slowly Monsters, Inc. Like, that's not the vibe I'm getting. This is just a faux blue cur uh, coat and faux blue boots. I think there was, ha there had to be, like, you know what could have been good? I think if we got a Monsters University jacket, maybe from Soli and then the Monsters University hat from Mike, maybe. I've been talking and blabbing about Mike's car, which I would have been so happy if we got. 
Soul Light didn't really have a whole lot um, going for them. I just, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of like items that like would ex split, like really be like something that Soli would have. Maybe something Boo related. Oh, here we go. All right, we did it. Uh, meet Mike in his house and discuss the comedic feud. Oh, is this where we finally see the trailer stuff? Well, I think since we have so much of their furniture already, it may have been hard to do it. That is true. Well, we had 27 items. And that's- and we got a good amount of clothing, too. They gave us, like, solely slippers, and they gave us horns. So they did give us, like- and they gave us their house. So there wasn't really too much, which I understand. Um. Ha <laughs> ha Look at this! Um. Uh, this is totally not what the trailer said. Look at the lies. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look, 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 No, 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 not this, not this, not this. Hold on, I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just, I mean, maybe it's just not enough time. Maybe they thought it was good enough. Not really. I don't know. It's kind of iffy. It's kind of wishy-washy. What was on the floor? Uh, it's, it's the rubber chickens. I want to show the, um, the quest. Meet the monsters. Dude, it is. The frames are crazy bad. Look, 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 look. Okay. Look at it. Stop. Instagram. Inst Instagram. Look at that. All the chi all the chickens splayed everywhere. Right? Look at that. Reality. <laughs> Just four piles. <laughs> four chicken piles. Whoa. What happened here, Mike? What happened? What does it look like happened? You got chickened. Are those Penelope's props? Obviously! Yeah. I get back from admiring my oh-so-handsome mm. face on all those posters and find this! Why? I can't work like this! How? All this tension! The cutthroat competition! Uh. I can't be funny under this kind of stress! Okay, calm down. I'll help you out. I and the know. sounds! You won't believe uh. the sounds they make! Excuse me? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I guess we're digging these up. Yep. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's funny though, at least. That's really funny. <laughs> oh. Thanks for cleaning up. You're an A plus agent. Now, before we get down to business, how are you feeling about the show? I can't wait. That's the spirit. Penelope's gonna get so many zingers down her way. I'll wait, what? Penelope's gonna get so many zingers thrown her way, her head'll spin. Good luck? Luck? Who needs luck when you got skills like mine? Okay, I think we're just ready about to go. There's only one last thing. Sully's gonna lend us his camera for the show. He likes recording everyday stuff around the village. That's cute. Sully's so cute. Think you could pick it up from Sully for me? On my way! Sully, a camera for me? I'm hoping the dress will look good. I'm gonna definitely like try on the dress and see how it at least shapes. Um, I'm also tired of clothing being the final reward. Only for the fact that it's not... It doesn't really seem unisex most of the time. Like, if you gave like a double outfit for like... What, let me see. Rapunzel, she got a double outfit. Right? Yeah, she got a suit and a dress, which I think is very fine, unisex enough, where I think, like, you know, the fur coat and the boots, I mean, they're, they're unisex. And then this, I don't think is very unisex. I don't think this top slash dress thing is very unisex for all the players to use. So I just feel like that also wastes the opportunities for players who don't like to wear dresses who don't normally wear dresses with their with when they design their character that just wastes an entire level 10 reward for them you know what i mean same with moana and same with ariel like i'm not really a fan well ariel came with a suit never mind but like uh, ursula like not a lot not all the players like to wear dresses you know it doesn't matter gender doesn't matter sex 
it just like not not everyone wears a dress and so you're kind of like wasting that opportunity for like a good furniture piece or maybe a good back item something that's more unisex you know what i mean that's uh that's my thought on it sully so you've got a camera for me you bet vanessa do me a favor go get some good scenes with vanilla before me i'll try to be there but i might have a conflict before the show came up promised remy i'd help him out he wants to test how many taste buds interpret something called umami. Ooh, I got the monsters cups in a bag. Ooh, oh, in the laugh floor? I got you. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Tell Mikey to break a leg. Sure, will do. Thanks. That's a cool camera. See you around. Okay, we got the camera. I'm gonna dupe it real quick. Uh, one of the bags in the chest. Nice. That's where I got mine too. I lost that I lost out on it whenever um I reset my save, but I got it back thankfully through that chest. It's a good find. Mm. Okay, let me go sell these potions. Um Man. It is so sad to see this plaza turn. It's gonna turn, dude. I already know what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be so sad. It's not gonna be a whole wipe but it's gonna be a big wipe i might even do that off camera tonight just for the fun of it um because it's gonna just take a lot of time all right let's sell all this nice all right mikey got your camera here you go you got it great give me a minute and i'll get this set up where are we setting it up now, after the finisher, after the show finishes, we can see the highlights and develop the best frame. Then we can post that up in the valley to get folks excited for the next comedy event. Great. Are we all set then? Posters, camera, my pickle-flavored throat mist spray? I'm ready! You can go relax while I psych myself up for the show. Can't wait. Uh, enter Mike's house when you're ready to see some comedy? <gasps> yeah! Let's get our funny bone tickled! Welcome to the stage! Mike Wazowski! Oh, that's cute! <laughs> that's so cute! Uh, watch the comedy show, or is it a duel now? Alright. Woo! Welcome, Vanessa, to the very first Village Comedy Night! Hope you're ready to laugh! Yep! In just a sec, you're gonna be laughing with me and at him. Wow, talk about some rookie confidence. Vanellope, don't you have some props to dust off? Cool. Mike, your style of comedy is so old, it just offered me a hard candy. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Huh? Oh yeah, being support? Really? You're not mad at me? Come on, guys, line up. Mad? Why would I be mad? No, it was a great joke! <laughs> huh, maybe I misjudged you by you walking ball of moss? Ah, uh, same here, Candy Isle! <laughs> That's it? Hey, you've been a terrific audience! <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the rest of the show. Keep going! Show me what you got, old timer! Alright, okay, whippersnapper. <laughs> Ahem. Back at the Monsters, Inc. We used to scare kids for scream energy. And I wanted to be a scarer ever since the first grade. Talk about big dreams. Look at me. The only kids I could scare are the ones afraid of eye contact. <laughs> That's a funny one. What was I going to do? Challenge them to a staring contest? Well, then I think Cory's home. Haha, <laughs> not a bad for an animated jawbreaker. You know what, kid? Forget rubber chickens. I think your real talent might be roasting. Ooh, Mike knows roasting? Really? But I've never even played a cooking simulator. <laughs> roasting is when the com one com comic ribs another gently. Roast? Ribs? Are you sure you aren't hungry, pal? Ooh, I like that chair, too. Oh, the chairs are different colors. I just realized. Where's your stomach anyway, you giant gumball? <laughs> That's it. What do I look like? Tell me another. You look like... 
a mutant tennis ball? Dig a little deeper. You look like a green apple with toothpicks for arms and legs. <laughs> Seriously, how do those freakishly sticky limbs carry you around? <laughs> You're about to fall on your face and knock me over like a bowling pin any second. <laughs> nice kid. I was right. You're a natural roast comic. I could see why Sully likes you. That's cool that they're bonding though. Because I'm hilarious and adorable? Good doy. Oh no, good doy. I was gonna say because you kind of remind me of me. What? <laughs> now that's hilarious. Is that it? Holy cow, they're still going. I think it's about time we wrap up things. Don't you? Uh, bleh. I can't talk, read. One last joke, you do the honors. Okay. My mother used to say, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Mm hmm, okay. Since she's mostly eyeball like me, I thought I was the most beautiful monster in history. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one. Now I have a girlfriend named Celia. She's cycloptic too. She always tells me I only have an eye for you. <laughs> And I say, we each only have one eye. Who else would we be looking at? That's a good one. And that's all we've got, Dreamlight Valley. We've been great, and you've been an audience. Yay! See you in the funny papers. That was amazing. That was actually really good. You're a natural kid. Trust me, this show will be the first of many. That would be cute. Sorry, I filled your house with rubber chickens. <laughs> That's cute. You guys also weren't in frame. Look, I'm in frame. Look at me. Look at me in frame. Okay. That's my it's my fart mic. That's my fart mic. Alright, thank you. Thank you for everyone for coming. I regret doing that now. I wanna take a photo. Are you guys still talking? Guys, look at- guys, guys, comedy special? Can we move along? I'm actually kind of proud! <laughs> oh cool, now they can move around. Alright guys, S one stands here, and the other stands there. Alright, everyone pose! Uh, Mike? Come on, Mikey. Do the same thing again. Just better. Why do you have to- What are you doing, Mike? You're just in my business. Just stand there. so freaking funny oh that's a good one too that's so good that's cute because his arm is out i love that sweet uh pick a good moment oh when you're ready to finish listening to the set captured oh what's this pick up the bag that fell pick up the bag in my house that contains the movie still that contains the movie open the bag to get the movie still Okay. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Penelope and Mike's billboard. Oh, I'm so putting that in the valley. You're telling me I'm not gonna put that in the city? That's gonna be great. Sweet. Place billboard near Mike's house so he can experience fame. <laughs> so he can experience the fame of everything. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be doing some heavy decorating then. Alright. Look, Mike! It's you! And it's covering your eye again! Hey Mike, you look happy! I am happy! The billboard you made is fantastic! I'm happy you're happy. Even the pig didn't exactly turn out as planned. Uh, what are you talking about? It's great! It's me! I'm a billboard! Do you know how long I've waited for this? I'm happy to help. Yep, this day couldn't be better. So you settled in nicely? 
Well, this place is still full of germs and allergens. Nobody here appreciates good food, and I already have a comedic nemesis. <laughs> oh well, if you'd rather go back to your realm... Are you kidding? I love it here! I was worried that the valley was gonna be a little boring for someone as urbanly sophisticated as me. But it's great! <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. And hey, I gotta thank you. You really helped me prepare for the show. I was pretty concerned about how Vanellope would do, but her jokes are solid. In my book, she's officially a comic. Well, I'll let you do your thing. But if you need help with anything, don't be a stranger. You'll be my first call, Vanessa. Or shout, since you don't have phones here. <laughs> By the way, I want to show my things. Here, take this. Thank you. Yay! We did it! Monstrous mini dress. That's what we're calling it. How's it look? It's not here. Oh, is it a shirt? It's a shirt. Um. I don't like the color. I don't like it at all. I thought it was going to be a dress, at least. You know, like... Like, I, I don't I don't even know. Like, what would you wear with this? Shorts? The style is nice. I like the style. I wish it was longer. So, obviously, a skirt wouldn't work with this. Shorts could work. Oh, it looks like a pregnancy shirt! <laughs> oh my gosh, Shelly. I just don't know. It would look good with it. Shorts? I don't know. Pants? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's so funny. Oh, white can go with it, though. Maybe white leggings? I just don't see this. Here, I'm going to try to design an outfit. I don't like the style now that I see it on your tune. No, it looks awful. It looks awful. Um. It, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't look that good. I would, like I said, I wish it was longer. So it actually could be treated as a dress. Because right now, I don't know how I would do, I would, how I would do this. Um, what about body type? Is it because of body type? Mmm. It doesn't really change at all. Like, uh, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't change much. It's, it's, uh, it's a dress shell, it's a, it's a mini dress shelly, you know, it's, it's just what it, you know. I'm not a fan, personally. I don't think there's anything that can save this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying over here. Oh, maybe one of these? Is there a green version? Mmm. Do we not have, like, a... Uh, I, I don't think there's anything that could save this. Horns? The horns help, maybe. Um, shrugs, yeah, I, this is, you're not gonna see me in it, that's all I'm saying. I like Soli's outfit a little bit more. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sully, for such a beautiful gaming experience. We helped Sully make a new educational game and a treasure hunt. We helped Mike with his comedy special. Um, oh, are these movable now? Oh, these are movable. We get to keep these too. Oh, uh, where did it go? Okay, wait. Oh, it's not allowed to leave the plaza. It's not allowed to leave the plaza. I guess. Okay. Jacket's a pretty color, but I don't think I would wear it. Yeah, the jacket's like... I wish we got like a pink version, to be honest. I'm not even joking when I say that. I think a pink color would be pretty. So like, if I remove this, will it go in my inventory? Like, I removed it, so is it in there? Do I actually have it? No, I don't. Okay. So... I guess... Oh, wait, 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 wait. A pink, a pink version would be nice. It would remind me of the pink monsters, the pink sorority monsters, because that's what the vibe it was giving. But, man. That is it for Sully and Mike, and all that's left is... So, Starlight House Bundle. Really? No, no quests? Spend a cozy evening snuggled up in a silky dreamlike pajamas and chipped slippers. After that, pop some popcorn... 
power up your starlight projector and hang out under twinkling stars. Unlock an exclusive new look for Belle this bundle, complete with a house stream style and much more. Like that. Yeah, we just get it immediately. Wow. You don't see anything pop up yet. So it is just, just that's that. That's that, I guess. Basic lounge shirt. That's customizable. Evening salon lounge pillows. Okay, that's what the recolored um, tangled stuff was. Gilded golden popcorn machine. Vintage starlight projector. We get a whole lot with this. Starry uh, damask wallpaper. Blooming rose. I love this bed. This bed is super cute. And the beanbag chair is really cute too. This is a really cute set. Really, really cute. So is the dream style house for us? That was the big question. And it is. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. So the castle actually does not change. No. That's what people were thinking is that it was actually going to change the castle. I'm super glad that's not the case. Because I really do like the cottage. And I'm thinking about putting the cottage... Um... Maybe either next to the Snuggly Duckling or maybe I'll take out this cottage actually and put this one down because this one, this one, ooh, 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 oh, okay. I kind of like, if we're thinking Peaceful Meadows, since it says a library, that makes total sense. I think since it's Peaceful Meadows, I might take out this house. I think so. I'm thinking. I think I'm, I'm going to take out this house because this house I'm using for Eternity Isle. And then this house I'll be putting over here because this gives more the Peaceful Meadows like small, small town vibe with the, all the roofs matching the same style. So I think this will be my new Peaceful Meadows um, house where I change the skin to... Um, to whatever you, uh, what do you call it? I plan on putting the inside as, like, my real place. I still have not done that. Um, let me see that messy bun. Okay, the ruffled silk gown, really cute. I really like that. Um, oh, the hair's cute. Oh, the hair is cute, Shelly. Oh, that hairstyle is so it. And this is very nice. Let me look at my Eternity Isle real quick, just to make sure that I am using um, it over there. Because I kind of want to use a little bit of everything. And if it's used over there, then I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, maybe I'll put it with Rapunzel and the Snuggly Duckling. Love the hair. The hair's really cute. Yeah, I'm using it over here. So I'm not too mad. You know, this kind of fits the thing of it being, like, homemade, rejuvenated. We're, we're changing up the place. So I think that's great. Oh... Why'd they move this? Why'd they move my... They moved it and made it white! <laughs> no, man! They moved that and made it white! Ah, oh, no. I could do a village in Eternal Y'all. That would be really pretty. So did they make a brown one then? Round white basket. Do we not have a round brown basket? Can we do more than one skin house in a biome? Um, you can't do more than one of the same skin house in a biome. You cannot. If, like, that's something I wish we did. Because we, if we could do, like, some sort of, like, village, that would be cool. But, like, you can't, like, if you have it placed in the Dreamlight Valley, first off, it's not even going to let you take it out. Um, so, I mean, you could do, like, since you have your house skin like that, you could turn your house skin into a village skin and then have the other village skin out. And you could do something like this, maybe, if you would like to. Like, this can work for you. That's very village -y. Um, This is a good option. Just change your personal house skin. Um, but dang, they changed the color of these to white. Oh, man. I might have to change these into, like, maybe clay pots. Because they were looking so cute before. Um, but we'll just have to see. Did they change how the flower beds look, too? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a hot, hot minute. 
these flower beds always look like this? Hold on, I gotta find that photo. This is probably the last thing I do. Um, Dreamlight Valley, Build Ideas, uh, Ancient Landing. Uh, that's not what I was doing. No, it is. What? It was blue before. Do you see that? It goes blue, yellow, snap, snap, snapping um, thing. Oh, they changed it. Oh, they changed it for the worse. Uh, what was blue? The, um, the flower bed. It was blue, yellow. Look at it. It was blue, yellow, and then, um, snap flower. Now it's yellow. It's black, yellow, snap flower. I don't know if I like that. Why would they change that? Is that intentional? Let me look at the the sprite. Maybe the sprite changed? Did the sprite of it change? Where is it? Wait, I don't see it. Did they mix it all up together? Uh, no. Wait, did I miss it? Did I skip it? Whoa, 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 laggy. Uh, oh, here it is. No, it's supposed to be blue. Blue, yellow, green, that. So that's a bug. Oh, man, I'm hoping people report that. Because it kind of looks freaking ugly. It looks so ugly. Hopefully that gets reported. Um, I wonder what change will cause that issue. Because it just doesn't, it just doesn't look good anymore, right? They changed like the entire look of the house and I'm not really a fan. I don't know, but I'll leave it like that for now because I'll be working on my plaza tonight. So, um, I don't know. That looks really, really strange. I am not really a fan, so hopefully people have been bug reporting that. I'm assuming people have. There's got to be people who, like, love every single item in this game, right? And someone defending the item. <laughs> kind of like the whole Moana dress thing and all the little things. Someone, I mean, someone fixed the freaking color glitch, even though I thought the brown one was cuter. But this hair is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. This is going to be a, this is a great update. Solid update. Super fun. It, look, I've been streaming for six and a half hours. And obviously, I do my personal thing to level up Mike and Sully. So six and a half hours of content and questing and talking and all that. I think that's a pretty solid, um, pretty solid amount of content for a free update, you know. So I, uh, I thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Shelly, for being here, chatting with me as usual, always being here. <laughs> it's so sweet of you, Shelly. I hope you've been having a great day. I hope help chat has not been so hectic. And um, yeah, I, like I said. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Depends on how my voice feels. Because right now, I am feeling very tired. <laughs> my voice is, like, ready to shut off. So, I just want to say, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for even, like, just staying around for even a long time, you know? I, I know a lot of you haven't been uh, here for the full six and a half. But I know a lot of you have been for more than easily two, which is a lot of time in general. Drink hot tea? I will. There's some good hot tea downstairs that Corey learned to make. I'll be definitely doing that. I'm going to be decorating my plaza. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys soon, hopefully. You've been taking breaks? Good. Take breaks, seriously. <laughs> and just enjoy yourself. Savor this update, savor your time. If I find anything else I'll talk about uh, when it comes to the leaks, I definitely will. Just check your DMs. But, yes, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me so much, guys. I love you all so much, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye, guys.